time to find out if uh, the multi-stream setup works again. Hey, would you look at that? It is working on the YouTube side of things. What about the other two? Yep, Twitch is working. And so is Kick. Now this time I'm gonna do something a little smart. I'm gonna actually pause the replay of my own stream so I don't waste bandwidth. Except for, okay, except for one of the three. I need to have monitoring to make sure that everything's working. Hello! Welcome back. The Glaceside Tunnels are a thing. Do you know what happened to Refraction? You know, I don't. I have guesses, but so does everybody else. You want in with a mineshaft party? Um, we'll get to that in a minute. I might not want to do that. And I'll explain why. Oh my god! Ah, chat, look what just happened! Oh my god! The YouTube chat, look! Botrix! They're here! It's here! I can see YouTube chat in my multi stream chat. That's all I ever wanted. Yes. Yes, now I can see all platforms in the same feed. It's about time. Very good. And if Twitch wasn't so annoying with their TOS, then I would just show the multi-chat on stream. But that's not how it works, is it? By the way, thank you to Coleosis and Crazy Kid for being botnet general or leader. Special thank you at the start of every stream for becoming those two tiers on YouTube. Members, memberships. All right, I think it's time to start stream. Hey guys, I'm back for another stream and welcome to Hypixel Skyblock. And today we're back for part two of the Glacite Tunnels expansion slash update to the game. So, um, we're finally here again. Yesterday, I, um, I took a bit of a break because I had to reset my sleep schedule. And even then, I woke up at midnight, which means I've been up for 12 hours already. So that's going to be fun. Uh, anyways, let's get into the game. Oh, I need to turn my stream labels on. I forgot about that. It's a piece of software that actually syncs the sub count with the, the number under my face. There we go. This is sick. Now I actually don't have to worry <laughs> about um, missing any messages in my chat. Now they're all in one feed. What tier Inferno minions to start making money with fuel? Uh, not a good question for me. I haven't gotten there yet. Anyways, um, let me show you some things I did. I should probably update everybody on what I've been doing. So I have a an ender chest page set up specifically for the forge materials. I have six mithril plates and we're working on more. I have all of the new gemstones in enough of a quantity to make the glacite amalgamations to make everything I could possibly want. I have a flawless aquamarine ready for when we upgrade the chisel. The forge is going to be full pretty much constantly forever. <laughs> Not forever, but for a good bit. I've also, if you check... Oh, here, I dropped four Glacite shards in total so far. And I have 23 suspicious scrap. And we're currently working on getting my Heart of the Mountain level up and upgrading the chisel 
And I think the goal should be at least for us to focus on Heart of the Mountain, get to Heart of the Mountain 10, and get some Glacite Powder. Because there's a lot of perks that... Oh, by the way, slash Warp Camp. Travel Scroll, finally. Um, but anyways, I, I forgot what that sentence was supposed to end with. I don't know. I've just been prepping materials. And as you can see here, Enchanted Tungsten and Umber. I did the math. It requires 5,000 Enchanted of each to make all the plates that I'm going to need. So that's a thing. Also, I learned a few other strategies people have been using. One of which is that the grappling hook works inside of a mine shaft. So teleport might not, but this will. So it's a way to get around. And ender pearls have a cool little uh, thing that you could do. For example, if I were to slash warp camp, or at least copy that text, then I can do one of these. See how my cold is negative three right now? Now it's zero. So that's a way to reset your cold without having to go back. A bit of a cheese, a bit of a cheese. So the goal from, oh, and I also did some off camera grinding. We're about halfway to tier nine, a part of the mountain. Now, some people already got to 10, but that's because they're spamming Nucleus runs and doing Crystal Hollows Crystal Comms every single time they collect one. So, of course, they're going to get Heart of the Mountain XP 10 times faster than I will. But I'm not doing Nucleus runs. I'm saving my equipment for times when it's more efficient. But yeah, that's. I think that's everything. I think we're up to date now. I also put... Um, I unlocked every slot and put a uh, fine pair dot on every single piece of farming armor as well as a few of the farming tools specifically pumpkin and cactus knife but yeah all right let's work on some comms now i'm not going to at least for now i'm not gonna join a party for um tunnels because to be honest, it's a little bit of a distraction from actually getting the comms done. Maybe that's a maybe that's an L take. It's just a theory. If it's not a big deal, just being in a party, then maybe I just should be in a party. Um, oh, I should probably also get this. There we go. <sighs> I got hacked and they stole a billion worth of stuff. Could I have help? I'm sorry, it's too late. I, there's nothing me or staff can do, unfortunately. Do you make a lot of coins as an Iron Man from this? So far, I've made no coins from this. <laughs> um, yeah, not a not a whole lot happened. I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, it's not really gonna make a whole lot of money for a while. Now I want to see something. Uh, I want to check my settings on the stream on YouTube because I want to make sure I actually sent notifs out. Did everyone get notifications on YouTube? I know there was the Discord ping, but did you get like a YouTube notification? I got a notification? Oh, okay. Weird. the range anyways let's continue on so i guess uh oh well actually now that i think about it it's a school day during school hours so of course i didn't get one well you're you're speaking to me from kick sir how do you get the new crystals from the mine shafts so you have to, and it has to be your mine shaft. You can't get warped in. I don't know. To me, it seems like excessively rare. I don't know. Here's what I'll say. I'm already a third of the way through the new progression, and I have not gotten a single new crystal. So let's assume i did get a single crystal so you're telling me through your entire progression in this part of skyblock the admins only expect you to have three perfect gems of a random type i don't know doesn't seem balanced to me personally 
sounds like they uh they kind of need to make first of all they need to make caverns more common they don't need to i should specify i don't know if you're in a party they're common enough right if you're in a party if you're not they're pretty rare but they should probably make the the actual crystals more common like if not more common just straight up either a make it so it always spawns in a cavern or whatever that we're calling them uh a mine shaft or make it so everybody can pick up the crystal and not just the person that spawned it that's my two cents at least all right we gotta find some peridot i gotta start paying attention Do you freeze at negative 100? Yeah, you die. You just instantly die. What are you going to do when you max out Iron Man? I'm going to take a break from Skyblock for a little bit and uh, recuperate because I will be dead from <laughs> the amount of mind numbing, sand mining, gold mining. So it'll take me a few weeks to recoup, I think, once I finally max the game. And then probably programming videos. Why do you not have text to speech? Because it's, it's, do I really have to answer that? It's a, it's a risk, man. Well, there is TTS, but only for a specific type of dono that is moderated so that we don't have any um, issues. Oh, what's up, death streaks? But no, TTS, is a thing, but only if you Streamlabs don't know. $5 or more. Max without some of the big grinds. I mean, I'm about to max farming. That's a really big grind. I, I mean, class average 50 is just stupid. So that one, yeah, no. But most of the others I'm doing. There's a few of them that are really dumb. But whatever. Any tips for glass cleanup? I just pelted my monitor. <laughs> Worm fishing is more of a grind to set up than it is to do. And now there's at least 20 bits of glass. I don't think, I don't think monitors are made with glass. It are, isn't it just plastic? I've never thought about this, but I feel like a screen. Yeah, that's plastic, man. <laughs> Obviously, it's a, it's not a real message. I can be dense when it comes to um, sarcasm, but I'm afraid your joke. <laughs> there ain't no glass in a monitor, bro. That would be expensive and dumb from the manufacturer's point of view. Do you have some cold resistance? I have the Heart of the Mountain perk, which gives me like five currently, 5.4. Five like also, time to use our little trick here. <laughs> ah, I love that. I love resetting my cold without having to walk at two miles an hour <laughs> back to the camp. But don't you need glass to protect the screens? It's not a smartphone. You can get away with a plastic screen with a monitor. No one's touching it. I swear, if that chat message that I only read like half of is telling me to get an ender bow. How did I know? Of course. I knew it. Leave it to Skyblock players to be so distraught by the inconvenience of clicking a stack of ender pearls into their inventory once every three hours. It has to, there has to be an infinite use item there. <laughs> 
Okay, maybe not once every three hours. I'll be fair to Rexu. It's probably once every, like, 40 minutes. If anything, yeah, pulling back the bow is more inconvenient. Also, there is nothing. It does. Okay. No, no. Stop. I only need, like, a few more. Please. Dead. Peridot is so much profit. Great. That means I'm going to have people getting in my way when I'm trying to do commissions. I mean, I can see why. I mean, it pretty much directly correlates to money if you farm as your money making method makes sense. Also, is that even the correct waypoint? I don't even know, man. It just looks wrong to me. It looks like it's too far away from the rest. Also, I'm... I am being a fish brain again. My navigation skills are my downfall when it comes to this update and all updates that have caverns or mazes of any variety. It's, it's a mess every single time. Mm -hmm. in your opinion is it worth doing the new update i feel like if you ask yourself is it worth doing and then insert anything <laughs> with skyblock the answer really just boils down to do you get skyblock xp how much skyblock xp is it more than if i did a different grind right now if all of the, if all of those are uh, answered with yes, then do it. Then I I don't think people understand. You're supposed to do all of it. There is no worth it or not worth it. There's only is it the most sensible thing to do right this second versus like months if not over a year from now. Now, for me, it's different because I have to make content. So my priorities, I have a pretty good idea of what my priorities need to be because it boils down to how do I get content out? How do I make videos? Oh, I should probably catch up on some donos. Uh, Victor, thank you for the 13 months of member on YouTube. Hell yeah. Subject1337. Tyler GMS. And Bewilly1234. Thank you all for the primes. And that last one comes with a message. In what order should I get Term Hype G Drag Claymore? Well, the order I did it was G Drag Hype Term. And then not Claymore yet. Hyperion is so convenient. And it makes the grind so much more doable. But without a Terminator, you basically can't do Master Mode. I'd say G-Drag Term Hype Claymore. So, yeah, probably. I mean, G-Drag is nice because it makes it so that regardless of what method you're using to do damage, you do a lot of it. Then again, it costs the most technically because it's like 500, 500 mil plus a perfect of every, not every gemstone, but several gemstones. Then you have to have a bill. So I don't know, maybe, maybe Hype first. I, it's tough, I don't know. Drill fuel, doesn't matter. I have the Abbey phone contact. <laughs> Your hair looks good right now. I actually put gel in it. Wow. I, I did the minimum effort to make myself look presentable. I put in just a little bit of effort beyond just showering. I just want to say you're meant... Wait. I just want to say you are meant to love this dude. 
I don't know what you mean by that message, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> Oh, sorry, I didn't finish catching up on donuts. Um, <laughs> Nodded Alpaca, thank you for the $2 super chat. You need something to do with 600 mil overflow mining XP? I mean, that's a problem that every skill is going to have at some point. They're just going to keep adding content, and then it's going to be like, oh yeah, I just so happen to already have the maximum amount required times 10. <laughs> like, that's just kind of a part of being a Skyblock player at this point. <laughs> Um, actually, Bear, thank you for the two, the two pounds. Devon's drill when, whenever the game decides it's time. It's entirely RNG based, which sucks a lot. Ethereal MC, thank you for the two pounds. Heart of the Mountain 10 when. Hopefully within the next few days. We're definitely hitting Heart of the Mountain 9 today. Probably not hitting 10 tomorrow. Maybe the day after that. They made Devon Alloy better with Mole Pet. Not according to chat yesterday. They said that Devon Alloy has the same... Or it only rolls once per Nucleus run. And adding an extra piece of loot to the loot table doesn't matter. Because it, it's still only rolling once per Nucleus run. But setup is easier. Yeah, but that's so minute. Like, the Mr. Robot thing, you have to give him, what, like, seven parts or eight parts? One less is, like, it's like a 15% increase in efficiency. <laughs> six parts. All right, yeah, one out of six, whatever that math comes out to. Like, just for that part. And the Devon Tools thing, I mean, I don't know the specific percent of how much faster it makes Devon Tools, but it's not that much more helpful. 25% more tools, 20% less parts. I mean, it's nice, but it still isn't... I, I think we need more updates for Nucleus runs. In general, they're just, they're just a scam, dude. It's really disappointing. I've wasted like 3,000 hours on that game. I'm trying to avoid it so hard and now my recommended is all Skyblock. <laughs> the mines beckon for your return. I saw a post on the subreddit yesterday. Some dude killed a T4 Void Gloom and then dropped a core. And in the same kill, which I didn't even know was possible for the record, the boss kill itself triggered a Phoenix drop. A legendary Phoenix drop. Like, what? What is that RNG? That's like not even funny. Like, that's a different level of RNG. Like, that's... <laughs> that might even be rarer than when I dropped all four of the possible items that you can get from a, um... What's, it, what's his face? An Inquisitor. What the hell are the odds? I have no idea, but it's insane to me, bro. I don't know why people are like, Oh no, fuel! Fuel! 30 fuel! Like, bro. I could just call. Like, there's no big deal. I carry fuel on me. Like, it, it, like, it's not a big deal. I don't know why you have to warn me about it. It's, it, we're chilling, man. We don't need, it's not something I need a warning for. I just kind of do it once it's out. They metered the core. Yeah, but, okay, fine. They did meter the... Well, no. Well, I mean, yes. The core was involved. I'm not sure if... I didn't... Okay, I don't remember from the clip. The RNG meter was involved. I'm not sure if it's because they forced the drop or if it just made it less rare. 
that i'm not sure but the fact still regardless the fact that killing they forced it even then it's still insane that they dropped a legendary phoenix in the same kill though i'm still impressed even though it is technically less impressive because of that i mean i've yet to drop a phoenix on this profile of course solo got one the profile that doesn't need one i could have just bought it if i really wanted Are there any new drills or pickaxes? Not that I'm aware of. A bunch of upgrades are available. This update is not that big in terms of scope. We've already technically seen everything there is to see from this update feature wise. The only thing we haven't seen is like a few very specific items that are just rare. But like mechanically, we've done everything this update has to offer. Now it's just a matter of repetition until we get what we want. <laughs> Wait. Are you not rod swapping to level pets? I'm not because I don't have a single pet that can be leveled up. <laughs> My pet menu is maxed. Even the XP is maxed on the not legendary pets. Except for this one, but Gabagool. Unfortunately, I can't really progress in pet XP until I get one of the fossils. I tried for like two hours yesterday to drop an EXP share core, but it just refused to happen. That's the first time the game just outright denied me like that. It was a bit sad. I don't I was starting to question if there was a bug. <laughs> I've been I was really going for it. I was killing mobs constantly. Also, apparently the pets take a week to forge, so we're not gonna be seeing that anytime soon. Considering how much other crap we have to forge. And I don't wanna lock up the forge for a whole week. The requirement is um, Heart of the Mountain 7. This is end game mining area. Well, the end game of mining, not necessarily end game players only. Man, I love having my chats all combined. Now I don't have to worry about, oh, am I ignoring the platform? Nope. I'm not. I can see all of your messages. Even though Twitch is the only one that appears under my face, I do see all of it. I guess the only upgrade from this point forward would be to encode three separate times and have each platform... <laughs> and have each platform show its own chat. Will you ever switch back to Bed Wars? No. It would appear to me at least that uh, Bed Wars as a game is dead. On YouTube at least. Yeah, I want to adjust my camera angle a little bit because I was not centered in the frame. There we go. Oh, Ethereal MC. Thank you for uh, the membership on YouTube. Same with Gaming with Ryan. Expo underscore op XE. Thank you for joining. <laughs> Are you hard on the mountain 10 yet? No, we're working on nine right now. I've been, I've seen people gun it for heart of the mountain 10. Now maybe they did just do it with regular comms and I just have a disadvantage at being so terrible at navigation that I take like three times longer to do commissions. That is possible. My attention span might just be that bad. 
But otherwise, I feel like they're probably just doing that thing where for every one nucleus run... Ooh! For every one nucleus run, you get, like, five um, commissions done because of all the crystals you pick up. Oh, this is a citrine mineshaft. And no, I am not warping people in. I am not in a party and I'd like all these kills for myself because I am selfish. <laughs> Might as well pick up some of this while I'm here. What I'm starting to realize is that when you get a mine shaft like this, you kind of want the new gems. Did I not just turn off a fishing miner? What the hell happened? Oh, that was mining fortune. Whoops. There we go. But, um, no, with, when it comes to these, I think the ones I want most are the ones for the new gemstones because they're not really. Like, I don't know. It's nice just having a whole bunch of them in one place. Especially Peridot, but that's not going to matter soon once I max out farming. I'll get enough perfects for the armor and for one farming tool. Just in case I decide I want to make money by farming, which will probably be Melon, is my guess. How are the gummies treating you lately? Uh... It's been helping in some ways, hurting in other ways. I don't know. I hope that in the long term, they don't have a daily function. <laughs> I'd rather them go back to just being a thing to do for fun. Not, oh wow, I'm stuck in Skyblock still and it's been five years. Let me cope a little bit. Not... I'm not going to say that I hate Skyblock. It's just that when you're told to do the same thing over and over again for five years, you get a little, uh... <sighs> but no, I'm hoping because of this new update and the new ones that are dropping slash on alpha, like that Easter one looks interesting. And that seems like a good bit of like idle content, which is nice to just kind of progress with in the background, maybe make a video about. I think if we get a constant inflow of content again, like back in 2020, which according to the admins is possibly what's happening, then I'll be very happy. Oh, there's some prime subs I missed. Um, thank you, uh, Big Benny and Thunder. Thank you both for the prime subs. Thunder just hit a year. I can be a bit of a fish brain with the dumb nose. If at any point I miss it, you can yell at me after like a few minutes of me not acknowledging it. What are the odds to get a suspicious scrap by mining? I'm not sure. The common knowledge is that per mine shaft, you are allotted one drop. It could be anywhere from one to three um, scrap, but only you only get one drop, apparently. Now I could be wrong about that. The drop depends on efficient miner. Wait, really? That's why you get multiple? Oh. In that case, if I if my goal, if my singular goal is to get scrap, then I should probably have a fishing miner on and be. Well, I guess, okay, if we're gonna gun it directly for it, I would go for the quickest block to mine, which would be Mithril, obviously. But during mining speed boost, I really wanna go for the Glacite. Oh, there we go. We got one. Nice. So that's why it ranges from one to three is because of probably a bug, honestly. Efficient miner proccing, making you get more or less scraps sounds like a bug. 
But hey, you know what? Hopefully that's intentional behavior. Well, hopefully if it wasn't intentional behavior, they don't touch it because it's still cool of a feature. I don't know what that ding was for. Did I just get Skyblock XP? Yo, what's up, crazy kid? Oh, thank you for the T3 sub. This dude's T3 subbed on Twitch and has botnet leader on YouTube. Giga Chad status. Good morning, Skyblock. Just checking in before work. I like how the term tier three sub, at least in my mind, will never not make me think, oh, Pokemon. <laughs> uh, internet beef. Do you ever watch Instagram Reels? Not really. I, I try as hard as I can to stay away from short form content. Because, okay, here's my mentality. If I'm in a mood, a dopaminergic, a dopamine seeking mood, typically I'm also lazy. But at the same time, I also still want to be productive. So what will end up happening is when I go goblin mode, since that's an actual word now, what I'll do is I'll farm in Skyblock, and then while farming in Skyblock, I'll have my snacks, and then I'll have the the phone, and then maybe I'll be I'll scroll a little bit, but like not I don't know not short form content. I I'm a I'm a Twitter guy myself. I should probably leave. But no, I, eh. and that's not all the time. If I start farming then yeah i'll have free access to be able to you know go on TikTok if i wanted but most of the time i'm doing something that requires the use of both hands like playing skyblock and not farming um i don't know <laughs> it's i don't know i'm just too lazy i guess to actually swipe up every single time i want to watch a different clip i'd much rather just boot up a meme compilation on youtube maybe that's the boomer speak i don't know i just feel like it's just better that way but that's just my preference also i have like an extremely negative reaction for whatever reason to the loop of the short form content I don't know why it is that like there's like that quarter of a second when it loops and then I just go like ah like get rid of it it's like I heard this already and it gets like annoying it's the same level of annoying as like I'm trying to think of it <sighs> wait 30 tomorrow when jerry fishing happens do you want my red gifts oh absolutely let's drop a snowman Unskippable ads. Someone tell Yappy to go to the kick mirror, at least during the ads. But no, I I don't know. Videos looping is one of my. It's like a nail on a chalkboard type thing to me. It's awful, extremely annoying. I have a similar reaction to just music with lyrics in general, especially musicals. I made a tweet about that and got a lot of people angry when I was like, "Yeah, I don't think musicals in, as a genre." Is something I really vibe with. I was just like, it, it just makes me feel awful. It's just like so immensely cringe and unsatisfying that it like is almost painful to watch. No, I meant the looping thing. Same level of annoying as unskippable ads. Yeah, honestly. You know what? Yeah, I, I bet the, <laughs> the way people feel when they're on a live stream and they get ads that like initial just oh like that disappointment <laughs> that level of dissatisfaction is what i feel when a short form video loops i don't know why so we need peridot or tungsten Do you think Peridot's price will go down to the same as the other gems? Uh, 
It depends on what... Everything's relative, right? Well, your question's relative. So then my question would be, okay, what are the purposes... Sorry, I'm hiccuping. For the other, um, or burping. <laughs> For the other gemstones. Like, what purposes did the other gemstones have? Is there gonna be as much demand for the others? If Peridot has a disproportionately high demand, then it will probably have a higher price. Now, I believe the Sea Creature Chance one probably will also be higher in price than the others, but not as much because there's less stuff to put the gems on, less, less equipment. Thoughts on the dumb Spotify feature now where you need premium to only play songs from your playlist? That sounds terrible. Also, I just realized that shadow play on. Oh, that made the stream. Oh, hey, hey. Chat, did you just realize, or did you just notice the stream is more fluid now? Or is that just me? Can you can you guys see the difference? I turned off shadow play. That actually was kind of nice. The increase in frame rate there. Now I've been saying this for years, just switch over to YouTube premium. Like I am a Google simp. I'm a bit biased. They're not paying me to say this though. But in general, I tend to like Google products, assuming they don't cancel them. <laughs> like, what was it? Um, um, Pixel Pass? Rip to Pixel Pass? You were saving me like $10 a month. And then the phone plan went up in price too. So I don't know. But at least YouTube Premium is still the better value versus like Spotify. I don't know. Like YouTube music. Big difference. I don't know. I went from Spotify to YouTube music and there is nothing I miss. <laughs> There's nothing I miss from Spotify. It, it, it works. If anything, I kind of like YouTube music more because I can add YouTube videos to my music playlist. Because I'm the type of weirdo that actually listens to music that's not really like primarily music. Like, I'll listen to background music from video games, like stuff that was made just to accompany something else and isn't even the main deal. I don't know. I'm weird. The big difference is referring to the shadow play thing. Oh, 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 I'm, I'm dumb. My bad. I should probably buy some gems soon because people are more and more people are like, why is your gem balance negative? Uh, umber tungsten. I don't get ads, but YouTube will make your videos run like crap. Yeah, I had to go into Opera GX's settings and manually add YouTube to the um, exception list to the built-in ad blocker because it was getting to the point where like my entire browser would just die if I had a YouTube video playing, which at least for me is all the time, <laughs> unless I'm streaming. I'm either pretty much 24 seven having videos play, even if I'm not even watching them, or I'm producing content. Yo, Rapion, they can get five, five gifted T1s again? Hell yeah, brother. Hey, Rapion, you still uh, team Hightail when it finally releases? Or have things changed? I know some people in the community have given up and just are living their lives now. I'm still hanging on to the hope that when it finally comes out, I'll be able to have my server network. And you know what's funny? My motivation is just to make the best game possible. I'm not even thinking of the finances, which I'm gonna once it comes time to make the game itself, because obviously it wouldn't, the game would just straight up not exist after a while if it wasn't profitable. But I'm very excited just to finally get the chance to make an, in my opinion, an actual good RPG, finally. 
even even in its blocky format i think it'll be one of the best rpgs i will make sure of it at least mechanically speaking it'll have the most satisfying progression the least grindy there's a lot to balance but i've played enough of various games in the genre and other genres and uh, i think i i think i got this oh what's up zach heart of the mountain check we're midway through heart of the mountain nine i took a bit of yesterday to fix my sleep schedule after um after the mining fiesta from midnight to 5 a.m which platform pays best per non-subbed member non sub oh, okay so for free users twitch is the most profitable because they play the most ads <laughs> YouTube is second most profitable because they play ads, just less of them. And Kick currently, I don't think I've made a single dollar off of Kick. That said, I did get monetization working, so you can actually sub on Kick. That is a thing. And here's what I'll say. Up until recently, Streamlabs was the best conversion in terms of what percent of what you pay i get because it's essentially a paypal transfer but now kick is added to that list because it's a 95 5 split which is pretty much the same as the um transaction fee that comes with the paypal donation thing with streamlabs so now you have two options for the most efficient oh is that the is that a ten dollar super chat? Oh, well, thank you for the ten dollar super chat. Your name, unfortunately, has um, some syllables in it that would sound bad out of context if I said it. So I'm just gonna have to call you four. Thank you for the ten dollars. The gems also have other uses in Chisel. Oh yeah, yeah. The um, that is true the aqua is it aquamarine that goes on what's it called the chisel i don't know alpaca nope that's not what that says that's a name that's not in english alp con Irif i glue. <laughs> Thank you for becoming a member. I'm so sorry, dude. I, I am so sorry. You have to, you have to remember, chat. I am a college dropout who plays Minecraft for a living. We can't, <laughs> we can't have very high standards for my pronunciation of foreign names. I tried my best. <laughs> And what's funny too is that's not an excuse. I can almost guarantee you that if someone were to just look, if someone knew how to speak English, but was it was like their second language, they would just see my name and get it every single time. I'm sure of it. Granted, my name is like two syllables, so it makes it easier, but. Sounded Turkish to me. <laughs> What's up, looter? Mm -mm -mm. So how's the viewership doing today? 282 people on Twitch. 490 on YouTube. Is that 8 on kick? <laughs> 12 on kick. Let's go. I am very surprised at the... Okay, I'm gonna make this clear. I have no incentive really to make Kick truly work versus any of the other platforms. For me, a viewer is a viewer really. So I have no horse in this race. But it surprises me a lot to see that the Kick stream is just dead. It surprises me a lot. I You would think that like out of the like 200 almost 300 people watching on twitch 
I bet at least a, half of them probably are getting ads right now. If it was me, I would not have the patience. <laughs> I would have zero patience. But hey, you do you. I, it doesn't make a difference to me either way, like I said. I'm just curious. Why, what, what is the reason? Not many people support what Kick allows and promotes. Yeah, but you could say the same thing about Twitch, though. Like, <laughs> and YouTube. And YouTube. Uh, granted, YouTube is its a different problem. It's not the fact that they refuse to fix the problems. It's the fact that it's so large of a platform that things just fly under the radar. Whereas with, like, I don't know. All the platforms have their skeletons in the closet. I don't think that... I think Kick gets unfairly persecuted for that. But I'm not going to say it's a perfect platform, obviously. Because, you know, I'm very anti-gambling. But, like, I can't use that as justification to just villainize Kick if I also stream on Twitch. Like, Twitch profits so much from gambling streams. Like, what? It's not just gambling. Well, yeah, there's those DJ and IRL streamers that harass people for like five dollars. <laughs> I don't know. It just seems a bit silly to me to, as a blanket statement, hit on a whole platform for what a few bad apples are doing. Why are you red? Because the lights in front of me are red and they are slowly turning blue. Can a gemstone gauntlet break any of the mining blocks that you're breaking? I haven't tried, but I've heard yes. <laughs> mood lighting. <laughs> yeah, in my office. Because that's where you need mood lighting. Wait. Onyx is this way. When you make a... Truly hateful person, one of the front runners of your site. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> There's a few people that come to mind when you say that. And you choose to do something knowing they're hateful. You're a dead sight to me. I don't know, dude. I don't know. I don't know if I agree with that. Are you reading all chats or just Twitch? I'm reading all chats. Do you want to see what I see? Here, just to put in perspective. This is what's happening on my other monitor. I have a widget specifically for... Oh, hold on. No. Come on now. There we go. My OBS is always on top of all the other windows, so it makes things kind of annoying sometimes. This is what I see. You see that? So if you ever at any point are like, oh, he's ignoring insert platform here. Look, we got YouTube here. We got Twitch here. More Twitch, more YouTube. You even have a kick message down here. I can read all of it. I can see everything. Now, just because you don't see it on the, sorry about that. Just because you don't see it on the screen doesn't mean that I don't see it. Now, if I don't see your message, that's just because I'm a fish brain. And I just miss things. Thirty, please acknowledge me. Now, what I do find funny is that the YouTube stream has nearly twice the people as the Twitch stream. But, like, Twitch and YouTube are pretty neck and neck with the number of messages. Well, there's a guy spamming. Oh, is there? Oh, I see. Okay, that time you got lucky because I actually responded to the message before I noticed it was spam, but don't do that. <laughs> we mute for that in these parts.
YouTube in general is known to have less active chatters. I mean, it makes sense because sometimes people get auto played into a video and they're not even watching it. Shout out if you're doing the dishes right now and I'm your background um, noise. Yeah, I'm talking to you. You got to scrub that plate a little bit more before you put in the dishwasher. You missed a spot. <laughs> The dishwasher. I can't freaking speak, man. Words sometimes just refuse to exit my mouth. Mm -mm -mm. All right, tungsten. You are. <laughs> You did indeed just start auto playing for me. Yeah, exactly. Uh, YouTube has so many more ways for someone to accidentally themselves into content. So I guess it does make a lot of sense why the interaction's a lot lower. Really? Why did my copy paste disappear? Warp base. On Twitch, you have raids, though. Yeah, but they're not nearly as common. <laughs> I'm actually doing my dishes. <laughs> YouTube viewing experience is just better. So use an app for Twitch chat while on YouTube for viewing. You sure about that? Hey, I mean, if it works better for you, that's great. But typically, people tell me the opposite, that Twitch is the... Um, better viewer experience then again if you if you don't have a sub on that channel then probably not considering ads i yeah man twitch really ugh. i this I, this amount of ads as a platform is not good in the long term i'll say that i have a feeling they're gonna have to invest in like av1 or something get their costs down instead of uh shoving more ads at the problem of profitability With YouTube Premium and without Twitch sub, YouTube's kind of better. Oh, if you have Premium, then yeah. I mean, even then, though, if there were no ads in the experience either way, I would say Twitch's experience is probably better than YouTube's. But when you take into account ads, yeah. That's an unfair fight. Yeah. As much as people like to dog on Twitch, it is the best streaming platform overall right now despite everything everyone's been saying it still is technically the best platform feature wise feature wise and in general the the quality of the streams is good it makes good use of bitrate you know but that probably won't be the case for that much longer in my opinion Give it a year or two. How did you manage to get negative gems? People are so curious about that. It's <laughs> such a throwaway detail that took like three seconds. <laughs> I was grinding Skyblock. I see the chat message. Oh, your purchase of 600 something Skyblock gems has been processed. And I'm like, oh, someone bought me gems. Surprisingly, not the first time that's happened. I'm like, you know what? I wasn't live. No one sent me a message or anything. It was just, oh, I have gems now. Thank you, anonymous person. So then I, I went and spent the gems on cookies. And then sure enough, the person that bought me the gems charged back. <laughs> so now... I still have the cookies and the uh, the bits, but now my gems have a negative balance, which is only because of my YouTube rank, by the way. If anyone else tried that, they would get instantly banned from the server. Don't try that one at home, all right? Don't get yourself banned trying to get free gems because they're not free. They're only free for me because I make the server money. 
<laughs> and that like five dollars worth of gems is a drop in the bucket compared to the amount of money i've brought them with creator code and that they've brought me in turn because creator code so you know it's not really a it's not that big a deal in the grand scheme of things What's the use of Glacite Amalgamation? It's just a crafting ingredient. It's just uh, whatever the other item's called, V2. It's a gemstone mixture, V2. My headset? I need to get a new headset soon. The It snapped here, and I don't know if you could tell, but like I had to tape it. Look at that. I had to tape it, and I had to super glue the other side too. Like, I don't know why. But this headset in particular did not fare as well as the last one. And this is a common theme with me. I keep snapping headsets, doing nothing. Just taking the headset off my head only to realize, huh, that there was a little cracking noise. I guess I just have big brain. <laughs> my cranium is just too large, I guess. Could you get someone banned by buying them gems and then charging back after they spend? If so, that's scary. Well, here's the thing in that scenario is that that's probably happened before, but I'd also imagine that if they made the appropriate appeal and said, yeah, I didn't make that purchase, there's probably a process. Like they could probably check IPs, be like, hey, your IP is in this location, whereas the person that bought you the thing is in like a different country entirely. I don't know that it's, there's no such thing as a free lunch, man. Don't try it. And then you're like, oh, what if I use a VPN? What if I pay somebody to buy me gems for, but I'll pay them a quarter of the cost of the gems and then have them refund it. Their account will get banned and then I'll get the free gems because I can appeal. Like, don't, don't do that. Don't mess with the system because the second you start to try to do that, the admins are going to get smart and then they're not going to give you that leeway anymore. No, don't do it. Stop it. The consequences will come back to you. <laughs> now, I'm not I'm not directly calling anyone out specifically, but I'm just saying like disclaimer, disclaimer, disclaimer. I didn't get banned because I'm 30 virus. You are not 30 virus. <laughs> What if I am 30 by now? <laughs> this is going to take way too long if I don't do the pearl trick. Okay. I have 100% watched all of your VODs. There's no way. That is physically impossible, bro. I have over a thousand stream VODs on YouTube. Some of those streams are 24 hours long. On average, they're at least three hours long. I like how I just randomly started mining Umber as a guess, and it was the commission. Watched all. I am so sorry for the damage that my voice has done to your psyche in that case. That pearl trick is kind of nice. I'm using that now. It is nice, yeah. Now, I bet you they're, in response to that, gonna have to update the game and make it so you have to spend five seconds in the camp for the heat to apply, I bet. <laughs> Do the admins ban for glitch abuse? It depends how severe the bug is. Something like this is pretty harmless. 
something like the pearl trick but if you're like duping like come on <laughs> now there's a few times when people got smited for something that i'd consider pretty minor i remember when uh mind tricks finally got perm banned the most recent time it was because he was using a bug to fish infinitely in a dungeon which like got spooky sea creatures which is like yeah a little overpowered but i don't think it would that would have been ban worthy the utility of the bug by the way was that if you if you were to stay in a dungeon that started during spooky you'll fish up spooky sea creatures forever even once the event's over that that's how the bug used to work and they patched it obviously I, I think it was something like that I am trying to raid you, but you don't want viewers? You don't need my permission to raid my stream. <laughs> that is an automated built-in platform feature. If I find the fairy soul room, do you want a warp? Oh, I already have all the fairy souls. Yeah, that's taken care of already. Oh my god, that Nightbot message is so outdated. Download the Skyblock mod here, Biscuit. <laughs> oh my god. The original link for Skyblock add-ons. Yeah, we gotta update the Nightbot message. <laughs> oh, thank you for becoming member, by the way. Let's see if I can get this name right. Spira... Spirage... Bro. And then a pig emoji. Thank you for that. I underscore T4 Kiyoma. Thank you for the prime. The prime sub on Twitch. Thank you for that. Use Enderbow. I'm not wasting another slot in the first page of my Ender Chest for yet another item. I'm more than happy using pearls. Just don't update it and confuse everybody. <laughs> I mean, that's just the way it has been. And it wasn't as a joke, it's just because I forgot. Did you have to take an art class in high school? I did. That's where I met Anthony. The first time in my life I ever had a negative note on my report card that note being that i wouldn't stop talking in class <laughs> and me being the anti-social kid that was a huge accomplishment for my parents to see that they're like oh my god he's talking to people that's a positive note yeah, like the note on my report card said talks too much in class, which I thought it was absolutely hilarious. Peridot. That is this way. Do you get a royalty or percent amount when people use your creator code? Yes. Yes, I do. Do you 
Do you invest in crypto? If so, what advice can you give me? I don't directly invest in crypto, but I do invest in companies that dabble in crypto. Um, I don't know. In general, crypto is just a more risky, high risk, potentially higher return investment. Don't invest anything that you don't intend to, or that you're not okay with losing. <laughs> I personally don't really involve myself with crypto. It just doesn't seem like something that... Am I dumb? Oh, I'm trying to... I keep on doing that where I search for a waypoint for tungsten. Meanwhile, it's everywhere. Um, Yeah, no, I, I'm not the biggest fan of crypto. I do think, though, that the future of currency is a decentralized currency. I just don't know if that's going to happen in our lifetime because governments have much incentive not to let that happen i don't know if you guys realize just how much the u.s abuses the fact that the u.s dollar is the reserve currency they use we use it to our advantage all the time all the time we're kind of screwing over other countries in the process <laughs> um but you know it is what it is but no there's too much incentive what will probably end up happening is that USDC, which is already a thing, is going to become, like, essentially the US dollar. And we'll just have USDC, I guess, in our bank accounts and whatnot. Like, we'll use the technology of crypto, but not necessarily just buy a coin and then it goes to the moon. Like, I don't know. If whatever you're buying doesn't have a practical purpose and the whole reason it's valuable is because some other sucker is going to buy it for more, I would stay the hell away from that kind of investment. That goes for a lot of things. That goes for, like, art. That goes for, like, watches, sports cars, like, vintage sports cars. That, I'm not a fan of holding assets that the whole reason they have value is because people just think it's cool like nah bro that doesn't sound like a safe investment at all like i heard from somebody that the price of like for example first edition charizard cards has like plummeted in recent months it's like, oh, wow, would you look at that? In a recession, people are starting to sell their Pokemon cards and the value goes down because now there's more of them in the market. Like, I just don't want to deal with that crap, man. It's like, oh, would you look at that? When people are struggling, they sell off their commodities that are worth money. And if those things don't have any practical purpose, then the only thing that di dictates the price is what people are willing to pay for it. I'm not using an ender bow. Stop. Stop. It's not going to happen. You're not going to force it. As a matter of fact, I will start moderating it if it gets too annoying. You see how few empty slots there are here? There has to be a slot for every utility item I use. The first page is specifically for all tools I use throughout the game, except for farming tools, because there's 10 of them, and screw you, Hypixel, for not combining them. Um, no. No, I am not adding another thing to my stupid loadout for this one grind. It's not happening. <laughs> Do you still use Voodoo Doll? No. I have a Hyperion. What purpose would I need a Voodoo Doll for? I was asking because it was on that page. Oh, is it there? Huh. There must be a reason why I kept it there then. Because usually I try to check up on this every few weeks. Oh, it's just... Yeah, I don't know. Maybe if I wanted to do Crimson Isle minis and just stack different types of weapon damage? I don't remember. There must be a good reason. It's just been a while. Oh, thank you for the Prime Sub. Slugger <laughs> Shane. You play baseball? Is that a word people use? 
I think that's a term in baseball, right? Maybe I'm wrong. I have no idea. It sounds like a... I don't know why it sounds like a baseball thing. I think slug, some variation of the word slug is used in baseball. I don't remember why. Maybe I'm just making up a bunch of nonsense right now. Did you recover from garden rot? No. As a matter of fact, I couldn't help myself. And I grinded like three hours of farming today. It was bad. Even though this brand new content is right here, ready for me to make content about, make a video about. I'm just like, oh, it's still a few hours of farming. Got to get that composter upgraded. Like, Jesus, man. I need to chill out. To be fair, though, I did just max out another category of uh, composter upgrading. So, that's important. And now, whenever I farm cactus, I can sell it to NPC. I don't need to store it anymore. It's a person who hits the ball very hard. Oh, would you look at that? It is a baseball term. I, kn I knew I remembered that from somewhere. I just don't know where. Mm -hmm. I can almost guarantee you they're going to patch that trick out of the game. And it would be so simple, too. They would literally just have it so that it'll recover, like, over the course of five seconds instead of immediately. A part of me knew the second that, like, I walked into the base camp and my heat just immediately, or my uh, cold went to zero immediately. I was like, oh, that's probably something that's exploitable. I mean, every time there is a mechanic like that where it just instantly fixes, people are going to abuse it. For example, they had to make it so that when you join a lobby, you only spawn in with like half mana. Or no, they had to make it so that the cooldown... Um, what was it? They did, there's a few features in the game that make it so when you freshly join a lobby, there's a few things you can't do. Because beforehand, sorry, I'm I'm fish braining so bad right now because Aquamarine is in the worst spot of all the gemstones. Um, anyways, there's a lot of stuff they added to delay your ability to do things when you enter a lobby because people abuse it like that. Oh my god, how do I get to this stupid Aquamarine? This is awful. My navigation's so bad. Oh, I have to moderate my chat. Cringe. Oh. Thirty mod me. <laughs> I see what you're trying to do, Luther. Boom. You know there are three aquamarine spots. My waypoints are definitely not. Uh, complete. You know what? Can somebody in the suggestions chat on my Discord just drop a screenshot of their like cords for every single one of these? Because like if you go into my waypoints mod I got like half. If I got the other half then maybe this would be less cringe. And the chat's blocking some of the view but you know what I mean. Uh I did not finish mining the Peridot. What do I do after Heart of the Mountain 10? Probably grind Glacite Powder now. That would be advisable, I'd imagine. I would grind out Glacite Powder until you can get your Heart of the Mountain perks up that give you more efficiency at getting scrap.
I haven't played Skyblock in years. Is 655 a requirement for this update, or can I do a little bit with Gemstone Drill? Gauntlet's the minimum. Gemstone Gauntlet is the minimum breaking power to use the or to come here. But even then, your mining speed's gonna be really bad. Like, I have a 655, and look how slow this is. If Arnold at his peak 1v1 the rock at his peak, who would win? Arnold. <laughs> also, ooh. Actually, hold on. In what context? A 1v1 at bench press? Or a 1v1 at fighting? Because the rock is slash was a fighter, and Arnold was a bodybuilder. I'm not sure if he did fights. I would assume that he probably has dabbled in it, at least. But if he hasn't, then I would bet The Rock just because he would have fighting experience. It wouldn't even be a difference of their build, I guess. Experience is really important when it comes to like boxing, fighting in general. Brute strength isn't everything. So it entirely, I don't know enough to answer the question is basically my answer. I don't follow either of them. I could care less about wrestling. <laughs> or couldn't care less. Is that the phrase? I don't know. In a fist fight at peak fitness. Probably The Rock because he knows how to fight. Then again, maybe Arnold does too. Don't know. Haven't checked. Hey, haven't watched it in a year. How's life been? That's all right. I mean, realistically, <laughs> I would have, I would be happier if, you know, Hightail was out. Ah, uh, my neck is peeling. I forgot to put sunscreen on and did like four hours of pulling weeds from my backyard. Big sad. Uh, the sunburn. It's been years, dude, since I had, like, actual sunburn where the skin peels. Ugh. It's been a long time. I don't really go outside. <laughs> Bro, did garden IRL. Yeah, the brain rot was so bad that I started gardening in real life. No, I didn't. I could care less about gardens in general, but you know, the HOA complains if I don't pull the weeds. How bad was it to clean the plots IRL? Oh, it was awful. Yeah, I don't know, man. I had to pull by the roots like enough weeds to fill a bucket the size of me. It was terrible. Is 100 mil worth 10 extra farming fortune? If you're looking at bizarre prices for the new gemstone, stop what you're doing. <laughs> the update dropped two days ago. Calm yourself. Never buy update day items. Never. Unless it's like a massive, like, under bid like the person didn't know how much it was worth like let's say devon alloy actually like just came out and someone has it on ah for like 20 mil then obviously yes but like other than that and the problem is since the update's new you probably most people probably wouldn't know how valuable an item is but in general prices tend to drop for almost everything versus like update day Also perfect, only gives six farming fortune. Yeah, that's really lame. It should give minimum double that, minimum. How does mod application work? Uh, there is no setup in place for it. 
so I guess however I deem fit at the time. Helpless for one, two, three. Thank you for joining. Or er, joining. Thank you for the Twitch Prime. A lot of these gems will stay expensive for ages. Not just not enough of them and getting the crystal sucks. Oh yeah, for perfect gems, absolutely. I think that there's a problem currently with the update in regards to the crystals. They're just way too rare. Like, I don't know if people have noticed that. Oh, that's... Hello. <laughs> oh, that's awkward timing. Um, hey. Is that is that Simon? Yo, long time no see, my guy. How's it going? Hey, you know what? It was phrased as a suggestion. It's a small thing. It's literally just adjust the value. All right. <laughs> I'm not hating. But no, what's up, Simon? Is it sad that I still remember? <laughs> the first time he did that, I was collecting minions. The second time he did that, I was in Dark Auction and then friended him. <laughs> oh, I need to go to Aquamarine. You know, it'd be kind of sick, actually. I, it probably wouldn't... Mm, they probably can't do it for, like, breaking the game reasons, but it would be cool if you could, like, have an item ability or maybe even a pet ability that just burrows through these walls like you could just dig a hole and then like the hole would close up again after like 30 seconds just to like get through to for example aquamarine which is really annoying like a temporary mine shaft type deal actually that technically that sounds like it could be a good idea for like the mole pet right I promise you it's a thing. Well, obviously stonking in dungeons, right? Like essentially stonking, but everywhere. But that, that'd be so hard to balance. Oh, and he said, hi chat, Twitch Prime. I agree. I do agree. So, so Simon, are, which platform are you on right now? Because we have some fancy tech now where I'm on three platforms simultaneously. Watching on Twitch and YouTube, double watch time. You know, it'd be kind of funny. <laughs> Imagine someone like, like Kai with like 60,000 plus viewers just tells everybody at the same time to do something that screws with the streaming platforms. Just like have all the streams open playing ads at the same time. Just to mess with the platforms. I open YouTube and your stream come up first. So I figured I'd come and say hi. Hey. That's cool. How how has post Skyblock life been? And for those that don't know, he he announced he's doing a, a new company making games. And I am very much looking forward to what is cooked up because Hypixel is literally the only reason I still play Minecraft. <laughs> and if they manage to do that, then yeah, I, I'm hopeful. fourth platform on facebook hell yeah and probably get even fewer viewers than the kick stream we'll give more details in the coming weeks hopefully hell yeah oh you know it'd be a fun exercise i don't know if i don't know if simon's down but if he is i'm curious what are some concepts back when back when you were involved with skyblock what were some ideas that you had that never made the cut and you don't have to make a comment on whether or not it's going to happen obviously since not involved anymore maybe it would be too much to ask that it really depends what their process is and if there's still things that are cooking that were ideas years ago why not stream to tiktok as well i don't know how tiktok live works to be honest also, isn't it 9 by 16 aspect ratio instead of 16 by 9? Which would mean the entire stream would look awful. Or I'd have to re-encode it. 
in such a way where like my face cam would take up the top like third of the screen maybe like the chat would take up another third of the screen and then the gameplay at the bottom or like some combination either way it would be gross did you get your tiktok account back i didn't even bother bro i made the account I made the account to just to upload and I have never watched any content on it. I just don't really care about TikTok as a whole right now. It's gross in general. Well, short form content in general is something I just don't really enjoy producing. It's not why I started making YouTube videos. Like for the express purpose of like algorithm and like impression farming and following trends just to and saying the most outlandish outlandish crazy thing that you don't even believe but it's gonna get a reaction out of people like that. bro i started making youtube videos because there was like cool things that were happening in the games i were i was playing at the time and i wanted to show my friends and then random people from the internet started showing up and i was like hey maybe they'd be interested too Ooh, my idea of dungeons was different a bit more linear but and more like world of warcraft dungeons but would have been too much work long term now i don't have the context to know what a wow dungeon is like but i've heard this is what like asmongold goes on about right he'll talk about like raids or is that a different thing i'm not sure either way interesting I i'd have to look up what uh wow dungeons are like dungeon five man raid 20 to 40. okay i see so they're different mechanics then i got you i i was a big fan of uh your minion ideas back in the day mr Simon. i'm not going to be specific about it in case something's cooking still so imagine a static linear dungeon handcrafted not random so a story based kind of i see why you guys decided to do a different path i could see if you're required to do a thousand of it they would probably get well i mean to be fair with the current system it gets old too but i do see why that was the um decision the downside would have been that people would just blast through them too fast yeah and that's kind of what's i mean that's kind of what the players always do it is kind of funny being a game developer in a way because like <laughs> it's like feeding a child vegetables it's like if the players had any say they would just skip to the end of progression every single time like <laughs> like they don't know what's good for them most of the time when it's like for example i brought the the classic 30 virus debate oh god potions and like power creep and i'm like here trying to explain from a game design perspective why you shouldn't give every buff in the game all at the same time and like people hated it because the first thing that came to mind is oh but this grind is going to be less efficient and it's like no you missed the point entirely there's a whole section of progression that's just non-existent and gets overwritten so i do find it very funny like these type of discussions i love this stuff like i when i finally have the hours in the day I'm going to be a game designer and developer. I'm, it's just what's going to happen. And with like language models, getting rid of the grunt work, it would be mostly design, I guess. Yeah, but spend one month on a dungeon that gets blasted through in one minute. <laughs> yeah. I can only imagine how people feel watching like stonking and it's like, I meticulously made, th it's probably Nitro. I meticulously made this handcrafted system where it's all the dungeons are made to be progressed slowly and meticulously and then you just have people like digging through the wall and glitching through and just like stepping on a block and it just spawns the boss <laughs> it just enters i think it's m3 <laughs> i wanted to bring maps like we did in the past here brian returns i still think there is a place for that you know what here's a here's a free idea for the, the um the rest of staff imagine luigi's mansion but like hero brian's like hero brian's mansion but it's luigi's mansion 
<laughs> that would be kind of cool. Catch ghosts. I mean, we technically already have like a vacuum, right? You know, it'd be really funny actually. Wait, wait, this plays into the thing Hellcastle was talking about in his video where like multiple aspects of the game intermingle with each other. What if there was an item that you put on the infinite vacuum to allow it to suck up ghosts as well as pests? Huh? Maybe it'd have something to do with Rift Mountaintop? I don't know. Don't let bro cook. <laughs> and then you could take the captured souls and use them to like upgrade items or forge things. Speaking of intermingling mechanics, you can use a soul to forge a very specific type of, I don't know, maybe the ghost blade. <laughs> so you tie in mining to all that stuff too. But yeah, there's so many good ideas that I've had over the years for Skyblock and so many good ideas I've heard that have never made it. I do hope someday it all happens, but you know, it's it's a tough it's a tough thing to balance because of dev time and honestly just dealing with Mojang's BS. One thing I'd also like to see in the future are raids, like 10 to 20 man raids in Skyblock with le weekly resets, but not on roadmap at the moment, just a personal thing I want. So I have an interesting perspective on this. I remember when Bed Wars had like castle mode and that's pretty much my only experience with like a big man raid, like large number of people raid mechanic or like large teams. My personality type is prone to just not wanting to be on a team or to work with other people. So I immediately rejected the mode. I, I feel like the biggest challenge with any mechanic like that would be how do you get 40 players to all work towards a task and not feel like their contribution is meaningless, you know? And I'm sure this is something that's been tackled before. like. For example, WoW raids, I'm sure that's been tackled. Like, this is coming from the perspective of someone that has not seen what the solution is to that problem. I'm sure there is one that is, like, standard in the industry at this point. Just have a queue system, but this way you cat uh, player count and make giant boss fight interesting without being a Zerg fight. Have a queue system interesting that immediately brought me back to like in high school gym class we had this exercise there's this thing called suicides where you sprint to a, like a cone on the other side of the thing and sprint back and then you hand off a baton to someone else and then they do sprinting back and forth as fast as possible so maybe yeah maybe a boss fight like that where like one at a time or maybe a few dozen at a t or like maybe a small team at a time players are queued up to like do some task this is true because then your then your contribution absolutely matters that's what they do now in wow not now a lfr looking for raid oh you mean like a party finder type setup Oh no, I don't doubt the ability to get 40 people together. I'm just saying once you have 40 people together, it's like, how do you make sure that no one just sits there and freeloads or someone tries and then just thinks to themselves, wow, like what I'm doing is not contributing at all. We're talking about Rift? No, we're not. We're just talking about um, the idea of large player counts in a boss fight. Hmm. How would... I'm trying to think of... As someone who, again, is not in that world, maybe my... If I were to try and think on it, maybe I'd have an interesting solution. Or I would just say what everyone else tried and failed to accomplish already. I'm using Efficient Miner on gemstones because I'm too lazy to switch back and forth constantly. Also, I'm here for the comms, not really the gems themselves. Make it easy enough so that it's fine to have carry and randomly join groups, but still experience the fight with 20 people fighting. I feel like there's 
gotta be something, though. There has to be. Maybe make... <laughs> you know what would be kind of crazy? Oh, uh, you know what I just realized? Okay, I'm gonna say what I was thinking and then say why it's bad. What I was gonna say is what if a random participant in the fight was like... What if someone was randomly selected? Like, for example... You're fighting a dragon, and at a certain phase of the fight, the dragon sneezes on somebody, and there's, like, dragon boogers or whatever on a specific player. <laughs> like, they're just covered in this grossness that apparently they can use to their advantage, like, somehow. Like, maybe it a... I don't know. And then that specific player has been chosen to do something for the boss fight. Now, the reason that's bad is if... The person that's randomly selected doesn't want to participate. It screws over the fight for everybody. So that's why I want to do that. But if you go hard modes, then it needs Discord coordination and stuff. Yeah. You can add interesting mechanics, yes. But make it easy, quote, easy enough so that the raid can recover if a player fails anyway. And I guess it would also make sense, too, to scale the loot depending on who contributed the most, right? Just like in Skyblock, actually. The top few people get the lion's share of the loot. So there is an incentive structure to actually participate. Just have a kick system. It's gotta be something though. How do you put pressure on somebody? Ah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not good with this stuff. I'm much better off with mechanics in games that are like, I wouldn't say single player only, but has less players. Like, I could probably think of good mechanics for, like, a five-player thing or less. Oh, you know what, Simon? I want to bounce an idea off of you, actually. Um, I think I, I think we talked about this, like, years ago. Oh, you said another thing. I mean, once it's a week... It's a once-a-week boss fight, so no incentives for players to AFK and have a chance to get kicked. Interesting. So it's a timed thing. You don't just walk in. So that makes it truly like an event in the community. Hmm. But um, my idea, speaking of interesting mechanics, what I want to do at some point, uh, I talked about Blockshot Network with Simon a long time ago, so I'd be, I'm not, <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if you forgot. But um, my idea is you have a post-apocalypse world that has an MMORPG game set in that universe. And the way that uh, one of the core uh, mechanics of this game is having a home base, just like the private island sky block, but it's like a settlement in the desert or wasteland or whatever. And you have settlers, you have people in your uh, settlement and you can uh, assign them to different stations. For example, you have a water pump, right? You'll put a guy at the water pump so you have water. You'll put a guy at the scrap pile for salvage to take the scrap and pick components out of it and make tech. There'd be another guy that you put in the gym to train his strength skill. <laughs> and then, just like in Clash of Clans, your home base, your settlement can get raided by another player. And unlike Clash of Clans, you're not just plopping units down. You're walking in yourself from the first person. And it's like, that's my way of having infinite content. Infinite content. <laughs> Would be essentially player-made dungeons. And it wouldn't be a literal dungeon, but it'd be like that kind of... Like in the Fallout games, you walk into a place, there's loot, there's points of interest, there's a quest. Like all of that, but made by other players. And your base would be susceptible to raids by other people. Your settlers would be the NPCs that fight back once you enter the region. Uh, but yeah, I wanted that to be a core mechanic. So there'd also be a strategy in how you build your base. Like, how do you construct it? How do you route people around so that, like, for example, automatic turrets or your settlers have enough time? Maybe you have sniper nests. Like, <laughs> yeah, they have enough time to kill the enemy player. Or you have security cameras or something. I don't know. To make their raid the least uh, successful event possible. I, don't know. I had a similar idea in the past. I played some games that used these kind of mechanics. Heroes of the Hammer, Watch, Bannerlord. I, so my model that I was thinking of is based off of the game Fallout Shelter. 
which is very similar in itself to actually it's kind of a genre defining game in a way i remember when the company that was uh paid to make it just used the exact same source code for a uh, westworld a westworld game <laughs> they got in a lot of trouble for that But yeah, it's too bad Skyblock can't do something like that because of the um, Mojang's TOS. I mean, that's probably, I'd imagine that's the reason, right? Is because cookies are a thing. You can't technically have any PVP content. And I feel like a Clash of Clans style raid, even if it's like not directly PVP, it would, probably still count as pvp and then mojang would not be happy with hypixel is my guess but yeah man i'm excited imagine a fallout game with a clash of clans on top of it essentially like there would be an open world aspect to it like raiding other people's bases isn't the whole game it's just like a part of the process right like there'll be points of interest quests all that good stuff like a fully fleshed out bethesda style game is the that is the plan and then i'm hoping what i could do maybe is if the anti-cheat's good enough for hightail i could just have a bunch of stuff run locally so that there's less like impact on the servers like there might be whole regions where you're technically not even logged into the server assuming that's even possible in the engine wouldn't people just build the quote meta base and all raids would just be the same thing i mean there's probably a way to do it where that wouldn't happen like i'm sure there's some elements of randomness i can introduce and if the meta is complex enough then there probably wouldn't be a single best strategy because what if someone walks in with a different type of gun right like what if for example let's say you're about to do a raid on some some guy's settlement and they have sniper towers you probably should have a long range weapon to deal with the sniper tower, right? You can't just run in, you'll get shot. <laughs> so then there's that. But now, since you've had a few uh, people assigned to the sniper towers, now there's gonna be less people on the ground with say machine guns defending. So depending on the base, depending on who's raiding, depending on their choices for what weapon they bring in, or if they're defending, what weapons they prepare for you can only prepare for so many not all of them so then metas would emerge where everything would be slightly different and there wouldn't just be a definitive way to win every single time yeah i'm looking forward to what simon's got cooking up that um i'm gonna be vague because i'm on stream that project you talked to me about before that is different is that still a thing Oh, next year there's a potential fun game coming up with similar town upgrades but not sure if it'll ever get developed but it's on the idea board hey i mean if things ever get to the point where i got enough free time to be a dev for a game eh? the different thing i talked about too is on hold because busy as hell ah that's fair that is also an absolute banger idea that i think would be a game changer and to be honest i i wouldn't discount it even versus the potential of other games. I do truly think that's... <laughs> I'm literally just talking to Simon and all chats like, huh? It's a good idea. I, I definitely... If it wasn't already a thing being worked on, I'd consider making it myself. <laughs> I, I see a lot of potential in that. What's Simon cooking? I guess you'll just have to find out. <laughs> I did the actual design in Figma and got quotes done, but yeah, time. <laughs> oh it's playing that song again the new stream playlist has a, a true or a real hero song in it it's one of the few real hero songs which is by the way the artist that made a lot of the og like lemon profile 2019 music from those videos this is one of the few songs that we missed and i think we're gonna save it for the uh 
Oh, I should be using Gauntlet for this. Because of the looting. Uh, we're saving it for the Tribute to Skyblock video that'll inevitably come out at some point years from now. <laughs> Gotta go cook more stuff. Have fun. Good luck, Simon. Always a pleasure. Keep on cooking up banger games. <laughs> Or food. I don't know what you meant by cooking that sentence. I'm gonna guess food, maybe. I don't know. That song again? Yeah, this is this is the uh This is what the swan song of Skyblock's gonna be. I'm the cooking on food stuff. A DoorDash enjoyer? I have to stop with DoorDash, dude. It's been bad. I went from like three times a year to three times a month to like twice a week. It's getting bad. Also, I can't find this last lapis guy. Where is he? Go to the gym, please. I know. I know. Where's this corpse? Oh, is it here? Is it raining outside? It's raining hard outside. Therm Thermite Knights. Thank you for the prime. Oh, pfft. it's Hammer. Are you still on stream? Oh, I'm so, I'm so sorry, dude. I missed your super chat. Hey, thank you for the 10, dude. If he's not here, I'm going to feel really bad. That was 18 minutes ago. 30, been a while. I almost got a 655 on my Iron Man. Been a grind. Also, I really enjoyed the Would You Press the Button video. Hope that you have more ideas like that in reserve. Oh, you are still here. Good, good, good. Um, As much as I love to make that video, we're going to have to make some alterations to the format. Um, So the reason that video didn't do well, I think, is because there just wasn't a way to sell it with the title and thumbnail so going in i need to have the title and thumbnail pretty much already like good to go before i even start recording the video like that genre of content needs to be very well thought out like yeah also that video i think what people want to see more of nowadays is the process and the story of making the mod a thing instead of just, oh, here's the thing I made. Let's beat Minecraft for the thousandth time. You know what I mean? Also, I really have to use the bathroom and I'm going to sacrifice the scrap for this. I'll be back. Whoa. Don't mind me casually freezing to death. It'd be funny if I get the scrap anyways, despite like not even trying for it this entire mineshaft visit. <laughs> Is it just me or does YouTube chat less active than Twitch? Yeah, that's just how it works. YouTube, um, did I say Twitch twice? I don't even remember what I said. But yeah, YouTube uh, in general, the platform, it, it's kind of made to have people not focus as much. Wait. Oh, here's a new scenario. This server will restart soon. Game update. How does that work with mine shafts? Does it kick you or do you just get to mine it? Does it say in the chat? It, there's no... Oh, wait. The server will not reboot until your instance is over maybe if i just use my eyes then i would actually know what's happening <laughs> i 
All right, let's get out of here. Let's get my 1,000 essence. Noise. Let's check on our heart of the mountain. Okay, that's not bad. That's pretty close, actually. Hmm. Also, the stats widget thingy is, is brokey. Yeah, I see why Skyblock couldn't have like a 40 player boss fight. It seems like it would be, I mean, the first concern would be lag. <laughs> I have a feeling that would be the biggest issue. Having that many players involved in a fight in general just seems very demanding of Minecraft's engine. Server would die. I mean, it depends on, I don't know. If it was like 20 players, then probably it would be fine. But 40, nah, that'd be too much. Oh, Merc115, thank you for the gifted T1 sub. Why am I being dumb right now? Peridot, Onyx, or Citrine. Which will I see first? Onyx. They fixed the Ender Pearl? What did I say, dude? What did I say, chat? Okay. Hold on. Warp camp. Let's see if this is an updated lobby. You cannot fast travel there after using an ender pearl. Yep. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it was going to happen. I told you. I literally predicted it earlier in this exact stream. Not even 30 minutes ago. What did I say? What did I freaking say? Oh, this dude's a sweat. He's using a fishing rod to swap pets while redeeming his comms. Is there a requirement for Iron Man sweats? I don't know. To reset cold, yeah. The uh, the Ender Pearl thing is to reset your cold quickly. The way they implemented the fix is a little interesting. I feel like it would have been less work to just have the the cold reset over the course of like three or four seconds instead of instantly. Who knows? Maybe their solution was faster. There is a requirement for Iron Man sweats. It's news to me. All right, Glacier here. Sin Seeker may be good. Ooh. How does the Sin Seeker Scythe ability work? Because that's an item that I would be willing to bring out of retirement if I could use it for that purpose. Doesn't work? Oh. How does the ability work? I know it teleports you back somehow. What about tactical insertion? How does that ability work specifically? Use pearls? No, they just patched that literally just rolled the patch so according to chat it works I just don't know how the ability works though. 
would ender bow work? That depends if shooting the bow counts as throwing a pearl in their plugin, and it probably does, considering how easy it is to exploit with pearls in general. You have one second, you have a one second timer after using the ability to recast it to teleport back. Oh. Interesting. Yo, another $10 hammer? Hey. Yeah, Techno made it work though, being in Minecraft with a wheel slash TNT spawning on him every 10 seconds. Yeah, that was... The thing is, I don't know how good a video like that would do now, though. Also, I just wandered away from the citron without finishing mining it for some reason. But uh, I don't know. The current climate doesn't really enjoy... Well, enjoy is a strong word. They don't really look for videos anymore where it's like, oh, Minecraft's different. Let's just beat the game. Now it's like there has to be a story, right? It's like, oh, my friend challenged me to do, do this. Oh, I took 100 YouTubers and put them in a scenario. Like, beating the game isn't the primary thing anymore that people do in videos. 30 patch notes, wee woo. Patch notes? For what? Did they push a ton of changes? Small glacite patch notes. Oh, here we go. Hello. Let's uh let's give this a look. Hey all, we are here to inform you about a couple of small changes that we've rolled recently. Fixed an issue where you can reset your cold by throwing an ender pearl and warping to the base camp. Yep. Fix an issue where the corpse's widget would display looted if it was looted by anyone instead of when it was looted by you. That's a good one to fix. I remember that being annoying yesterday. Significantly buffed the base mineshaft weights. These are still affected by perks that increase the chance for you to find a mineshaft. They could spawn by breaking any of the below blocks. Okay, so here's a bunch of the values and what they were updated to. Hardstone went from one of 100,000. Okay, so one or five times as common from hardstone. Uh, a bit more than twice as common from gemstones. Umber and tungsten. Mithril, it was more than half. Okay, so across the board, they pretty much are doubled. Doubled the chance to get a mine shaft. Good. That's what the game needed. Perfect. When the mineshaft portal is spawned from breaking any of the above block types, the block's mineshaft types are more likely to generate. For example, when breaking a ruby, you are more likely but not guaranteed to get either a to get either of the ruby mineshafts. This was the behavior pre-patch. So why'd they reiterate it? <laughs> okay. Well, there you go. Good. N they needed to do that. I mean, that was one of the big complaints. Now, I do think that the the crystals themselves are still a problem for the new gems at least. But I guess we'll we'll see how that goes. Maybe that's the point. Maybe they are supposed to be stupidly like stupidly rare. So they'll be very very expensive. It wasn't specified in the logs before. Oh, that would make sense. What the hell? <laughs> Looter just sent me a screenshot. <laughs> Admin's warm sweater. I was getting cold. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> I love admin items. <laughs> Let 
Very good. They added a sword with infinite reach, essentially. It's funny. What if there was an upgrade to the King's Talisman? I doubt it. I mean, I'm all for more talismans being added to the game, but... Glacite mineshaft queues are 20 people long? Why? Does that mean I should probably just not go in? Oh, actually, no. I bet I could be in queue, but still play. So I will still attempt it then. Which one should I get first? Titanium Drill or Devon? Devon. Uh, Devon. I would say Devon. You're going to use Devon armor like everywhere. Regardless of what tool you're using, like equipment. Well, for mining, <laughs> specifically. I don't know. I maxed my Devon armor out long before the drill. You misread 200 people Q, not 20. Did I not say 200? I don't know. In my brain, I read it as 200. Maybe I said something else, who knows. What drills are better than Gauntlet? The only drill I'd recommend other than Gauntlet would be 655. I don't know. I wouldn't bother with any other drill. The only reason I have a gemstone drill is because of museum and the fact that this one has a blue cheese on it for the swap. Should I recon my Jaded Sorrow or Devon? Devon? Why would you? What? <laughs> if you already have Devon armor, what are you doing messing with Sorrow? Is there a loot table for corpses? I'm sure that the wiki's gonna have one soon. It probably doesn't yet just because everything is so new. But give it a few days. For some reason I thought you were a developer maybe because you talk about coding sometimes. I'm a developer, just not for this game. <laughs> I thoroughly enjoy development and have on multiple occasions considered applying to the staff team on Hypixel, but you know, nothing set in stone quite yet. But the topic has come up plenty of times. Granted, me deciding to apply doesn't automatically mean, oh, he's either going to decide to be staff or not. It's like, no, it's a two-way street. They got to approve me as well. So no promises. It would be a banger video. Well, I'd have to 
Okay, as much as it would be a banger video, I don't think it would be appropriate to apply as staff member on Hypixel 4 content. <laughs> I have to apply because I genuinely want to make the game better, which I do. But I am waiting for the opportune time and life situation because there's a lot of craziness that's been happening and I'd rather be in a more stable place before I make that decision. <laughs> Someone in my lobby just said TAC works for a campfire. So the question is, how expensive is it now? <laughs> Maybe there's a purpose for it, finally. <sighs> Vertexes? Ugh. And I remember people brought up Sin Seeker Scythe. I don't necessarily know how the item works. Well... Well, it's been established right, where it's like a second that you have to teleport back. I don't know. Maybe that will work too. Since Seeker doesn't work, I've heard. Hmm. What's the warp to get back to campfire? It's either slash warp camp or warp um, base. Can you get a copy written while streaming on Twitch? Oh, can you get a copyright like notice or strike or whatever? Yes, yes you can. That's why I use epidemic sound music because otherwise I would get smited. I would get wrecked. Oh, I forgot about Chambers in the whole Sorrow versus Devon debate. I would still gun it for Devon armor. Like, don't mess around with Sorrow. It's a waste of your time. Yeah, fishing up the membranes does suck. If you're going to do that, try to get a party together. And if you have Frozen Blaze, use that. But if you're using Sorrow Armor to mine, then chances are you probably don't have Frozen Blaze yet. Which would be a bit of a yikes. Oh, I already finished that. Did you witness the hype train record? It's at 106 now. I saw a tweet about it, but I don't I don't really watch streamers on Twitch that often. If it's someone I know, then yes. Like one of my YouTuber friends, but other than that, I don't really watch. I don't really watch streams in general, unless it's like the WAN show. Back when Technoblade was doing Minecraft Monday, though, I was dialed in all the way up until whichever one everyone got banned from. That was kind of that might have been the last Minecraft Monday, actually, the one where the hacker got in and banned everyone. It was pirate software. I thought you watched that stuff. Isn't he friends with Muda? Some ordinary gamers? Maybe he's not. I don't remember. I have blind spots with the internet. Just because I enjoy tech content doesn't mean I watch all of it. But, you know. The common names that you hear. You need a 100% sea creature chance to fish membrane, right? You don't need it, but it makes it faster. 
I highly suggest you try to get <laughs> max C creature chance just for your sanity's sake, but technically you don't need it to be at 100. Saw the stream at the start, but was only able to get on now due to having to do yard work. Honestly, same about a week ago. <laughs> and I burned the skin on my neck, unfortunately, because I was just stupid and didn't use sunscreen. Tungsten is not one of the waypoints. It's stupid. Are you mining for Gauntlet? Uh, you see, I already have a maxed one, actually. The fact that I kept all the perfect gemstones in here is kind of wild. Like, I put all- I put this in museum with all of that- those gemstones on it. Because I wanted to keep the gold to flex, I guess. I feel like you would like the music music genre of funk. <laughs> the lyrics are minimal slash none in a lot of songs. I don't know what that I'm I'm not a big fan of vocals either. Even if it's just noises. Like if there's no lyrics but it's like a person going like in the background of the song, I'd rather not. <laughs> I don't know if that's a staple in that genre or not. But I, I'm just clarifying my... <laughs> that sentence is gone. <laughs> mm, citrine's down here. It's mostly beats, heavy beats. Your outro literally is a person going woo. Okay, to be fair, Fezzi's the one that picked Cupcake Delivery as the outro song, and now it, and it, and it stuck. I'm not saying I dislike the song, but there's always exceptions to the rule. I'm gonna assume you saw the buff to the rates. Yeah, I did. It was a needed change. Not surprised at all that's what they did. Now they just need to make crystals more common. How's your sleep schedule going since 18 hours last stream? Yeah, it took me pretty much a whole day to reset my sleep schedule. And I'm going to be honest, I technically haven't yet. I woke up at midnight last night. So I've been up for 14 hours now and it's only 2 p.m. So, um, that's a thing. You wouldn't think so, though. I'm just an expert at functioning when I shouldn't. <laughs> Can you please explain the new gemstones? Sure. Um, their collection is lumped in with the rest of gemstones, so don't worry about that. Um, there's gemstone mixtures, essentially, but for the new gemstones, it's called a glacite amalgamation. Just think of it as just a um, gemstone mixture with different gems. <laughs> Um, there's plates, just like how there's mithril plates. There's umber. That's not the right gem. 
There's umber and tungsten plates, just like with mithril. Same scheme of crafting recipe, I believe. Actually, it's cheaper. And then there's the new gemstones, right? But now there's the new materials as well. So this is tungsten. The other one is umber. And they have their own collections and a few recipes. Not that many, though. Oh, yeah. Those are the ones that have the plates, not gemstones. It's stupid. Um, unless that's what I said. I don't remember. Oh, no. Glacite, as well as these two materials, makes the plates. There we go. That's what I meant. To... Or is that how you make it? No. You make the amalgamation with the gemstones and the glacite and then you combine it with the umber or the right right that's how you make the plates um and as for the buffs the gemstone slots uh do provide new buffs so peridot is it gives you farming fortune aquamarine gives you sea creature chance citrine gives you forging fortune i think it's forging fortune and then onyx gives crit damage right i think so also technically is onyx now the best gemstone for dungeons considering the whole concept of balancing your crit damage and your strength and the fact that typically you get more strength and crit damage from dungeons gear for mage specifically yes why I mean, sure, more heals with Hyperion or slash Wither Impact, but is there any other reason? Claymore is all strength, no crit damage. Oh. Also, with Blaze Slayer, it's a similar problem where, like, it's really easy to get a lot of strength, but not easy to get crit damage. I'm just concerned because, like, the crystals are so rare for these new gems like i've yet to collect a single new crystal despite being in like a dozen mine shafts that i spawned myself like that's not good that's too rare they were way more common dude i haven't even seen one <laughs> How girlfriend and you need info. <laughs> um, I'm good. I'm I'm chilling. I currently don't have a girlfriend. That situation's over, but it ended amicably. Um, yeah, I'm just I'm just doing me right now, you know. I feel bad because I've been kind of not responding to people on dating apps but i don't know i hit a stage recently where i kind of just don't care <laughs> um i have too much going on right now for that i don't know for anything beyond like casual so i don't know i'm just chilling i don't have that that pit in my stomach of emptiness and despair that i used to have now it's just replaced with the dread of, oh boy, time to make, time to survive until Hytale for another year and a half. But <laughs> my woes currently are work related, not relationship related. I'm pretty content in my personal life other than I would rather be invited to more things and put myself out there so that I can like go to parties and hang out for the sake of enjoying the party, not to pick up a girl which I think is massive progress for me mentally. And obviously I could just be saying this and it could just be cope, right? So like, you guys don't know for sure if that's how I feel, but I know that I feel that way. Like you can call it cope if you like, but I know at least person, at least now, at least like the past few days, I've felt zero need to um, rush into something because I'm single. <laughs> When you want a girlfriend, you won't get a good one. Not necessarily. I've had plenty of exes I would consider good girlfriends. But it's just the fact that when you're in a situation where you're needy and you like 
feel like you need a relationship that makes it more likely for you to just jump into something without like really considering the differences in personality or I don't know you're more likely to not pick the right person because you're just in this mindset of oh I'm, I'm single that's bad let's not be single it, it, like that's not how it works unfortunately unless you get really lucky but I don't know what I've noticed is that every single time I've had an interaction with a girl from a dating app it just hasn't gone as well as just meeting in person for the first time I'm kind of sick of like I don't know, swiping on somebody and then having that awkward, oh, hey, we basically just told each other we think that we're attractive without saying so, and now we have to act like that's normal. Like, <laughs> I don't know, I'd much rather just meet someone in person now. And that, see, I, there, okay. I was making fun of songs that do that. This is one of them. I'll acknowledge the hypocrisy. There it is. My playlist has some vocals in the songs. Some of them. <laughs> Literally went woo. <laughs> That's a problem with dating apps. Usually men take these relationships seriously and girls just for fun. Well, even then that's not the case because I can tell you from experience that um, every relationship I've had from the apps up until very recently has just been the goal has been relationship, right? Like no friends with benefits or anything like that. But, um, you'd be surprised. Now the girls that I matched with also wanted relationship, but I don't know. It just doesn't, like I said, I'd rather just meet someone organically, but in order to do that, I have to actually go places. And I hate to say it, but there's a lot that I'm starting to realize about life. I grew up thinking, well, I was conditioned to believe that I was gifted my entire life, right? Ever since before I could even speak, I have been led to believe that I am intelligent and special by people in my life my parents friends i mean if i had a dollar for every time a friend of mine in middle slash high school said oh well remember me when you get like famous or whatever <laughs> maybe it was a joke but like unironically a lot of people in my life did tell me that i'm destined for great things and they just see it like even my family which my extended family aunts and uncles there's a lot of people that have money and it's not because they were born with it. it's because like entrepreneurs like into real estate business whatever and i guess they saw from a young age like all these people that are essentially millionaires saw me and was like remember i still like exist when you get famous and they, they meant it but uh, anyways i was led to believe i could solve all my problems by just being proficient at whatever task I do but I'm realizing now now that I'm an adult so much of life is charisma <laughs> so much of life is other people helping you out like I've gotten pretty far in life I would say a lot of it was my own effort but I'd be lying if I said it was all my own effort obviously Fezzy plays a massive part uh simon who was literally here earlier played a massive part because of high pixel didn't exist right but like i can't just brute force my way through life i have to get help from other people like i treated life like i treat a fall at new vegas save with like charisma at one <laughs> like strength and intelligence at like eight <laughs> but like nah so for example to bring the conversation back to my point with like the dating world right and with enjoying social activities in general i figured you know i i i never understood it i never got why people on like like parties because i didn't really enjoy the company of strangers but because of my experience with the gummies it's like wait a minute the whole point of the party i hate to say it for most people is getting drunk that's like the point 
And obviously I hated parties because I didn't drink. So like, why was I even there? And it took me until I was like literally 26 to be like, wait, <laughs> no wonder I don't find the parties fun. No wonder I can't relate to anybody because I'm the only one that's freaking sober. And that's the way it's been my entire life. And now that, now that the gummies are a thing, again, I'm not encouraging other people to do this, but now I have a thing that I can go to parties and bring with me and actually <laughs> it, at least feel like I'm a part of what's happening. And I feel like that extends to dating too, because of course, right? Social gatherings is where you meet people, or at least without an app. And in order to go to the social events, a prerequisite for me at least, is that I have to enjoy it. And there's no way I'm enjoying it with just, unfortunately, me sober. <laughs> Which is a bit of a shame, but I guess that's how parties work. I don't know. But no, I, I would consider that a, a lesson in life where it's like, you know what? Maybe I have to do whatever, or maybe I have to conform a little bit. I'm still going to be my own person. Not, I'll still have my own personality or whatever. But, you know, if there's an activity a lot of people are doing that is fun and I'm just not having fun because I refuse to take part. Well, yeah. You solve one problem with another? I mean, not really. I don't think in my life it's a problem. It can be for plenty of people, sure, like weed. But for me personally, it's really... Uh, of course I would say that because I'm biased. So the only way to get a true answer would be to ask someone, probably like one of my roommates, if it affects me negatively, right? Maybe we'll do that in the future stream. <laughs> you can definitely be sober at parties. I'm going to correct your statement to say some people can definitely be sober at parties. Me? I get so bored. I, I get this feeling of like, I'm wasting my time. I could be doing something productive right now. And it ruins it every single time. But, you know, for most people, alcohol, for me, I guess the gummies, it, it takes you out of that mindset and puts you in the moment, you know? That's one of my biggest struggles in general is being in the moment. I'm either in the past or the future, mostly the future, anxious about what's gonna happen. I don't think about the past that much. I wouldn't consider that a problem, but definitely I'm almost never in the present. A lot of the time I'm in theoreticals. I'm thinking of scenarios, like what would happen if this happened? How would I react in this scenario? And uh, that's one of the ways to be in the moment, I guess. What about like grade seven parties? <laughs> well, obviously you wouldn't want to have any substances in the grade seven party. That'll wreck your brain cells permanently. Don't do it. I feel like that's different though. Back, at least for me, in middle and high school, whenever there was like, for example, prom, you know everybody there. So at least you have people to talk to, right? And there's still, at least my, um, when I had like my eighth grade form, eighth grade? No, not eighth grade. Um, 11th grade formal. I don't remember which grade it was. It might've been 11th. Um, they had really nice hors d'oeuvres too. They had music, which obviously didn't help for me, but you know. 30, this is a, oh. What are you on about, Mr. Legend? What are you doing? <laughs> I got banned in a stream as a joke, and they're saying if you admit that you're friends with me, Mr. Legend, that he will unban me. Unfortunately, I can't comment on that because I don't want to build a parasocial thing with my audience, all right? I don't... I'm the type of person not to stick labels on things, especially when it comes to the internet. There's people I enjoy talking to, plain and simple. I'm very reserved with the term 
friend's best friend because the second I start doing that, then it puts people on a tier list, which I don't like. <laughs> I, I'd rather just have someone in my brain be defined as someone that I interact with and it's pleasant interactions, you know? Obviously, I can say, for example, Fezzi is like best friend status. And again, that's a title that not a single person has, but several have. But I could say that because we've literally known each other for five years and have been in VCs every single day almost for those five years and like went through hell and back again with this crazy Skyblock YouTube situation. So, you know. 600 player queue. Oh, that's not good. It seems to me like this patch must have made it so that new mine shafts can't spawn. That's kind of funny. He blocked and banned me already. It's fine. Damn. Well, also, like, if I were... This may sound harsh, man. See, look what you did. Look at the position you put me in. I either have to say, no, you're not my friend, or yes, you're my friend. And, and there's consequences to both. It's not good. <laughs> this is a weird job. Does Spezzy edit for anyone else? Not currently, no. Which, by the way, I don't blame you, Mr. Legend. It's, it's just a weird quirk of YouTube and all that. Because the last thing I want is for people to be like, Oh, 30 virus. Hello, 30 virus, my best friend who I've never met in person. Like, <laughs> I, I don't know. It just doesn't seem healthy to me when people start doing that. Also, I don't like having leverage over people. And a part of parasocial anything is that it changes the dynamic where suddenly I'm in like a position of power or whatever. And I just, I don't know. It, it makes me uncomfortable. I'd rather, I'd rather people just hang out as like a part. Like if, for example, I were to go to a party and no one knew I was a YouTuber, I'm not bringing it up. <laughs> I just want to be one of the dudes that's there. You know, I, there's a part of me that enjoys just being an observer or a just a regular participant nothing weird about the interaction at all i do get the appeal for faceless youtubers a hundred percent did you get the bot working yes i can see youtube chat in the same feed as everything else now but only on my end twitch you get to be stubborn i guess and have only your chat show up on the literal screen but whatever i guess I'll give you $25 a month. That means we're friends. <laughs> what I will say is that all the people I meet online through this YouTube thing, I do think you guys are a cool group of people and like attracts like when it comes to watching YouTube a lot of the time. So I'd imagine I'd build a community of people that have very similar interests to me. So I I get why people get parasocial with streamers, but I I will remind you, right? I'm some guy on the internet from Florida. <laughs> I play Minecraft for a living, but once that camera turns off, I'm just a normal dude like the rest of us. It's just my job's a bit weird. When I go to get groceries at like Publix, <laughs> I, people just move on with their day. There's no, oh my God, it's 30 virus. Not that I would hate that. It would probably get old really fast, but I don't know. I have enough of an ego that it probably would be entertaining the first couple times. <laughs> if it ever does get to a situation where like people constantly meet me in public and like are like, yo, what's up 30? Like I'll, I'll obviously play along. Like. I wouldn't hate the interaction, I don't think. I don't think at any point I would genuinely be, like, sick of it. But it might be a little like, oh, I gotta do this thing. Like, I gotta check out my... Or whatever. It's like I'm getting groceries, but then, like, I have a stream in 15 minutes. I have to get home. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I think when you're a streamer, you have to be friendly, but that doesn't mean you're friends with the streamer. I mean, why do we have to put labels on things, man? Like, can't we just enjoy the streams? 
for what it is and it's just not that deep <laughs> you know that's my mentality given any scenario where there's like complexities that lead to problems i just i don't know i keep things surface level it's not that deep All right, 30, let's go viral. <laughs> Time to ship all these clips to TikTok and Reels. Bruh. Making clips out of Minecraft gameplay would be the ugliest looking thing ever. I hate the fact that short form is the wrong aspect ratio. All because people are too lazy to consume their content like this. Like, is it really that hard to do this? Like, to watch your content like this. Is it that hard? God, it's so triggering. You know what's also triggering? Why is it that people take photos like this? Why? We have two eyes, one on the left. This is my left. One on the right. <laughs> and there's like an inch and a half, two inches between. So it means that we have a rectangle view that is wider than it is tall. So why are we consuming content that's taller than it is wide? It makes no sense. It makes no sense. And the funny thing about if I were to join TikTok, I'd be making content that was recorded horizontally, has been squished down and then moved down to fit in this stupid format. And then the viewer is looking at it with their horizontally aligned eyes. It's just so stupid and inefficient. I hate short form content being nine by 16 and I'm going to complain about it every chance I get until I die because it's stupid and I hate it, man. <laughs> okay. I just noticed some super chats. By the way, 40 minutes ago, just call Nick. Thank you for the $10 super chat. How the hell did I not see that? How did I not see that? It's Blorbin time. Excellent clip. I hope you're still watching. That is a that is an L on my part. It's Hammer. $50 super chat, bro. Jeez. I'm definitely against parasocial relation relationships. And although I donate... Uh, and that a lot. I don't consider you or any YouTubers as, quote, friends. It would be really cool to meet you in person, though, because I can relate to you in quite a lot of ways and you've inspired me. And that's what I mean, right? Is that, like, like attracts like. It, when you when you show your personality on the internet, you tend to, like, people tend to find your channel and sub because they actually, like, can relate on stuff, right? But it it's not a bad thing if I'm not friends with every single one of my viewers right like that i don't know the whole label thing i think it's i think the the correct answer is that it's just not that deep you know but i appreciate the hell out of you guys you're like the reason i'm able to do this like it's just a different dynamic i guess he said it banned me because i'm not friends with you but i don't care I'll find a way to contact this. Well, it sounds to me like a meme slash a joke. I feel like if they genuinely banned you for that, that's kind of dumb. But thank you for the 50 hammer. Jeez, man. Be your friends so we leave. <laughs> How do you manage being scatterbrained so often? I mean, it really manifests itself the worst on stream. Because it's one more thing to focus on, right? And <laughs> I have a feeling streaming puts me right on the edge of barely able to function while still talking to chat. If I go just a little bit more, if there's just a little bit more to do, I can't. For example, navigating to find these stupid... Like, if I wasn't talking to chat and I was dialed in, I'd probably be about twice as fast with these comms. So to be fair, most people would be scatterbrained in this scenario, but I also just am scatterbrained in general. So, sorry, I need this. Sorry.
How about this? You can say I have Mr. Legend on my Discord and Hypixel friend list. Well, that is true. That is correct. That is factually correct. I think because of the entertainment value of being scatterbrained, it's more popularized in media. I guess. I, I mean, it is funnier, right? It wouldn't be that fun if I was just dialed in the entire time, you know? Then I wouldn't be very entertaining. Like, as many... For all the mistakes I make on stream, they're almost always funny, right? Like, if I trip over a sentence, that's like an edit. Like, that's content, in a way. Obviously, I don't intend for that to happen, but... Ooh! Hello! There's a mineshaft. Where are we going to be in the queue? Oh, there is none. Okay. Ooh. Oh, it's an onyx cave. Okay. I'll take it. Get some good old bestiary. And maybe a drop. YouTube rank privilege not. Oh, did I skip the queue because of YouTube rank? Oh, so there is still a queue. L will get wrecked to nerds. I'm kidding. Or am I? <laughs> now I have to find the corpses. I do find it funny that Hypixel was so just like direct about it. It's like, yeah, this is a person who died. Like that's, they just straight up say that. Like there's no sugarcoating it. Like, nope. <laughs> that is a thing that happened in the lore. Someone died here. You're terrible at finding them. I'm terrible at finding just about anything that's hidden. This one over here. They don't have enough instances. Yeah, I don't know what's happening, to be honest. I don't know why the queue would be so long. Oh, you know what? Maybe what happened... They doubled how frequently you actually get the mine shafts, but maybe they didn't double the allocation of instances in the back end, like the maximum number of them. That's probably what happened. They changed one integer and forgot to change another one. Bro, I cannot find this corpse. Where is it? I'm wasting time searching for this corpse when I could be mining. Where is it? Where are you? Where is it? Ah! I can't find him. You missed it? Of course I missed it. <laughs> Bro, I'm freaking blind. I already got that one. There's another one somewhere. I've made it to 30% cold and still haven't found him. What is this? Don't have a key for that one. Where's the other lapis man? Where is he? You know, need... You don't need parties or doing drugs to meet people or to have fun, though. No, but it just makes it easier. If I'm being honest. Like, let's be real. Like, yeah, yeah, disclaimer, disclaimer, drugs are bad, sure. But factually speaking, it makes it easier. <laughs> There's a reason why they call alcohol liquid courage. And for someone that has severe social anxiety like me... When you don't drink, well, I guess you'll just be lonely. That's how it works in this. I give up. I can't find the stupid corpse, bro. I'm just going to go for the gemstones at this point. <laughs> what the hell, man? I can't find them. He's... He's just missing. Would you rather teleportation or invisibility? Teleportation easily. 
if it was true teleportation and it's like confirmed like in the contract of whatever button i'm pressing that my consciousness will be transferred to the new location and it's not just killing me and spawning a clone at the destination then yes if it's true teleportation i'll take that infinitely more useful than being invisible in my opinion yeah i can't find the second corpse i don't know where it is You overthink so much a basic question. You must be new to the stream. <laughs> this is nothing new. Chat knows the way my brain works. I overthink everything. I live in theoretical scenarios. I'm thinking about the possibility or the outcomes of different events more than I am thinking about like what's actually happening in front of me. It's another reason I'm bad at parties. Like, just being in the moment is a skill that I really need to work on. Bro, what a scam. I cannot find the guy. He's just not here. Imagine the trolling you could do while invisible, though. Well, here's the problem with invisibility. I'm sure that my body would still be giving off heat. And if I wanted to do anything mischievous... If I wanted to rob a bank while invisible, I wouldn't be able to get away with it because I, well, I'd get away with it once and then people would just see like a bag of money floating out the building and then they'll figure out, oh, heat signatures because every sci-fi movie ever with invisibility will have some way of revealing the invisible person, whether it be throwing like some powder in their face so that it like shows the outline or whatever or heat signatures with like heat goggles you'd still see the person or seeing footprints and then seeing the like if i touch anything the heat signature left by my fingers if my clothes teleport with <laughs> you know that would be preferable yeah Anything that's on my person and is not, like, bolted down to the ground would teleport with me. <laughs> I guess that'd be an important distinction. Even then, even if it was literally just me, if if I was, um... Oh, God. What was his name from... I feel bad. I love watching the boys, but I don't remember the dude's name. It ends with a, a Y, I believe. It's like... Oh, what was his name? What was the dude's name? The main character? Not Translucent. Okay, Translucent was a better example. Well, he's a good example for invisibility. I was talking about teleporting and not bringing your clothes with you. The guy, the main character, Huey. There we go. Oh yeah, that's spoilers, by the way. If, whoops. <laughs> no because um spoiler territory spoiler spoiler mute the stream for 10 seconds if you don't want spoilers um yeah so there's this compound it's like a drug that makes you super temporarily and huey when he takes it his ability is teleporting but without his clothes <laughs> i'd still rather that though than being invisible because it's still just the utility of it is too good it's too good I would just have to be, you know what I would do? I would have like, I don't remember what the movie's called with those people that just have the ability to teleport, but they're like hunted down by um, a group of people that for some reason don't like teleporting people. I don't, I don't remember. Jumper, yes. So imagine a scenario like Jumper where the main character in that movie has like little stashes and random teleport points throughout the world. I'll have little stashes of like spare clothes <laughs> and I'll just remember that exact spot and teleport back. <laughs> but the main character in Jumper can't act. When I watched the movie, I was so young, I didn't notice stuff like that.
You want to spoil Invincible for me too? Hey, I warned. Well, I didn't. Okay, I, I warned about. Hey, Digitized, I gave you a chance. I said spoiler, although I did kind of accidentally reveal it early. It's it's a small detail. It's not like a. Well, it's not a small detail, but it's like not. It's not like this grand reveal is what I'll say. You can still enjoy the rest of the boys with that knowledge. I don't think it's going to spoil anything really. My dude, the corpses are the least of your problems. You kill hundreds of thousands of a religious group, zealots, and you genocide <laughs> dogs just to gild their teeth for accessories. <laughs> that just jump scared me, holy crap. Well, Trollface Wolfie, they give you the five bucks, holy crap. I didn't play the notification noise, just Brian started yapping. <laughs> thank you for that, though. Oh, Blaze Fang, thank you for the uh, membership on YouTube there. Yeah, I just, I, I visibly jump scared. <laughs> uh. Is Badland going to release commissions for the tunnels? Uh, so I heard back from Doors. They have a, about a dozen features that they are currently working on for this update. So, and I made sure that one of those features was a solver for the, um, the thing you get fossils from. So you're welcome. <laughs> I'm out. Have a nice day. All right. See you, man. Have a good time. I'm actually surprised. We still have over 500 viewers on YouTube. Hell yeah, dude. 300 on Twitch. Chat, is this just normal now? Is this just normal viewership? If that's the case. Hmm. This whole uh, multi-streaming thing might be... Might be an interesting way to boost some revenue. Might be able to hit some of my goals a bit faster if this keeps up. This is normal, you had 400. The fact that YouTube and Twitch both have really healthy viewer counts right now, after like three hours of this grind, that's really, that's a good sign. Oh, hey! Heart of the Mountain Tier 9. Look at that. That one just came up by surprise. Well, there it is. We just got two skyblock levels. And let's see what we unlocked. We got two more tokens of the mountain, some more forgeable items and skyblock XP. Okay, we can pick two more perks. Increases your chance of finding a mine shaft. That's not bad. Grants two mining speed while inside. Eh. That's eh. if it's two per level and it's a, a hundred levels, that'd be only plus two hundred mining speed, which is literally nothing. So no thanks, no thanks, uh, no thanks. Hmm. Your first daily commission in each mining zone grant. So this is powder buff, but. How is it different? Hmm. Receive more fossil dust. That won't be relevant until I work with scrap. Ah. Uh... No. Not gonna lie. None of these really get me excited i think it's this top row that's where all the goodies are at well i guess for right now we'll just have to pick other perks and then we'll reset our tree later so i guess this one and i guess this one i mean it's 
it's really not that good though. Ooh. Definitely mine shaft chance. Yeah, probably. Let's do that one. Let's do surveyor. And then that one, I don't have to put powder in, which is nice. So now we have about a 9% increased chance. <laughs> Looter. <laughs> well, there you go. Heart of the Mountain 9. Oh, pfft. oh, I froze to death. Whoops. My bad. Whoops. Understandable mistake. Froze to death. Now we can't check for new recipes in the forge for another 55 minutes, so. I guess we're going straight back in. Oh, I love mining commissions. Unless you guys have a better idea. I mean, technically, we have the Heart of the Mountain level now where we could start working on an upgraded chisel which I think would be quite a good idea. Also, I might as well at this point just embrace it. This next page is the update page. So we'll just put it here. There we go. Yeah, we do need to up upgrade the chisel. You do need max collection, I believe, for tungsten and umber. For what? Oh, right, to make the plates. Oh, crap, dude. We're only like a quarter of the way. But to be fair, I haven't gone directly for either of these. We did unlock this, though, which is very important because it saves us a lot of forge time. So at least we are not going to downtime with our forge because we're going to need to get a lot of refined to make the plates. So honestly, kind of chilling. Uh, does anyone off rip know what the recipes are that come with Heart of the Mountain 9? For the video, in case I clip this and Fezzi uses said clip. Mm -hmm. Why am I getting stuck in the floor? Or not. Please. Talisman equipment chisel. So it's just the new chisel and talisman? Are you sure? I feel like that would be a Heart of the Mountain 10 thing. Hmm. Talisman and equipment is Heart of the Mountain 8. And by equipment, you mean the one made with the shattered locket? Which wouldn't make sense because... Then maybe it would, I don't know. No, it wouldn't, because you can't get a skeleton key until... I don't know, man. No, that's harder than that in 10. Oh, so what other equipment? Oh, so like the hand warmers and stuff? Probably that. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Speaking of, I looked at it. The hand warmer doesn't seem like a good value at all. I mean, maybe cold resistance is goaded in this area, but it seems to me like it just has worse for fortune than a glowstone gauntlet. So I don't really know. Maybe that was on purpose, but it seems like it's not worth it to me. I'm in year 10 and I'm thinking about going into a two year uni course in coding. Should I learn as much as I can now before? And if I, yeah, yeah, okay. Um, here's what I'll say. College was one of the worst things that ever happened to me. That's not because college is awful in general. Although for most people, I would say it's a scam, to be honest. Like if you're gonna be a doctor, a nurse, a lawyer, you know, like, yeah, you need school. But for computer science, uh, do, do the um, two year uni course. If it's anything like what they did with me in high school, they would bust me over midway through the day to a different building and I would take my programming classes there. And it was like alongside my high school education, right? I would say if you really, if you enjoy programming, 
I would consider that something that you benefit much more from getting a certification. Do the two year course and get certified in various languages. Try to find some subsection of coding that gets you really excited. For me, that was Minecraft plugins. And then just make a ton of crap. Hello there. <laughs> Thank you for the five, the inkiest. Almost jump scared me again, but this time I heard the, the little notification sound. I'm thinking about coding as a job, but don't know if money will work out. I mean, programming jobs across the board pay more than manual labor jobs, except for maybe the trades nowadays, like plumbing. I, I'm not sure. The plumbers get paid a lot, man. I mean, makes sense if you think about it. Like, does anyone really want to deal with, you know, poop water and clogged pipes and sewage and just slime? Ugh. They do some good work so that us, so everybody else doesn't have to deal with it. I had to open up the, you know, the homeowner adventures of 30 virus. Now that I own a place, I'm responsible when something happens. For example, the, uh, the bathroom right next to me here, it, um, it wasn't, the sink wasn't draining. So me and my dad had to take the little, the little piece that goes like this like the little pipe underneath. We had to remove this piece, get a bucket and just like sewage, bro. Well, not literal sewage, but like hair and toothpaste and it's all clumped up. And there's like, it's like a slime. That's probably some kind of growth is disgusting. And it stank, it's awful. Don't tell me I just got soft locked. I didn't, I didn't. I thought I got soft locked for a second. We still have Aquamarine. Oh, is pig here? What's up, pig? Does Skatha's wormhole perk still break stone when breaking actual ores? I believe it does, yes. Although I think they recently pushed a patch that made it so it didn't break blocks it's not supposed to, like in the sense of like it's out of the map. Q might be gone, actually. Well, yeah, like I said, they probably... Well, considering the Q got as high as 600, I think when they pushed the update, they just disabled the uh, tunnels altogether. And then they had to turn it back on really quickly. But since so many people were trying all at the same time to get in, it made that massive Q. That's my theory. Twitch out here giving me four ads in a row. Wait, Twitch, you have Prime though. Unless someone just gifted it to you. No. But Big, it shows you have the Prime. You shouldn't be getting ads. Prime doesn't mean no ads. No ads is turbo? I thought it was... Nah. I thought that's the whole point of Twitch Prime. What's the point of a Prime then if you... See, it goes to show I don't watch a lot of streamers on here. I uh, why I thought it was I thought it was free ad block for that streamer, not across the board, but for that streamer specifically, I thought you don't get ads if you're subbed. It is. Oh, so what are you guys talking about? Yeah, I I know turbos across the board. Oh, no. So, okay. My knowledge was up to date. It's just that the phrasing, I think chat was trying to say something else. I don't know. I got discombobulated. Just got gifted one. Oh, true. Best Centennial. Thank you for gifting that sub. It just took for it. I took a second for Streamlabs to recognize what happened. Oh, and Pi S Z E K X D. Thank you for the prime. Thank you, thank you. You're grinding Heart of the Mountain 10? Yes. And then after that, um, I'm probably gonna redo my Heart of the Mountain tree, and then we're gonna see if we can pick a an arrangement that's like good. And then we'll, then we'll have to start grinding for powder specifically. So here's my question to chat. 
What's the fastest way to get glacite powder? Is it still comms or is it breaking the blocks? Because right now I only get one essence per block I break, but there's that peak of the mountain perk, which upgrades it to like what four, right? Because it's plus three base. So it'd be four total. It's still comms. Oh. Comms and mineshaft party. Speaking of mineshaft. Hello. So this is a topaz one. There's one lapis corpse. There's a dude up here. Dead. Now let's see if I can find the corpse this time. There's the other tungsten one. Hello. Hello. I don't see him. The door is closed already. Bro, I swear, this is not a problem I've been having off stream. It's only on stream. They put them in the most obscure spots ever. You'd think this would be obvious. You would think. There it is. Got him. That was an obvious spot. Well, the problem was I, it was right behind the entrance. Oh, dude. <laughs> Immediately got the scrap. That was textbook right there. All that work for two goblin eggs. Well, and some powder. Or not. <clears throat> Never mind. We have 25 suspicious scrap now. You should do some scrap for a paleontology book. I have a feeling saving all of them for when I have better perks that yield better results. I think that would be better personally. Save for a better chisel. I'm not concerned about the mats. I already have the mats, actually. <laughs> the problem is um, Forge Time and Heart of the Mountain. But the paleontology books are pretty good, trust me. I don't think it's good enough for me not to save my scrap. I mean, I, this is an Iron Man profile we're talking about here. I kind of need to savor these items. They're very annoying to get otherwise. Wow, Marine. Sorry, sir. I know you have sorrow in a gauntlet, but it had to be done. Make sure it's gemstones you mine. It's still bugged to get it now. What's still bugged? The multiple break works with pristine now? No, it doesn't. Uh, the meta right now is to have efficient miner enabled all the time here because it's just, you're switching back and forth between gemstones and not like every three seconds. And it's just not worth the en mental energy. Are you still farming pumpkins? 
Unfortunately, I still have many pumpkins that I need to farm. I'm not happy about it. Get the book. Luter, what do you want about? I need full context. You say it's bugged. What's it? Get it now. Okay, and the it is a book. What bug gets you a book? Warp base. Do scrap minigame? The book is bugged? It gives a book that's currently still bugged. I don't understand what you mean by that. You get two scrap per mine shaft mining gemstones. Always. Um, are you sure about that? Are you sure about that? I've made 700 bills so far. So what does the chance of getting two scrap have to do with a bugged paleontology book? That supposed So is the bug that the book always appears in the paleontology table? That doesn't sound right. I feel like that's a game breaking bug. Yeah, the two scrap thing is unrelated. Oh, paleontology books give a 25x chance instead of 0.25. Oh. So that's the bug. So you're not telling me, oh, get, get the book now. There's a bug that lets you get the book now. It's get the book now so you can abuse a bug with the book. <laughs> that's what you're saying. Gotcha. Yeah, no, I'm good. I mean, Hypixel himself was in this stream. I think we should exercise some restraint, no? <laughs> when did Simon join? About an hour ago. He was talking about his uh, new prospects with his... Uh, new game company that he's doing and we talked about like some game design stuff what could have been in skyblock he's not in the team no more i mean he is technically i'm sure if he wanted to i could be banned in three seconds like <laughs> Not that he would, but I'm just saying. He has the power. Just not the responsibility. Which is kind of the best of both worlds. <laughs> if you think about it. How do I get there, man? These stupid things are a maze. Here we go. Literally all CEOs nowadays. <laughs> Well, some of them. That man knew what he was doing. Simon's a very smart person. In the in the few interactions I've had, well, I can't even say few at this point, but in the inter in the interactions I've had with him, yeah, he knows what he's doing. Mm -mm -mm -mm. And I'm not just talking about the Minecraft server. It's like investing and all this other stuff. Like, What's up, Darn? Welcome to the stream. PVP someone. Thank you for the T1 sub. Your yurds. Your do. <laughs> I definitely said that wrong. Thank you for the T1 as well. On Twitch.
Oh, we just got the frigid husk uh, dwarven forge recipe. Look at that. Is it worth to buy your cloak and how much of the money I spend goes to you? Uh, Bad Lines definitely got a higher percentage that goes to me than most other platforms. It's probably the second best percentage wise, like how much I get versus other donation methods. And how worth it is it? Well, it's a it's a cosmetic item, so there's no objective value. It's more so, do you like it or not? <laughs> It's only worth it if you like it. I just dropped an overgrown grass. Nice. I like the blue one. Yeah, a lot of people do. A lot of people do. Liquid Cooled was probably one of the most successful limited time things I ever did. A lot of people got that one. But the fact that it was years ago now means that it is a rare site indeed. Are you going to upload this stream to YouTube? Oh yeah, the VOD's going to be public. Yep. Why am I using a gauntlet to mine? Am I stupid? I've been getting these emails from a company that's like, would you like to go on a free vacation that's worth thousands of dollars? All you have to do is peddle our MLM scam to your audience. Doesn't that sound nice, chat? I get to tell you how great this MLM is and they send me to Dubai for like seven grand. <laughs> Doesn't that sound like a responsible thing I should be doing with my influence on YouTube? Scamming my fans for a vacation. <laughs> It is funny, some of the offers I get in my email. It's like, you really think I'm gonna stoop that low. Like some of these things, there was an alt shop that wanted to advertise on the 30 virus YouTube channel. Think about how stupid that is. An alt shop. <laughs> you know what I should have done? I should have done what Goblin did. In one of his, there's a YouTuber named Goblin. He makes videos about basically weed and a bunch of other stuff that if you're below age probably not your kind of content but i find it really funny and interesting from a morbid curiosity perspective also he's just good at telling stories but the dude straight up was given like a a sponsorship email from a company that sold i think it was like fortnite accounts oh no it wasn't fortnite it was um what was it i think it was a fortnite account seller invite me why anyways someone reached out wanting to advertise in one of his videos for an alt shop for fortnite and he was like yeah dude sure uh can you send the money first like can you front me the money for the sponsorship the guy said yes sends 500 bucks to him and then he just never makes a sponsorship <laughs> and his logic there should be pet oh, slash on. weapons for every skill that scales with overflow XP like how drag scales with gold collection. Also I paid a hundred bucks to a small music creator for a song I'm going to use for my YouTube intro and outro, buy from small creators. I agree on that last one. Thank you for the five troll face Wolfie. Let me think about that for a second. Here I'm gonna I'm gonna finish this other thought first. So anyway, um, so this YouTuber that I watch, he accepted $500 from an alt shop sponsorship and then just never did the sponsorship. Except this time, he knew from the start he was going to finesse them. He was going to get a lick, so to speak. But no, his, um, after that, he said something to the effect of, what are you going to do? Report me? You sell alts. Like, you're already doing something illegal. And I was like, wait, 
that's kind of a revelation like what the hell like hey you know what why not screw over the alt shop that's stealing people's accounts right why not they're already doing something illegal they're not going to report you but then my thought process immediately went to well this is a this is like a mob scenario kind of in a way it's a similar logic right where it's like sure i could agree with someone to pay them for their or they can agree to pay me for my services let's say assassin and then i just don't do it and keep the money i guess the etiquette when you're paying for something illegal how do you know that you're gonna get what you paid for because there's not really any way to uphold the deal legally because you're already doing something illegal so if you get finessed you can't report it because that would be admitting to a crime i don't know i guess at that point the only way they can really get back at you is to like show up at your house <laughs> But anyway, I should probably respond to Trollface Wolfie. Um, there should be pets weapons for every skill that scales with overflow XP. With overflow XP. Hmm. The problem I have with that concept is then technically it removes the cap from that skill. Like, I, obviously, I would benefit massively if there was a pet that gave you some buff depending on your overflow mining XP. But the problem is, technically, it makes it an infinitely progressing task, which is probably not good. I don't know. I like, I kind of like the concept, but at the same time, it should be for something that's not required. Maybe, like, plus one magic find per digit in the skill overflow. One magic find wouldn't make a difference. It could be like a hundred mil cap and then the buff stops working, but then that effectively increases the ceiling of what you're required to do to max the game to that new number instead of maxing the skill which maybe isn't a bad thing honestly because it would kind of it wouldn't solve the problem of skills being a little anemic compared to the tasks you are doing to get the xp for said skill that was a very intelligent sentence i just said <laughs> the string of words there it almost sounds like i know what i'm talking about <laughs> which by the way that was all autopilot i'm gonna admit it that right there was the biological equivalent of what a language model is doing. I just improv that whole thing midway through the sentence. Every word I was like, I was just winging it. <laughs> I was just, I was thinking of what's the next word going to be. Say that again. I'll pay you a dollar. No, it's gone. <laughs> that thought is gone. I wanted to hear what you said and then add. It's okay, I'll clip it for the video later. <laughs> How's it going, Mr. Fezzi the Frog? Oh, what are your uh, thoughts on the title and thumbnail idea I sent? Your keyboard sounds amazing. Yeah, it uh, sounds like I'm building Legos. What switches? Techno Violet. I should probably leave the mine shaft soon. Where exit? 
Did you see the picture I sent of Minecraft Legos? I did. And by the way, for anyone that does um, actually manage to get my contact on Discord, don't expect <laughs> responses from me because I am a very um, easily distracted person. I'll look at a DM, think of a response, and then midway through the thought, something else happens, and then it's gone. <laughs> So, that's kind of why I typically don't friend people on any platforms, because I'd feel bad for not responding. That's mostly the reason, to be honest. Can't confirm. What's the fastest way to get Heart of the Mountain XP below level 7? I'm not recommending this, but technically the fastest way would be to get, like, a hundred or so nucleus runs and then like do the nucleus run have a pigeon in your hot bar oh i just died and every single um crystal you get in the nucleus run redeem that commission so for every nucleus run you do five commissions and get the heart of the mountain xp of the run itself so yeah before Heart of the Mountain 7, that is technically the fastest way to get XP. Would I recommend you do that? No. Do you know? No. I do not know who that person is. 2,800 XP per, per run? Yeah, it's kind of goaded. Like, literally almost 3,000 XP per, like, minute and a half. All right, let's start paying attention again. Citrine. Where's Citrine? He ghosts me every day, so trust me, he does. Hey, hey, Fezzy, I sent you a DM this morning. I did not ghost you. That said, I did get ghosted by a girl about four days ago. And for the first time, I saw that and was like, you know, that's all right. We're making progress, chat. We're making progress. I really did not think about it twice. I was like, oh, yep, yeah, well, can't say I didn't see that coming. And I ghosted you for payback. <laughs> Unfortunate. I cannot find the citrine to save my freaking life. Here it is. What would you recommend? Oh, so back to the Heart of the Mountain discussion. Honestly, I'd say probably just Crystal Hollows commissions. And if you have the travel scroll to Crystal Nucleus, you can just warp CN every time you get a commission done. It's decently fast. All right, where's some Peridot? No. If you're if you are not on Iron Man, do comms. Nucleus runs are profit with average RNG from drops. So not so don't do comms, do nucleus runs then. I guess maybe if it profits, I can recommend nucleus runs. <laughs> Cause it, I if it profits, I don't know if it still profits. Maybe it does. With average drops, you profit slightly per run. When I did about 100, I profited about 20 mil. Hmm. I mean, in that case, I guess, I, I, I'm still very hesitant to actually recommend it though.
Yeah, I'm starting to get the layout to this place. I think for the longest time, the reason why my comms were so like painfully slow, and they are still pretty slow, but it was even worse when I guessed that this area has two height levels, but it actually has three. And that realization is very Just helpful. interested pause the stream you talked about. It was funny, but did the big boy girl just continue to ghost you? Yeah, so first of all, thank you for the five dollars best Nintendo. Yeah, she ghosted me. The one I was mentioning was a different girl, though. But yeah, that one also. I mean, I knew it. I knew it. Like, yeah, of course she was going to ghost me because she'd practically already been doing that. But like trying to be nice for some reason after the fact. If you don't, if you weren't there, you don't get the context. Don't worry about it. It's a, it's a thing I said that in context was fine, but out of context sounds really sus. Uh, tungsten is not a waypoint. Let's stop assuming it is with my stupid brain. So let's see. Let's get a counter up on the, <laughs> on the board here. In the past... At this point, it's been two and a half months of being back in the in the dating scene. I got ghosted by two different girls. Went on three first dates? Three first dates. <laughs> None of which I am still in contact with. Let's go. Well, technically one of them might still be in contact, but we established that There'd be no labels put on anything. <laughs> That's just life, man. That's how it works. It's it's nothing but failure after failure after failure until suddenly it works. You just have to be able to take the failures without, you know, getting upset. And I've gotten a lot better at that over the uh, past little while here. Can you set a timer for five minutes and see how much harder the mountain XP you got? What? Why a timer for five minutes when I could just check it now? Been single for a year and I'm not interested in dating. Single better. <laughs> I mean... Where my head is at right now is that... <sighs> Where I'm at is that it's definitely not something that's where it's like, oh, I'm just not interested. It's more like I have so much going on right now that I don't think I can truly participate in a relationship until I stabilize my work situation. And if updates like this one keep dropping, that's going to happen very soon. Mm, onyx. How long are you streaming for? Not sure yet. Oh my god. <laughs> I like how there's like, at this point it's 90% of the messages I see are Twitch. And then it's like 10% YouTube, no one on kick. Hey YouTube chat, are you good? You alive? Easy way to hit Heart of the Mountain 7, Duke. Again, I guess Nucleus runs are the meta for now. I can't officially recommend that forever, but at least at the moment, it seems like doing Nucleus runs and redeeming every crystal commission as you do the Nucleus run is the way to do it. 
Of all, wait, <laughs> we are dead. Of all the people that represent the kickstream right now, Fearless, <laughs> what's up, man? <laughs> Hello. Oh, so I'll update you, Fearless. I don't know how much of stream you've been watching, but um, TLDR, the new update, yeah, it adds three Heart of the Mountain levels, but really, it's like this little area. Well, it's not little, but it's a decently sized area behind the Great Ice Wall with a few new gems in it. And there's like three different grinds right now. There's grinding Heart of the Mountain XP. There's getting Glacite Powder, which I guess is also for now just doing commissions is the most efficient. And then there's the grind of spawning a quote uh, mine shaft and then there's like rare stuff in there essentially that, that's really all this update boils down to is those three things and definitely not in a bad way i oh i just tried to i actually really like the update i think it's a um if we get more updates like this, I'd be a lot more confident in the history, the history, the, the future of the game. That's the word. You like the cookie clicker update? I mean based on what i've been told it's like an idle thing that just kind of happens in the background while you do the rest of skyblock so it can't be bad is it good i guess we'll find out i quite like this update but it also feels a bit unfinished and unbalanced i mean i don't know if i'd say unbalanced I mean, they did literally just double the rate of mine shafts, which is very good. I do think they need to make the crystals more common, though. As of now, they're way too rare. If they make crystals more common and then just kind of flesh the update out more, just like kind of more similar content to what we were given already, but just more of it, like more crafting recipes, different items maybe new things to forge using the new materials, new applications for the new collections, like that sort of thing. And they are planning on doing that, so. Mm. The key unlocks are really high in the collections, which is weird considering you can find the corpses that require it instantly. Yeah. I think I do agree that the corpses overall are just kind of underpowered. I think they'll fix it though. I think, well, it's not even something that needs to be quote fixed. It's just something that's kind of like, we could just use more, except for the key thing. I think that's correct. The, the keys probably should be a bit cheaper. Sorry, I was uh, typing out some business stuff. <laughs> We're just here grinding 400, yeah, 400,000 Heart of the Mountain experience. <laughs> Ooh, of course. <laughs> out of context, that clip is, that's definitely going in out of context for 100%. Did you have to walk right in my face? Bro, that was the most annoying, like, how many times in a row did that block break get canceled? Like four times. Is legendary Skada worth it? No. 
isn't the legendary perk just extra what was it crystal powder or gemstone powder crystal powder <laughs> Not that kind of crystal powder. <laughs> yeah, not that kind. Goofy song. Yeah, there's a few songs in the playlist that are kind of quirky. A little weird. Makes things, it keeps things interesting. Write what down? No, I'm exchanging messages with someone that's, um, all right, I'll just say, I'll, I'll be less vague. Um, there's an opening with the rooms in the house. Uh, one of my roommates is moving out because of life things happening. Unrelated to me. So the room's opening it up, uh, and I am currently messaging someone who is interested in moving into the room. I will keep the details to a minimum for privacy reasons. As much as I'm an open book for myself, whenever it comes to someone else's details, I am very careful. Bro's a landlord. I prefer the term roommate who owns the house. <laughs> Cause that's really how the dynamic is. I've never once called my roommates tenants. It just feels weird. They live with me. We hang out. Like it just isn't like that. <laughs> I hope they don't think of me weird because like, oh, he's the landlord. Like <laughs> I, I hate that term. It has such a negative connotation nowadays. I prefer the term land chad. <laughs> Recipe. One of the best commands recently added to the game. Supercraft in general. Mm. Love that. The lord, the lord, the word landlord alone just sounds weird. Like who decided to put Lord in the title? Well, I mean, serfdom, right? Back in Renaissance days, maybe before that, probably before that. The term landlord probably is derived from just straight up the term Lord, which I think just straight up meant someone who owned land back in the day, right? Something like that, probably because I'm totally an authority on this topic, being a Minecraft YouTuber and all. What's your collections looking like? Last I checked, it was just over 200K, right? Yeah. We're about to hit another, we're about to get one mining fortune chat. Oh boy. From Tungsten.
Google says the term's origin is apparently from the English Middle Ages. Oh, I was right. Look at that. Can you... <laughs> I love how you could just see me getting distracted in real time. Like, you could see when I look over to chat, my aim gets worse in the game because I'm, like, trying to guess where the block is. And you'll notice I start mining slower when I get a Discord message. It's bad, man. Staying on task is a battle for me. Hello, Mineshaft. And it's a... Whoa. This is a weirdly shaped... Mine shaft. It's Ruby. There's two lapis corpses here. Get me in, you non. Hey, like I said, I'm doing this. So I, I don't want extra responsibilities. I'm sorry. Maybe it's selfish, but like. I will forget to warp you. That's just how it works. So much money potential in that cave you're in? Not really. Once I hit 100 um, cold, I'm just gone. And my mining speed's gonna get pretty bad. Like, yeah, I could do this, but like... Also, I have a Fishing Miner on, which actually is preferable because um, I believe how scrap is calculated is based on blocks broken. But I don't know if that's even true anymore because people were telling me Efficient Miner is the reason that sometimes you get extra scraps. I don't know. So maybe it is per block break action, not necessarily which actual block... You, I don't know, man. Only with gems, but the other one's not. Oh. At least YouTube doesn't have ad breaks. It does. YouTube does do ad breaks. It has been all stream. But I guess it's a bit more picky choosy who it decides to get the ads. Wait, you don't get extra anymore from dailies? You do. I've just been getting my dailies off camera. I've been here a while for like two hours and have not gotten a single ad. Yeah, sometimes the platform just decides you're, you're one of the chosen ones or you have an ad blocker, which are increasingly becoming not an option. Reminder to do Fetcher and Puzzler. I think we're a bit beyond that stage of the game. I haven't worried about those for over a year. <laughs> the fact that I'm breaking this many blocks and still do not have the scrap is very disappointing. Assuming I'm reading the wiki right now, there's a zero point, effectively 0.3% chance for a slot in the excavator thing to be a paleontologist one book. Therefore, you should use all of your scrap and get the book. <laughs> uh huh. So one in 300 almost. That's really bad. And does it go to Paleontology 5? I'm guessing it does. Or Paleontologist 5? So that means this game expects me to get 1,500 scrap? Is that what it's saying? Is that what the game design is leading me to believe? The expected maximum number to grind for is 1,500 scrap? <laughs> At those rates? Well, that's not being fair because you can salvage the scrap for res or some kind of like bone powder or something and which you could use to just get more scrap. 
but I don't know how good the conversion is and obviously it's RNG dependent because you got to get a fossil to do that or at least I think you do I don't remember Oh, is that chance per slot? Hold on, Pig. When you said it was a 0.3% chance, essentially, is that per slot in the minigame or per entire board? Huge difference. That's per slot? Okay, that's significantly better. Okay. So, realistically, in that case, I should only need about... 50 times less what I said. So instead of, what was the number I said? 1,500? Well, that wouldn't make any sense either. Then it would only be three. I think my math has fallen apart. So 54 slots, 0.3% chance per slot. So 0.3 times, no. I can't do this in my head. I cannot do this math in my head. I am I have stupid brain uh, while I'm streaming. <laughs> 0 0.3. Um okay. So that means it's a 16.2% chance per board that you get a book. But the problem with that it, it doesn't necessarily mean I have a 16.2% chance to get the book every time because I have to actually expose the slot with the book. What is this? Member benefit. Get $250 off. Oh. I thought I got rid of solicitation in my email. Sorry. I don't know the average chance between dirt slash item slash fossil. Mm. But with chisel, you can't mine all the slots. Yeah, you can't. So even if it's like roughly a 16% chance to get a book, I'd have to then expose it afterwards, which is scary. Actually, it's 14.96%. Okay. <laughs> That means 5% chance with 16 clicks. That's actually... Okay, Looter has some good logic here. Yes. Well, actually, no, that's not... It depends. Because if I go for the... For example, for a fossil... I should probably leave. If I go for a fossil, that means I'm willingly giving up a lot of clicks that could be spent looking for a book, if that makes sense. Sixteen clicks if all, all of those clicks roll an item. Yeah, exactly. You gotta consider the chance to get dirt instead. Hmm. <laughs> We're gonna put together a calculator. <laughs> We're gonna write it up in Python. <laughs> It'll be the true chance to get a paleontology book. I'm going to go off on a limb and say it's probably about like a 4% chance overall that you'll actually find one. That's my like just gut instinct based on what I've been hearing. Let's run with that. So let's say that's true. So a 4% chance to get the book overall, everything uh, included. So in that case, if I wanted to get 16 books... A 4% chance of the event happening means that I would have to do it 25 times <sighs> just to roll for one of them. So 25 times 16, that would mean the game expects me to get 400 suspicious scrap total. That's a lot more reasonable. It's a lot of work, but it's doable. It's like 20 times what I've gotten so far. Granted, I have not gotten a single perk that increases the chance of any of that crap. Actually, that's not true. I did get a single perk for that, but point still stands. I have a lot of room to get more efficient at getting scrap. 
especially if you consider having a party <coughs> with people that all have the perk to make mine shafts appear more frequently and you have the perk to make it so it's more likely to get uh scrap i should be fine 400 scrap for an entire career in this area i think it can happen probably Sixteen because sixteen bucks for five. I've opened like fifty plus scraps and have not seen a single book. What tier of um chisel? And were you going for the um, pets? Because if you're going for the pets, you're using up a lot of those clicks. Just on the fossils. I have a feeling. Once you get to the point where you have every single fossil and you don't have to go for them anymore. Actually, that's technically going to increase your chance to get a book. Because what will happen is you'll have mods installed like solvers. And once you expose like a couple of bone pieces, then it will show where the whole fossil is and you can avoid those slots, which effectively increases the chance you'll find the book because you know what slots not to click on. Getting the book now will give you more scrap in the future. It's a good investment. Bruh. Getting scrap should not be my focus right now. It's a waste of my time. I should at least... I should get Heart of the Mountain 10. Get my Glacite Powder. Then go for... I have a feeling I'll be like 5 plus times more effective at getting scrap. Once I actually have the perks for it. You know what I mean? It, it's probably not even worth going for the scraps for me right now at all because like I'm literally gonna be like Minimum twice as efficient minimum if I'm not bothering with everything else You can't get heart of the mountain 10 perk for fossils you'll still need peak of the mountain Well, that's why grinding powder as well Smuxus, thank you for joining. <laughs> thank you for joining on YouTube. Oh, also Benjamin, thank you for the five on uh, uh, through Super Chat. Did you get any sleep? I did. I got four hours of sleep and then I stayed up for another 12 hours and then passed out another four hours. Or maybe not 12 hours, actually. I was, um, let's see. I slept from like 9 a.m. to like, not even nine. It was from like six. 6 or 7 a.m.? 6 a.m.? 6 a.m. to 11. And then from like 8 to 12. And yes, I've been up since midnight. I woke up at midnight. <laughs> and I'm still awake. <laughs> it's been it's been a weird few days. Just a little bit. Is your name Honda Civic Go bar bobber <laughs> i own a honda civic and they indeed go burr <laughs> they are great vehicles it's an excellent value would recommend
What do you actually think of all the Legos? Hey, I'm not gonna judge someone for that. I, um, I, I've spent a good bit of money on things that I probably shouldn't have. <laughs> so I can't judge someone for our Lego collection. Al although, you know what's funny? I, there's a friend of mine up in New York. His name is Trevor. We used to uh, hang out in Scouts all the time. Um, he actually won a Mr. Beast challenge. <laughs> he got um, his dad's... He got Mr. Beast's dad's old truck, I believe. <laughs> that guy, he works at Legoland. And he gets like a discount on all the different Lego sets. And he has like thousands of dollars worth of Lego sets that like we were talking about it. Like when I hung out with him and he like we were walking around Legoland and he was like, yeah, like my uh, some of the sets I have are worth like 10 times what I paid for them. I'm like, what? Like dudes investing in Lego sets like this dude's Lego collection is getting a better return than the S&P 500 <laughs> has been for the past like 15 years. <laughs> like what the hell? And when we were talking, it was like, yeah, I'm probably going to buy more sets. You know, he's bullish on Legos. <laughs> If my aunt liquidated all her Lego sets, she'd easily get a hundred grand. Bro. I'm sorry. If I had a collection of anything worth a hundred K, I'm selling it, bro. I'm sorry. Unless I'm already a millionaire, then like maybe not. But like, if I had a hundred K worth of anything now, that was like, some kind of collection that's not actively doing something to help me. I'm selling it, bro. I'm getting rid of that. I can make use of that. Th that 100K is a down payment on an investment property, bro. I could be getting like, I could be getting like a few hundred bucks a month in equity and maybe even profit. Who knows? Enchanted book. It took me seven scraps 30. Well, that's RNG. It took you seven. It could take me a hundred. Who knows? It could take me one. I'm not willing to take that chance right now. I have like five grand for the Legos. Oh my God, dude. Hmm. What is the least financially responsible purchase I've ever made? I'm going to have to think on this one. The first thing that came to mind was my car because I bought it new. But because of the ridiculous car market we're in, I would profit after buying my car new and then driving it for like four years, which is unheard of. So technically I'm still making money. So I can't say that. Um, What is the, mm, the dumbest purchase I've ever made? There's gotta be something. Me, there's got to be some instance where I spent like hundreds of dollars on something stupid that I've never touched. Hmm. Hmm. I did buy an ROG Ally and used it like three times. Then again, I made very clear that was fun money that I spent because I earned it from basically like a side job and the whole point was to waste the money so i don't know if i could even say that the weekly 60 dollars game with the homies you know what's sad my friends have given up on me in that sense they don't recommend me games anymore because they know i'm not going to play them It's considered normal now whenever I'm in a VC with Fezzi and like the friend group that we hang out with. They'll just be like off playing some game and I'll be grinding Skyblock while just in the call. And that's the way it's been for the past five years. Two things are ready in the forge. Oh, true. The glaze amalgamations. Oh, this is perfect. This is a chance to check uh, what's available now, recipe-wise. First, I'm going to get this umber 
commission done. Never heard of a Lego set discount if you work at Legoland and I'm working in Denmark. <laughs> That's where it's originally from. Well, the the one that I'm talking about is in New York. Um, I think it's like a 10 or 15% employee discount in like the, not specifically in the Lego sets, but like on the gift shop, which includes the Lego sets. So maybe that's why you haven't heard of it. Who knows? Uh, Warp Forge. Oh, let's check out some of the uh, recipes. Let's see if I recognize anything new. Okay, those require collections. Anything new? We can upgrade the chisel if we wanted. We have reinforced chisel, which requires plates, unfortunately. So we can't make that because we need tier nine of the collection. Dwarven metal talisman also requires plates. Dude, this item needs, this item desperately needs an update. Okay. Uh, how do we fix this item chat? What are your, uh, what are your thoughts? Because I think this item is absolute garbage. A refined umber and 16 matchsticks for a consumable. No, thanks. I think if they just straight up made it not a consumable and kept the 10 minute cooldown, I'd be fine with it. And then make it more expensive to craft. Yeah, exactly. Have it be like, <laughs> have it be like matchsticks, a plasma bucket and a refined umber, and then just make it so it's infinite. I think that would be fair. Since you know, the whole point of plasma buckets is that it's infinite, right? 10 charges no i don't want charges get no i just want to have an item i don't want to have to keep making crap or remove it cold as cosmetic it's not though it affects your mining speed all right uh let's stop stalling let's make at least one refined mithril oh you know what Let's also make a refined, I don't know, umber. Sure. Yeah, we gotta start working on these. We have so much crap to forge. How long does it take for a bottle of gyre to evolve? Isn't that like a hundred hours or something like that? Might be 300 hours, I don't remember. It is 300 hours. I kind of hate the forge. I don't. I'm a very patient person and I'm good at planning for the future. So like I'm able to figure out how to most efficiently, I set alarms for when the forge is open. I'm a bit of a maniac with that stuff. So I don't mind it. I'm pretty on point with the forge. I should probably eat something soon. I haven't eaten all day. Hmm. Because I am starting to get hungry. <laughs> Better not be pizza. Hmm. Trying to think of what I... I went to Aldi this morning, actually. It's a part of why my stream started a little later than I would have wanted. <laughs> Eating's downtime. Indeed, but I must consume calories to survive. It's just a matter of what can I prepare 
that is quick. Also, it's getting cold in here. I'm gonna turn off my ceiling fan. Whoa. Also, I was not prepared for my leg to be asleep when I stepped up like that. <laughs> All these in America? Yep. It is. <laughs> Glissies with ketchup. I hate the fact that that's a term. Why is that a term? <laughs> I mean, that would be the simplest solution. Would just be throw some turkey hot dogs in the air fryer. Did you see I bought all 21 Plants vs. Zombies 2 premium plants? Why? Why would you do that? No. That's giving them what they want. EA as a company needs to wither and die. When is that happening? The amount of franchises they killed. How are you feeling about the update? I like it. It's a good addition to the game, in my opinion. I don't know. There's a few things that are unbalanced though, but overall I like the concept. Definitely needs some tweaking, but such a peaceful stream. That's because nothing's happened. <laughs> it's peaceful, but it's also like, eh, yeah, doing commissions still after four hours. But, I mean, let's be real. The actual content's the conversation. We've known this for years. EA killed Rocket League? I don't think that sentence makes any sense. First of all, Epic Games bought Rocket League. Second off, I don't think the game's ruined. Then again, I haven't played it in like ages. I like how randomly in this song, there's just a guy that goes, ah, <laughs> as if that's supposed to mean something. It's the outrageous prices. Ah, see, that's that's why I don't think the game was ruined because I don't deal with cosmetics in video games. <laughs> the only time I ever do that is when it's the bad line stuff, like the thirty virus hacked bad line cloak available. <laughs> <sighs> I had to. I'm contractually required. I'm not. <laughs> I can't even joke about that because some people actually are. <laughs> I'm not, for the record, I am not contractually obligated. <laughs> Liquid Cool was the best cloak in my opinion. Honestly, I think I prefer Firewall. Firewall is the best one in my opinion. Pairs really well with Crimson. Which is kind of the best armor in the game right now, so. I think Hacked is the best daily driver though. When it comes to like always available. I don't know. Since it's like got like kind of a gray to it, it just kind of it's neutral.
they removed trading from Rocket League. It caused a bunch of YouTubers to quit and wouldn't have content anymore. Yeah, that doesn't sound good. Whatever happened to all the big YouTubers in that space? Whatever happened to Neat Mike? And John Sandman. I probably just caused some neuron activation. People in the audience are like, those are names I haven't heard in years. Wolfless. They all retired? Really? I forgot Wolfless got into, um, we actually talked a few times, me and Wolfless. I, I didn't know he did Rocket League. I thought he was Minecraft still. <laughs> Goes to show how much we talked. <laughs> I remember he tried to get me to work with his merch company and I was like, yeah, maybe. And then it just never happened. I feel a little bad for that. How do you get the scroll that makes you slash warp camp? It's a forge item. <gasps> oh. I'm still trying to think of stuff to eat. You know, I could just make some tendies. I do have chicken tenders. That would be very simple. You know, I could just go for the full, like, elementary school kid loadout. Just have, like, chicken tenders with mac and cheese. <laughs> Honestly, that... I don't care what anyone says. You can enjoy that combination at any age. All right? It's just a good combination. I don't care what anyone says. It's delicious... And it should be enjoyed by more than just children. <laughs> I don't know why there's a stigma against chicken tenders and mac and cheese. It's just tasty foods, man. I just don't know if I have any microwave mac and cheese left. I'll have to check. I'm 25 and I agree. Hell yeah. I'm sure there's an adult version of that dish. Actually, there is, and I ate it recently. There was this, um, there's a ghost kitchen that has, I guess, uh, a location, location nearby. And they had this crazy, like, it's like a chicken parm. But instead of the pasta just being like, you know, just red sauce, it's straight up a mac and cheese with a chicken parm slab of chicken on top of it with like tomato sauce on top of the mac and cheese. It was so good. Like I was expecting it, the flavor to be all over the place, but like genuinely just an improvement. where i need that now <laughs> like i said it's a ghost kitchen so there's a good chance that there might be one nearby it was um yeah, let me look it up let me look it up let's see what we got oh i just got a sent i got sent a tinder message just now is that am i reading that correctly the place is called pasta americana Let's see what the message says. Oh, hey, 
Bro, I sent a message on Saturday and I'm getting a response now. My goodness. I'm not responding to that right now. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Ghoster's payback. This girl did nothing wrong to me. The first, she sent me a message. No, no. I am not going to give anybody revenge for getting ghosted because you know what that does? It perpetuates ghosting. Mm -mm. That said, there was one time when I pretty much was forced into having to ghost somebody, but that's a whole different scenario. <laughs> That's not, oh, I'm just not interested in this anymore. Bye. Respond to it now because you'll forget about it. No, what's going to happen is I'm going to end stream at some point, start farming, and then while I'm farming, I'll have plenty of time to scroll the apps on my phone. It's a ritual I've had. But I kind of skipped it the past few days, to be honest, because like I said, I'm not really in a place where I absolutely like need a relationship right now. So maybe I will forget. Who knows? At that point, I mean, if I don't need it, then I... I don't know. I should probably start making the food now since it's on my mind. You know, I'll be back in a few minutes. I am going to put my food in um, the appropriate cooking apparatuses and I'll be back. Oh. And while I'm gone, Mac versus PC, go. <laughs> totally not engagement forming my stream. Okay. Specs suck for the price. I agree. PC all the way. I mean, we've known this about me. Oh, I should have made a poll. You can do that on YouTube now. Whoops. Missed opportunity. But yeah, no, Max. Hey, you know what? I'll give them credit. Apple occasionally has some good ideas and where other companies can take their idea and then improve upon it. For example, AirPods. I have the egg looking knockoff AirPods from Google and it's just better and cheaper. But hey, you know what? I'll give credit where it's due. To my knowledge, Apple was first. 
The egg pods. Yeah, it's an egg pod. <laughs> so I set a timer for 10 minutes. I'll check on the chicken after that. The pasta, the mac and cheese will be done. But just so I make sure it's not cold, I'll probably put it back in for like a minute before I come back up. Actually, let's make that timer. Let's make that timer 15 minutes. There we go. You've been downtiming like crazy. It's because I'm talking to chat and I'm hungry. <laughs> How long have you been living there? I moved in November of 2021. So it's been just over two years since I moved into this house. And it's one of the best decisions I ever made. Like this, I don't know, this environment is so much better than where I was. Like it's a night and day difference. I was, <laughs> I was paying $1,350 for the right to live in a shack in the woods that didn't have hot water for like six months and didn't even have a bathroom sink for four months. It was not great. And then the landlord tried to take like $300 from my security deposit because the um well actually they tried to take the whole security deposit because my command strips pulled off a little bit of paint off the walls which is not well first of all the original um message was yeah the entire security deposit and I'm like it does not cost $1,200 to repaint one room that's like a hundred square feet. Probably not even. Citrine. Just me or did no one speak for over an hour on kick? <laughs> yeah, the kick stream's a little dead. I guess uh, people don't really like the platform, it would seem. Which, again, is a mystery to me because maybe, maybe it's just because I view reality through the lens of the way my brain works. And at least for me, I have a very transactional way of thinking. It's like, oh, this platform is just a better experience. It has no ads. I'll, I'll use that then. Like, and that's really as far as it goes. It's like... I could try and be like, well, the complexities and the morals. And it's like, well, really, it doesn't matter. All the platforms kind of suck, morally speaking. So, like, why not just use the one that's the best experience for me? Also, that's not the right gem. Mm-mm-mm. I don't think YouTube is in the playback. In the chat playback? It is. I can see your message. I can see right now on my screen, there are messages from all three platforms in one consolidated chat. It's not under my face, but I can see it. Are you going to be mining the whole stream? Probably. Today's goal, by the way, was Heart of the Mountain 9, which we've already achieved. So I think new goal, 200k experience at least towards T10, and then next stream we finish it. I think that's what we're going to be doing. And hopefully after I fuel up with some calories, then uh, I should be able to keep going for at least another like four hours.
I am being so easily distracted. I am so easily distracted in general, but like, I don't know why, but this area in particular, I'm especially prone to just losing focus. Kickstream is faster than YouTube. Twitch is probably faster than both in terms of delay. Now, the one disadvantage of this consolidated chat thing that I have is it does delay my chat by about a second. So I'll be ever so slightly slower to respond. You haven't checked suggestion channel for that Aqua Gem spot? Well, I'm not just saying Aquamarine. I want all the spots for all the gems. That way we can have like a complete set of coordinates and hopefully I'd be a bit faster at this because man, I am not efficient at all. I keep on skill issuing. This update is an attack on ADHD people. Actually, no, that was Vamp Slayer T5. <laughs> that was straight up an attack on people that can't focus. There's only two spots of each gem? I don't think so. I think there's like three for some of them. This year's updates are pog so far. What else came out this year? I mean, this is the first update of real substance, is it not? In 2024? Aqua has three. See? I knew it. I just didn't know which one. Peridot has one big spot. Good. Because that's the gemstone I'm most interested in just m mining casually that gemstone specifically. That was the wrong thing. I was supposed to be mining umber, not tungsten. Mine shaft. And it's an umber mine shaft. Would you look at that? Invite, please. Bruh. I did, I did the thing. You're welcome. I'm not looking forward to doing Vamp Slayer with high ping. Oh my God, bro. I can't even imagine a T5 with any lag. Like... It's hard enough with zero lag, let alone high pixel lag. <laughs> oh, there's three umber corpses here. Cringe. Now time to hope we get a scrap. Have you ever screamed another game? <laughs> I like the phrasing of that. Have you ever screamed another game? No, I've streamed other games. Um, believe it or not, on Twitch, I streamed COD Zombies a few times. And I'm totally down to do that again at some point, sometime. Oh, what's up, Dorelius? Or is that... Wait, it's Derelius 5. <laughs> oh, it's a... Oh, no, it's Delta... Delta Rarius 5. I can't freaking speak, bro. It's not Derelius, but yes. <laughs> yeah, I streamed Fall New Vegas when I was recovering from my nose surgery. Correct. I did do that. I wonder what else I've streamed. 
What is the, I streamed, um, <laughs> I believe one of the new Call of Duties when it was kind of new. It might have been Modern Warfare, like the new, new, mo like, you know what I mean? Like 2019. I think I streamed that one time, but like, it was so laggy that like, I just, it didn't work like at all. Bloons too. Yeah, when Hypixel went down for a little bit, we did stream Bloons. I streamed uh, Rocket League a little bit. Subnautica, the second Subnautica. Young Domo, thank you for the joining. Hey, I'm behaved, dude. I'm so sorry, dude. That was literally 37 minutes ago. What's wrong with me? Thank you for the Twitch Prime. Are you still here, man? And it and that's a year, man. How, how do I keep on? Do I need to put the volume for the notice up? No, because it's already max. I just. Chat, I'm gonna need you to yell at me if I don't respond to a dono right after it happens because sometimes they just fall they fly under the radar The Subnautica streams were fire they really were You never mentioned that crazy kids tier 3 was a year-long sub was it really? Oh well GG You missed two of mine earlier, like an hour, like hours ago. Oh, I remember Ethereal. I think I did read it, but just like a bit after the fact, but I'll read it again if you like. Now that you're here. I have all the OR coordinates. Um, yeah. If it's not already in the suggestions channel of the Discord, um, that would be the spot to put it. Thank you, thank you. Much appreciated. What was your strat of getting blue goblin eggs? Iron Man Sweats Discord, I would wait for pings. But I suppose if you were not doing that, there is a chance that you get it from the corpses. But I feel like the most efficient way probably would still just be powder mining in the goblin holdout, unfortunately. If you aren't Iron Man, don't join IMS for blue eggs. True. True. You, if, you, <laughs> if you want blue eggs and you're not an Iron Man player, just buy it. Trust me, just buy it. Just grind the coins and then buy it. <laughs> Just found a Peridot crystal in an Umber corpse. Oh, interesting. <sighs> you can get the keys from Lapis corpses. Hmm. Should probably get out of here. Exit is this way. Do you think this update's Iron Man friendly? Uh, I don't know. Also, my phone was on the whole time. Nice. All right, let's get out of here. All right, Chad, I gotta go check on my food. I'll be back. Do you have microphone recommendations? Um, uh, uh oh there's a bit or uh, there's a mic that i'm trying to remember that's really good uh blue microphones aren't bad but there's better value nowadays like everyone says the blue snowball or the blue yeti but you can get a better value than that nowadays i'm using an at2035 the at2020 is also very reasonable very good mic so maybe that i'll be back
Hello chat, I have returned with the lunch of champions. Doesn't that look absolutely scrumptious? Okay. I'm gonna turn off the face cam for now. And I'm gonna move the microphone away so you don't get negative ASMR. It's 10 p.m. PM for me, odd hearing lunch. I mean, to be fair, it's almost 5 p.m. here, so it's, it's weird here, too. Oh my god, that... Mac and cheese is so hot right now. I can't take a bite. Hmm. You know what? I think we should farm. Because, to be honest, I'm not going to be able to do anything while eating. Alright. Time for a healthy amount of brain rot, chat. <laughs> trying to remember cactus. And then, what am I missing? I <laughs> like how Luda's like, no, <laughs> don't do it. Warp garden. Oh, actually. First, we gotta actually catch all the pests. You do this to yourself. Hey, I'm eating. I'm not gonna be able to play at all. I already struggle enough as it is with that grind. How does the swap work? Oh, you mean with the two drills? Essentially, if you right click to activate mining speed boost while holding this, it'll register the fact that you have a blue uh, a blue cheese goblet goblin egg omelet. You know what I mean, blue cheese. Um, and then what it'll do is it'll give you the plus one ability level for mining speed boost even after you swap to your other drill. That's how that works. Hey 30, what doing? Well, I've just acquired food. So I'm gonna eat said food. And to make sure that I'm not downtiming, I'm going to farm. Also, that reminds me. Okay. That's not where my speed's supposed to be. Why? I thought my tuning points were where they're supposed to be. They are. What's happening? What am I missing? There's a lot of speed I should be getting right now, but I'm not. Um, oh, that's why. That's why. There, there we go. I'm smart. And we're off. How not 500 speed? Because I don't have enough speed. But I set the tuning points to 464. Well, I tried. 465 is as close as I can get with that rancher boots right now.
Isn't that 35 speed better than 10 strength? No, because technically the max mining speed effectively for cactus is 464. Oh, can you hear the chewing still? Here, I'll turn the mic the other direction. There we go. So fermento boots are better for this? Only from the perspective of fermento. By the way, I just noticed this Twitch sub, Maddest Dog 0000. Thank you for the T1. Domo Fort 30. Thank you for the Prime. Nero Karma 7. Thank you for the Prime as well. Good luck on Hard Mountain 10. Thank you. Thank you. I had to cancel Spotify to not go broke. These ads are killing me. Hey, the fake pony. Go on the um, the kick stream. No ads and you don't have to pay anything. That goes for anybody that like can't stand the Twitch ads. It's not that Twitch ads are killing me, it's that I'm trying to enjoy my music while working out and I just hear, want a break from the ads? Yeah, it's rough. I mean, it's a good, it's a good business model if you look at the numbers and like the returns, but yeah, from a user experience standpoint, it's pretty trash. Nuggies or Tendies? I don't know, man. They're both great. I think popcorn chicken is the best. They're like smaller nuggets. It's just more surface area for breading to attach itself to. I love breading. Just sent all the cords on the Discord. Much appreciated. I'll look at that after stream. <laughs> the breading also just so happens to be the least healthy part. Yep. <laughs> that would be correct. What's your opinion on the mace? It's about time they added a new weapon to vanilla. Now it's not gonna affect me at all because I don't play vanilla, but good for vanilla players, I guess. I have not already max garden actually. You'd be surprised. Look at that crop milestone. Still working on it.
This is what my entire day is like when I'm not streaming, by the way. I didn't see it. Bottom left. Under the chat. Last crop? No. There's three of them, but they're all fairly close. Except for this one. BLC does have window borderless, yes. It's in the graphic settings. It's not a mod setting. It's in its own tab. Yeah, the face cam's off because I am currently consuming calories. And I feel awkward eating on camera. It's just something you don't need to see. How do you make any money on Iron Man? <laughs> Let me think. Ranked in terms of how much I've made total from it. Ruby mining. Mine of Devon gold mining from underneath using the blue egg trick. Um, surprisingly, farming. I've made about 500 million in just overflow crops because I had to hit milestone but already served all the visitors that wanted it and upgraded the compost. <clears throat> oh my God. That one just interrupted my sentence. Didn't you stop at half is it a completion? I did, but the addiction set back in and well, <laughs> now it's here. Please stop after Max and compost or milestones. Don't forget visitors. Once I have acquired maximum skyblock XP from garden, I'm probably not coming back. Because by the time I hit a billion gold collection for golden dragon, I would have made enough money that I just simply don't need to come back here. Unless it's for something like hot potato books or carrots for the catechus feeder or something really small and niche like that. Are you gonna max pest bestiary? Ah. I'll think about it. I've consumed everything except for one of the chicken tenders because it's way too much food. I can turn the face cam back on. Chat, look at the size of this chicken tender. Here's a, here's a cup, a large cup of water for reference. That is a large piece of chicken. 
And since I have another few hours of stream after me, or after this, ahead of me, that's what I was trying to say. I have a few hours of stream ahead of me. I feel like if I ate this, I would fall asleep. There would be too many calories for me to digest. So I'm gonna put this in the in the fridge. I'll be back. I'm gonna try something different for my taste. Usually I'm not a big fan of orange drink. We got a Fanta here, we'll give that a shot. All right, that's enough farming. They really need like, I don't know. This is a lot of, <laughs> it takes a lot of change to go from one grind to another. It's Might kind of be annoying. a hot take, I don't know, but the pest update as the garden 2.0 update was just terrible. I expected something way better like we got Crystal Hollows as mining 2.0. I 1000% agree. <clears throat> I think pests was a band-aid fix. It didn't really fix anything. It just kind of added more chores to do, which is unfortunate. But nah, by the way, thank you for the five best centennial. But yeah, I, I mean, I've been saying this forever now. What Garden V2 should have been is splitting husbandry and agronomy into two separate skills from farming and then treat the plots like Farmville. Like that's really all they had to do. Now, granted I say that, but like that's a big change to the gameplay and it would make a lot of people upset that have already done the grind. So I get why they don't, but still. If they had the chance to go back in time and do Skyblock again, they should have definitely made farming an idle thing, not an active thing. What's up, Grenishal? Oh, I have some good news. I got the YouTube feed working with bot tricks. The bot showed up and connected within like four minutes of the stream starting. So we finally don't have to deal with that issue anymore. Now I can see everybody's messages on all the platforms without having to pay any money. It's actually kind of impressive. I managed to get a multi-streaming setup working on three platforms and it costs me no extra than just a regular stream. That is amazing. Maybe I should make a tutorial or something on my second channel. Might get some easy views. Since now I have the all the details together. I'm so upset there's no alchemy update similar to enchanting. Yeah. How would you do a chat? Let's let's have this be the next discussion. How do we make an alchemy mini game that doesn't suck? And we can think outside the box. It doesn't have to be an inventory menu mini game. It could literally be throwing ingredients into a, a cauldron in the actual world.
This is gonna sound really random. Oh my god. Dude! Chat, I just had a brain blast. Jimmy Neutron brain blast. You know what I just realized? Think about Pokemon Generation 4 for a second. Why is it that the underground minigame for like revealing fossils or whatever is so similar to one, the one in Skyblock? It's because Pokemon Gen 4 was made with the Nintendo DS in mind. They needed to come up with an excuse to use that second screen for a minigame. And what else has a completely separate but necessary minigame apparatus. Hypixel does. With inventory menus in Minecraft. So do you know what that means? It means that all the minigames from Pokemon Generation... Is it three or four? Diamond Pro Platinum is what I mean. All of those minigames can be adapted for Skyblock, technically. Because, like, instead of clicking around different inventory slots in Minecraft. In Pokemon, you were clicking around on a second screen that was separate from the regular gameplay. You could totally remake all those mini games and menus. Like making Poffins. Maybe, maybe the way that you make Poffins is how you make... Are they even called Poffins? Hold on. Poffins. Pokemon generation. Is it three or four? It is, po okay, it is generation three. And yes, it's called a Poffin. They're used to boost the Pokemon's contest stats. So perhaps alchemy could be the Poffin minigame, <laughs> but in Minecraft. Let me warp 30. That's, you saw nothing. Time to die. I, I don't know, I feel bad if I steal the mobs from, Luda, do you care if I steal the kills in these? Is that a concern of yours? I don't, don't care. Okay, perfect. I murdered them all now. Don't care you need level 400. Hey, never put my needs above your own. That goes for anybody in the chat helping me, all right? You ha if you're gonna help me with anything in Skyblock, that is because you want to. There is zero obligation and no point, unless I like, for some reason, pay someone to do something, but that'd be IRL trading, so no. Um, I don't, I don't wanna be a burden. I never wanna be a burden. That is one of the last things I wanna be. Should we create a platform where you can play Skyblock without playing Skyblock? Not a macro, but you could just play. I don't know what you mean. I've quit Skyblock too grindy. That's fair. I have a feeling most people, more than 50% of people that watch my videos nowadays probably don't even play the game. It's a surprisingly large number of viewers don't even play the game at all. I bet a bunch of people in stream don't even have Skyblock accounts. Maybe 15, 20%? Are you playing Skyblock or is this an AI? It's not that advanced yet. Could an AI be completely distracted by a chat message and then just start trying to mine bedrock? Cause that's a thing I do. That's something an AI would say. I've yet to see a language model perfectly emulate my mannerisms. As a matter of fact, I've yet to see an AI voice model even use my voice. I was gonna experiment with it. Like I was getting um, a virtual, well, 
I wanted to get like a virtual box set up goings just in case there's like a I don't know a virus I wanted to see if I could AI generate some of my own voice but like it was a Google collab link and you have to sign in with your Google account and I was like I don't trust my data with you so I didn't do it I have yet to get RVC2 working. That said, if somebody wants to do it, I think it would be very funny to get a 30 virus voice model working and then to have my AI voice sing a song. That would be entertainment because the real me is never gonna do it. <laughs> so. But if you see this message, then just know you're my favorite streamer. I don't know why I stuttered there. And you've made my day. Well, thank you, man. I'm glad to be a positive impact. The real you hates music. I don't hate music. I'm too socially awkward to sing. And I'm also lyric deaf, which means I could barely even understand the lyrics anyways. And because of that, it's frustrating and annoying. And the lyrics highlight the repetitiveness of music which is a bad thing for me You were talking about improving alchemy earlier. So could you look at the message I'm going to type? Sure. Oh yeah, that topic just died. We didn't even, I mean, I made my point about the Pokemon DS mini games, right? With the Poffins. There was also a kind of cool mechanic where on the bottom screen, you would tap around like a radar type thing and it would show you if there's something hidden in the ground beneath. Just kind of cool. It, imagine the mind of Devon um, metal detector system, but like less awful or more awful, depending on your perspective, I guess. Improving alchemy would be something like the mini game. Three ingredients to choose from. You need a total of like 12 to 15 ingredients to make a potion. The better the ingredients, the better the potion. It could all depend on RNG, which I wouldn't recommend or certain ingredients, better quality than others. And the more you level the skill, the better ingredients you get. Um, I mean, in general, I mean, I don't want to offend, but I feel like those are qualities that are kind of required from a alchemy minigame. I feel like we'd have to figure out the specifics, right? Like, yeah, a an alchemy minigame would involve you know, throwing ingredients in and um, I, I agree. Probably not RNG. Did you just say the Papa John slogan five times? I don't even know what the slogan is. I don't eat there. I've only had it once and it was mid. You know what they could do? What if the duration of the potion was determined by some skill factor. Ooh. So if you're good at it, you can make potions with longer durations. Oh, I died. And no scrap, sad. Domino's the superior. Sorry, you don't have to say sorry. That's just facts though. Although, I do think Pizza Hut has the advantage with the stuffed crust. Everything else, I'll happily eat at both places. No complaints. Papa John's stuffed crust is better than Pizza Hut's. Never tried, so I can't say for sure, but I doubt it. 
maybe I just went to a bad Papa John's, but like the pizza tasted like it was warmed up in a microwave. Granted, even bad pizza is still good, but it was definitely not high quality pizza. I'll say that. Again, maybe it's just a location because I've heard the exact opposite from the internet. But at least my personal experience. I've also only had Little Caesars like once. And the experience wasn't bad. I think I had breadsticks or something. You might be top 200 Iron Man, but what do you think in Cookie Clicker? I don't know. I haven't played it yet. Non Nap Napoli Napoli Do you mean Neapolitan? Did you miss an E there? In which case my response is why do we have to gatekeep food, man? We can there's room for both. We can enjoy both kinds of pizza. I enjoy both kinds of pizza. I think there's definitely a place for Neapolitan, but I think there's also a place for the New York slice and even the Chicago deep dish. Even that. As much as I'd consider that a casserole, whatever. You can enjoy them, but don't call them pizza. I'm sorry. Okay, this might... No, this isn't even a hot take. At least in the US, which makes sense. When people think of pizza, they think of the New York slice. Maybe that's not the case globally. I bet in Italy, it's probably Neapolitan's the first thing that comes to mind. But I don't know. I feel like with other countries, like Canada, probably the first thought would be New York slice. I was listening to a commentary video about a week ago and the guy was complaining about how annoying New Yorkers are with talking about how good their pizza is. I felt really called out. <laughs> he was like, yeah, they'll find a way to bring pizza into the conversation every single time. And I'm like, hmm, interesting. Yeah, that sounds so annoying. Those guys talking about pizza all the time. Mm. Can I ask what the best crop for money is in the garden? I think the consensus right now is melon. That's what I've heard. I don't know if that's true or not. If you include the fermento, maybe cactus? If not to NPC? Like if you're selling it to Bazaar? What would you say is your favorite part of this update? The fact that I can upload a video about it and not worry about the channel dying for another five days. That's my favorite part. <laughs> Why not all the stream chats on stream? It's because um, Twitch's terms of service and the fact that my computer is not powerful enough to encode three separate streams so I have to split the same signal three times otherwise my GPU would just croak I'm not gonna push it it's already close to death after I power starved it for two years uh, it was a nightmare figuring out why that was happening or why my computer was randomly just having crashes where everything graphics related just dies for three seconds. It was not good. Buy a 4090. It's a little out of the budget right now. 
Just a bit. You know, how much is a 4090? Uh, uh, RTX 4090. Uh, how much? Whew, just a cool $1,600. Yeah, I, I don't know. It's a little out of the budget right now. <laughs> Eight hundred dollars, <laughs> and then just nope. How about more than double it? Fifty series is about to come out in Q four of this year, anyways. Why not a fifty ninety? Well, typically with Nvidia, it's every other generation is a good value, right? So I just so happened to buy the twenty eighty Ti, which is a bad value, and then the next generation was the thirty series, which was a great value. And then the 40 series came out, and now I'm wanting to get a PC again. And it's like, not good at all. The environment for GPUs is just way, way, way too expensive right now. What's your favorite pizza topping? It's hard to pick a single favorite, to be honest. As a kid, my answer would have been ricotta cheese, like dollops of it. Um, hot honey is really good. Um, any meat as a topping, like, I don't know, pepperoni, some chicken. I don't know, I like a lot of toppings nowadays. What's hot honey? You've not heard of hot honey? It's been an increasingly popular trend these past few years. It's literally just honey that's infused with like chilies. It's a bit spicy. As much as I have a texture issue that limits my palate, I have no limit, no such limits for flavors of food. I don't mind bad flavors of, well, I mean, I don't mind in the sense that I'll still eat it, even if I don't enjoy it, as long as the texture isn't awful. I'd love to keep playing, but I can't today. All right, see you later, Luther. Have a good time. Sounds very sweet. Well, you don't put a lot of the hot honey. It, it's like a small amount. It has a lot of flavor. If you just straight up dipped it like it was a marinara, that'd be pretty gross. <laughs> a little goes a long way. Especially with that spice, because then it just kind of takes over the flavor of everything, if you have too much of it. Got a drizzle honey. Underrated strat, but having it as a dip for your slices of pizza is my preferred method. That way I get the exact amount I want. I almost knocked that over. Chad, did you see how close that was? Oh, it was like this. That could have been bad. <laughs> I almost want someone to clip that just to see how close that got. Oh, yeah, I can do it. I can clip it because I have the button. <laughs> What's your opinion on? I don't know. I mean, I <clears throat> I had nothing to do with the guy. I didn't consume any content that had anything to even remotely close. So it doesn't affect me at all. 
it's just a thing that happened. I don't know what to tell you. Fanta, the best soda. Eh. In my opinion, Mountain Dew Baja Blast is the best soda. And for me, specifically the Zero version, so I don't have any calories when I consume it. I think Baja Blast is a gift to this earth. Culver's Root Beer? Culver's has like, wait. Culver's Root Beer specifically? What, do they make some in-house? That sounds kind of sick. I'm a big fan of root beer, especially homemade ones. Just got here, what's new? Not much. Just this entire update. It's pretty sick. I'm liking it. Have any of your pets ever disappeared? <gasps> no. What is going on? Oh, TPS. Well, someone just warped in like five people, I bet. Um, I haven't had pets disappear from my inventory, but I have had talismans get wiped one time a long, long, long time ago. Chances are, if you had a pet that got wiped, it was probably a duped item that you bought from the auction house. It's not fair. It's not your fault, but you got in the crossfire. I'm sorry to hear that. I think they meant IRL. Uh, did they? Oh. Well, I've never had a pet disappear on me in real life, I don't think. Well, there was this one time when my mom's dog, a little wiener dog, Imagine this little short hair miniature dachshund that's like orange running out of the house and this is a dog that has to be on a leash otherwise she will run away. She runs out the house with no leash and into the woods and then my mom can't find her. She can't find this dog for like three hours. She's like breaking down like thinking, oh, the dog's gonna die out there. It's too late. We can't find her anymore. And then <laughs> we find her. And we find out because we're walking around the woods and then we see this little tail just poking up out of the, out of the dirt. Like there's the dirt is here. There's like a tail like going like, like this. <laughs> and then my mom goes up and sees the tail and is like, wait, grabs it and then she literally pulled the dog out of, she was in a hole and pulled the dog out of the hole like an onion, <laughs> like literally picked, picked her up like an onion. <laughs> and this dog was absolutely filthy, like coated in mud. I think she was trying to get to like a rabbit or something that had hidden in a hole. But it was very funny to watch. Like just seeing a dog get picked like a radish, like just get pulled out of the earth like that, it was very funny. Can you please tell me what the best crop for the garden is? I already told you earlier, it is melon. Melon is goated. I remember our indoor cat got out one day and had been gone for two days and the vet said to leave some fried chicken out on our porch. And that night he came home. 
<laughs> the power of fried chicken. That's really funny, actually. Yeah, I can imagine just getting, like, a hot plate, putting it out front. Not only bringing cooked food out front, but the act of cooking the food out front. Oh, chat, look! I think this is the first time this has happened to me. Yo, chat, look. Ruby 2, it says in the scoreboard. That means there's a crystal. <gasps> oh, I already have it. Oh. Um. Never mind, I guess. <laughs> well, that's a clip. We got the second iteration of a mineshaft on our own. That's the first time that's happened. Which should be concerning considering I'm more than halfway from Heart of the Mountain 7 to 10. I'm just... I'm just saying... I feel like I should have probably experienced this like four or five more times, but whatever. Now I gotta find the corpse. Oh, and look at that. We got two suspicious scrap. Perfect. And we have all four comms done. That was satisfying. All right, we can get out of here now. How much do you, money do you get on average per mine shaft? I don't think it's the sort of thing that can really be averaged that way because it varies so much what you drop. <clears throat> Ooh, we have the one mil combat XP drop. You know what? I'm going to apply it to Kudra because it just barely doesn't have enough. Ooh, should I wait? Chat. I should save that. Because there are many new pets. I should save that. Yeah, let's not redeem that. Tungsten Onyx Aquamarine. Alroydy. Send all the cords in the for the awards on discord i i responded before uh thank you for that i'll check it after stream oh hold on i just realized the microphone was still where i left it when i was eating no wonder people aren't hearing what i'm saying that's my bad just annihilated that soda I didn't hear? Yeah, I think that's my fault. I had the mic in the wrong spot. <clears throat> so it's probably a little muffled. How's progress looking? <laughs> we got a little ways to go, it looks like. Any advice on mining hardstone faster for Yogg? Yeah, wait until the Gone with the Wind event and then face the wind in such a way where you can dig a hole in a straight line through the hardstone insta mining with um, heat slash frame flame breaker armor on. You should have enough mining speed to insta break hardstone during the Gone with the Wind.
did you already upgrade your peak? No. I need a lot of uh, glacite powder. I'm going to be redoing my heart of the mountain tree pretty soon. So it depends. I mean, people are saying you get more glacite powder from just doing commissions versus just breaking the blocks. So I might hold off on peak of the mountain eight for a little bit. Right, we need onyx aquamarine. I suppose I can put my Invisalign trays back in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Get that one XP. I don't pay attention to levels during update time. It's so fluid. Like I can go up another 10 levels in the next two days. Like it doesn't matter. We only pay attention for the big milestones like level level 400. Why did I stop mining the onyx and then just wander away? What is wrong with my attention span? Why do I do this? What are you putting in your mouth? That was an Invisalign tray. It's basically a retainer, but I got to wear it all the time and it makes me lisp. Yeah, I'm enjoying the new update. I like it a lot. Good stuff. Foxy has mining fiesta and we're voting Marina. I think for the first time ever on record, I'm saying this. Maybe that's a good thing. <laughs> I want to get some sleep at regular hours for once. Marina, you need fishing. As if I'm going to do fishing right after a mining update. <laughs> Speaking of fishing, let's get some aquamarine. If I can find it. Last time I played, you were taking a break from the game. How did it go? Oh, for your game. How did it go? Oh, so that was like last year. Yeah. Um, the addiction to Skyblock was set in more than I thought. And I ended up spending most of my break just grinding Skyblock. I'm not proud of it. I have seen the cookie clicker on Alpha. It's starting to get cold in the house. It's a bit cold. I might need my jacket. Tungsten. Oh, right. That's right here. You spent about one fifth of July through December 2022 just playing Skyblock. Oh, I'm sure it's more than that. Well, actually, 2022. That was like. That was when Solo Profile was dying. Was it not? Pretty sure that's when Solo was in its death stage. Because I did not have any content for videos. Also, I stopped caring about the profile after taking contraband. Big mistake. 
Not doing that again. Well, I'll continue to do it on that profile, but no other profiles other than Lemon and Solo are getting contraband. When's the last time you touched Solo? It's been a long time. The last time Derpy was mayor, I was gonna make a video, but I forgot. <laughs> it's been long enough that I bet, you know what I should do? I should log into Solo once Derpy gets elected. <laughs> Cause the past like three months of minions would get doubled. Since I haven't loaded the island at all. 31 will you get a girlfriend? Oh, you're referencing the meme, the thing I said. I see. You think you'll ever do another contraband account with Fezzi? No, if you're gonna do that, we would just go back to Lemon. <laughs> Why no pick obelisks? I haven't reset my heart of the mountain tree yet. And I just wasted my mining speed boost. No. Why do I do this to myself? Why is there no onyx here? No. This lobby kind of sucks. Wasted the entire mining speed boost. Okay, dude's obviously on a rampage mining all of the onyx. Must be new to the update and is trying to get the travel scroll. Yo, Vixen, thank you for the 100 bits. Hey, 30. I was the dude who just left CC. I saw that. Unfortunately, I think I'm gonna be quitting Skyblock at least until foraging update. I just want to say that I appreciate all the content that you've made and the dedication you've made to the, ga made to the game. You also inspired me to start working out and bettering myself. You truly are to go. Peace and love. Hey, man. Hey, congrats on escaping. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad to have been uh, part of the inspiration for the fitness stuff. That's cool. I need to go on my own fitness journey again. I need to do that a second time. Because Iron Man has left me a bit um, hyper-focused on one aspect of my life and I let the others kind of wither away. So I have to <laughs> I have to go start going back to the gym, you know, socializing again. But yeah, hopefully by the time Foraging Update does come out, that it the game is significantly better. So you'd have a good reason to come back. Better upload your progress on the Brandon Calibri's channel. I'd rather just kind of do it. I'd rather just get the fitness journey done, record bits and pieces along the way, and just make a big chunkin' video about it. Do you know other languages? Nope. <laughs> There you go, there's your plus one skyblock XP. Which I realize is probably from Glacite Powder, if I had to guess. He barely speaks English. That's gotta be terrible. Imagine just not learning a language. Like, what would your thoughts sound like to yourself? If that makes sense. I don't know. 
what are thoughts like without words it's a strange concept some people think in pictures and i don't yeah i don't have a mind's eye it's kind of annoying actually like there are I, I learned there are people that you can tell them close your eyes and visualize an apple and then they just see an apple like it's rendered in 3d software like in a video game and it's just there like they can just see it like that's it what that's normal because i just see a whole lot of nothing <laughs> I see a faint apple, but can't really define it. If I focus really hard while an hour and a half post an hour and a half after consuming a gummy, which has certain effects that might make it easier, whatever. I might be able to make out a little bit of red. Like if I visualize an apple, I might get like a blob of the color red, but that's about as far as it goes. So technically, I do have a mind's eye. It's just very, very weak. I think that's called aphantasia. Aphantasia. I'm gonna have to look that one up. Maybe that's why my thoughts are so jumbled is because I can't <laughs> visualize anything in my head. I can think of concepts and I could think like, I can think in logic if that makes sense. So like, I could describe to you how something looks every last detail only because I know that that object has those details, not because I can literally see it in my brain. What is aphantasia? A phenomenon in which people are unable to visualize imagery. While most people are able to conjure an image of a scene or face in their minds, people with aphantasia cannot. Is there like a test for this? Because like I said, I do think I have at least some way to see things. It's just not very strong. Perhaps an activity for another time. Third, you have eyes. You know what I mean. Do you dream? Can you dream? Yes. Not only can I dream, but I can lucid dream. And in those cases, yes. I c it's like I'm playing a video game. But it's only when I'm dreaming. I can't visualize anything in that way while awake. Not even close. I hit Heart of the Mountain 10 and it feels underwhelming. Like I can't do much without maxing collections. Yeah. It would probably make sense if they added like a little area that requires Heart of the Mountain 10 or something to that effect. This is an unfinished update. It's a part one. There's going to be a Glacite V2 if their forum post is to be believed. So it kind of makes sense. casually was like too cold away from dying don't worry about it dreaming happens in a different part of the brain than visualization mm. he doesn't read youtube chat i actually do it's just the fact that twitch chat has been saying the questions that got my attention this past few minutes I can literally imagine myself like in a movie while lying awake in bed. Yeah, no, definitely not. Sounds cool. Wish I could do that. Can't. <laughs> Navigating these caves is much work for me.
I have vivid daydreams? I'm jealous, man. The hell even is a daydream? Like, is it just you imagining things? Or is it, like, actually... Something more than that? You can never tell with these <laughs> definitions sometimes. I can visualize the story before I go to bed, but to be honest, I'd rather lucid dream like you. Well, here's the thing is I don't lucid dream every time. As a matter of fact, it's still decently rare. I just have a more consistent track record with uh, lucid dreaming. Technically, yesterday I did my strategy in order to lucid dream, but by accident. I went to bed for a few hours, woke up, but the only difference is I stayed up for like eight hours. So that probably ruined it. But if I were to sleep for like four hours, stay up for like a half an hour and then go back to bed, that would prime me for lucid dreaming. I still don't really know why that works, but time and time again, it's proven itself to work. How many hours? 4,784 hours on this profile, at least. I love that you're honest about it. Most people tend to get embarrassed for lacking a common trait and therefore try to hide it. I mean, I've reached a point a long time ago where I really don't care that much, especially about something meaningless like that. Where it's like, like, yeah, sure, I don't have a mind's eye. Like, that's cool. But I do have a bunch of other qualities that would, you know, put me a rank up versus some people in terms of whatever task, some tasks, you know? Like, I'd consider myself very good at creating systems, right? Like, that's probably why I want to be a game developer, is that I'm really good at coming up with a way to have a how do you describe a system in a general way min maxing um dealing with edge cases i don't know just coming up with a logic that um automates a task like that's a massive skill of mine <laughs> Whereas communicating with people in public is definitely not one of those strengths at all. But no, I'm pretty much an open book about most things. Like, I'm sure a bunch of people online, like, lie about their height, for example. But, like, me knowing I have nothing to lose by saying this, like, I'm 5'7". That's pretty short for well it's not pretty short it's like it's short-ish it's not that bad but for a guy you know but like it doesn't really matter to me right it doesn't bother me not a lot of things do bother me nowadays other than you know, honestly all the worry that i've <laughs> that i've been experiencing is one thing it's all caused by the stupid algorithm it's all views it's all oh will the channel stay alive like that's the only like i don't have the capacity to worry about anything else It just makes you look buffer. It does. That's like, and that's the thing. Typically there's upsides and downsides and people usually only focus on the downsides with a lot of these things. But yeah, that's an upside of being short is that you get fit way faster and you look more fit for less work. That's just the staple of being a guy that's short. That's an advantage you get. All right, let's stop downtiming. Let's make some more refined umber. There we go. P 
people who really care about height is crazy most guys do and most girls do most people care about height I can't even really be mad anymore when girls in their like Tinder profiles, for example, have like swipe left if under six foot. Like, if anything, it makes things easier for me. It's like, oh, all right, good. Get out of my way then. Like, <laughs> at least for me, typically when I see that, it means that the girl is tall, which would go against my preferences. I'd rather meet someone that's shorter than me by like five inches at least. So like, it's just, a, it just works. It just saves me the effort. Yeah. So like, I'm not even bothered at all. Mm -mm -mm. Don't fish in shallow waters. Is that some fancy wise way to say, don't be shallow when dating? Is that? Is that what that means? I don't know though. I have that autism words. What the hell does that mean? <laughs> that doesn't sound like... That's the first I've heard that term. <laughs> Man, I gotta go get diagnosed. I really want to know for sure if I am neurodivergent or just close to it. I mean, I highly suspect I'm neurodivergent in some way, but it takes effort to go out and get tested, man. I don't even know how to initiate. Do I just go up to my primary care physician and be like, hey, <laughs> you know these personality tests they have going around? Like, can I get one of those? <laughs> or one of them brain tests? Don't get officially diagnosed, it makes healthcare costs more? Really? That doesn't sound legal, if I'm gonna be honest. That does not sound... Yeah, you know what? Let's ask ChatGPT, which is a bit funny to me like it's a better google than google nowadays if i am diagnosed i wasn't typing good job me if i was diagnosed with autism would it make the cost of some health care uh services to increase If you're diagnosed with autism, autism, it may influence the cost of healthcare services in a variety of ways, depending on several factors. Types, type of service required. Okay. Mm, speech therapy, behavioral therapy. Luckily, if that's what I have, I'm not far enough on, on the scale to need any of that. Insurance coverage, the extent to which these costs are felt by you directly can depend significantly on your health insurance plan. Some plans may offer comprehensive coverage for autism related services, potentially including early intervention and long term care. If the insurance coverage is limited, out of pocket expenses might increase. Geographic location, availability of subsidies and programs, and okay. It seems like it only is the case in some situations probably harder to get hired nah bro if it came out that some guy was like a perfect candidate for a job and got rejected because he has like high functioning autism or anything like that dude Twitter would take that and run with it like a hundred miles an hour, bro. Like they are, they would run. They'd be like, hey, look at this terrible company. Look what they did. Give me clout for pointing it out. Cancel culture, woo. 
there's enough people desperate for attention on the internet to point it out and then make a viral tweet out of it. An Australian employer has to hire, has to hire, but spelled like as in above me, <laughs> hire the candidate with a disability if they fit the job. Has to? I don't know if I like that. What if I'm an employer and there's two candidates and one just simply would be better for the job than the other and it has nothing to do with autism, but I'm forced to hire the guy? One guy specific. I don't know, man. I don't really like that president. If, as you wrote it, that sounds kind of unfair for the employer. They should be able to choose on the merit of the job, which unfortunately, I don't know if we could trust people to do that. It sounds like both solutions aren't great. The UK has a law that you can't say no based on illness, sexuality. In that case, just stop asking in the applications, no? Shouldn't, none of that's relevant to the job. It shouldn't impact it. That's just, a, I don't know. I have to recognize that people don't think the way I do. They have their biases and for some reason they believe them even though it gets proven wrong all the time, but sure, I guess. Oh, Luter, they give her the two. Sorry, I missed that, the two euros. Here is money for mortgage. Bits are too expensive. Hey, if, if it's expensive at any point to donate the 230 virus, then you shouldn't be donating. I can't speak. You shouldn't be donating to 30 bars. There we go. Um, but no, don't feel bad if you can't do that. That's fine. I'd rather you be more financially stable than me myself getting a donation. Redunes has actually played Skyblock. I can I check Skycrypt. <laughs> It's funny you bring up Radoons. I was messaging him earlier. Earlier today. Oh, thank you for that Prime sub, by the way. Asker, but spelled with a Z. I don't know how to pronounce that properly without almost swearing. <laughs> thank you for the Prime. I can donate, but my PayPal is still blocked, bro. I gotta pay with Google Play cards. That whole situation was such a pain. For those that don't know, I um I put up a bounty a while ago for like offering a hundred bucks to whoever could put together all the clips for 30 virus out of context three. Cause I just didn't have the time to go rooting around all the videos and streams to find out of context moments. And Looter decided to do it. And sure enough, the video came out great. All the clips were funny. It was a great time. And then I'm like, all right, time to pay out the clip bounty. So I send a hundred bucks over PayPal and then Luna's PayPal gets suspended. <laughs> so he has to send it back. And then instead, what we ended up doing is I, um, I ordered one of the desk mats, the mouse pads, and I signed it and sent it, which ended up being a ton more expensive by the way, international shipping is something I should have thought about before promising to do that. Alright, let's find some umber. Where is umber? Right here. and spoke from lifesteal he made a whole video out of getting hyperion on an smp server bruh <laughs> oh man i if i could find a way to get the rest of the minecraft community like the normie side to be interested in skyblock i think i would just win life I'd get enough ad revenue in one month to retire. <laughs> <laughs> and
and then I keep going because retirement doesn't sound like fun. I'm gonna be honest. I would just stress out less about work. <laughs> no normies in Skyblock. Hey, we need the fish brains, bro. We need them. As much as we make fun of them, we need them. This game needs players. Aha! Get wrecked, idiot. Just killed a fly. Did you just make waypoints or get them from somewhere? Uh, someone sent me a screenshot and then I manually put them in. Is there a way to refresh, obtain fairy souls in BLC? It's showing me ones I've already found when I wanted to update. I don't believe so, sorry. Especially if the fairy souls moved. Then BLC kind of has no choice but to just show them to you all again. Show them all to you again. Did you fix your sleep schedule after Fiesta? I guess we'll find out. I, I would say probably yes. Because I woke up at midnight this morning. So I've been up for 18 hours now. Hmm. That's about as long as a typical waking day is. So if I manage to stay awake until about like 10, 11 p.m., then we're home free. So I got to survive another four hours. I, as of now, I feel fine. I don't, I don't feel tired at all. Then again, I had a good amount of caffeine today. But then again, it was in the morning. So it's probably wearing off by now. Progression check one moment once I get this How long does it take to unlock the recipes for the keys? Well, if you count up all the hours I spent doing this while live, plus maybe six hours on top of that that I did off stream, we're about a quarter way. Actually, no. Oh, 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 hold on. Oh, we're halfway to the plates. Wait a minute. Oh, wait. Oh, hold on. The keys are cheaper than I thought. For some reason, I thought that the... For some stupid reason, I thought the keys were made with plates, not with the refined. That's good news, I guess. Hmm. Noise. I just about to... Bwah.
I wonder how realistic it is for me to just get Heart of the Mountain 10 today. Is that like a thing I could do? I mean, I guess it is considering people did it day one. 300K more XP, bro. 300K, that's so much XP. Did you wash your hands? Didn't need to. I didn't touch nothing. It's a pro gamer move. Oh, I didn't read those donos that I, um, that were from the start of stream that I said I would reread. Hold on, let me go back. Um, from, I, it was the Ethereal MC, right? I did Heart of the Mountain 10 from Glacite, so you, your skill issued, I guess. <laughs> Hot M10 when? I do remember reading those, but it must have just been at a time when, I don't know. Oh, you're still here. Hey. But yeah, thank you for those donuts again. Uh, if you didn't hear me the first time, many thanks for that. No, never feel bad for pointing out that I missed a dono. Speaking of, Kiwa. Thank you for gifting that sub. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Uh, Onyx gemstone. Maybe if I didn't take like three minutes to actually redeem the stupid commission, then maybe we can make progress. <laughs> Ooh, mine shaft. Okay, I have to do that. I like the Nick Hyder name or the Nick the nickname Yellow and Old. <laughs> Yellow and Old. Really just took two words and put and in the middle. Oh, we just got a scrap from that. Look at that. Nice. That's kind of lucky actually. Okay. I'll take it. How about some more of the power stone, huh? I wish you can open that chest. Do you know if BLC added a fossil mod? They're working on it. I made sure to point it out to... Um, the doors as soon as I could that that's a thing they need to do bro navigating these stupid things is so annoying oh oh speaking of hey glacite shard let's go That's five out of nine. I think we got this. We'll definitely get it. First, I gotta find this other corpse though. Where is it at? Why are these so hard to find? For no good reason. Is that him? Yes, it is. I will mine some mithril. Did you get scrap? Yes, I did just now. <laughs> ah. Gotta love that timing. That was kind of an RNG carried um, mine shaft, not gonna lie. If I got three from breaking blocks instead of just the one, <laughs> that then this would really be an RNG carried lobby. You get two to four. 
I don't think that's how that works, bro. I don't know why I just... I am being such a small brain. I keep forgetting the rules of the game as I play it. <laughs> I treated it like a teleport pad. What am I doing? Onyx Peridot Tungsten. How do you get to the Glacier Tunnels? There's, um, there's an NPC in, like, the overhang area in the castle like once you enter the castle if you're looking at the king's table turn right and there's a door leading outside <laughs> and that outside has a dude sitting there you talk to him and you initiate everything Dirty, you know how I helped you with so many blegs? I now have, and I have 300 plus blue eggs collected total. That part I didn't know. Damn. I have no 655. There's no way, bro. <laughs> There's genuinely no freaking way that you have 300 blue goblin eggs eggs but not a six you don't have a six five five bro what is, what is this what is this how he uses gauntlet okay to be fair is it for ping reasons because that i kind of get i have 250 right now i threw 54 blags for bestiary that's just straight up a crime that is a crime, bro. What? Nah. There is nothing that would make throwing a blue um, a blue egg worth it. Except for straight up just dropping something worth like millions of coins. That's so bad. Why, Why would you throw blue eggs? That's a crime. I'm assuming you're on Iron Man. Otherwise, if you're not on Iron Man, then I have no words. I am, don't worry. Yeah, yeah, I figured. I was about to say, there's no way a sane person would do that on a regular profile. It's just, nah. Except Future 77, maybe. I bet he would do it if it meant he can get a video out of it. You know what would be interesting? Hey, someone should clip this and send it to Future 77. Hyper maxed, all enchantments, best reforged for various tasks. Hyper maxed bat person armor. And then experiment with like, what's the most interesting gameplay you can get out of tripling your stats during a spooky festival or quadrupling, whatever it is. Probably tripling. Do like, Pesterminator 5 on the full set. Try like spawning five pets at once or like <laughs> do like I don't even know, bro. Fire trial. <laughs> See how much health you can get. Nah, it's dumb. What are some interesting tests you could do with the tripling of stats on that person? Because I do feel like there's some interesting gameplay that could stem from that. Even if it's not like meta, it would still be like kind of oddly funny or interesting. Mushroom armor exists. I mean, hypermaxed mushroom armor. Well, the thing is, hypermaxed bat person, when recommed, bat person's mythic. 
so you'll be tripling much better reforge stats Ghosts? Maybe ghosts, yeah. Try it as a maid set, try it as a melee set. I don't know why I'm blanking so bad on these locations. With waypoints, by the way. Oh, another mine shaft. Let's go. No! 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 Let me in! Oh! I thought it disappeared! Oh! I thought I waited too long, but it was just lag. God. There is one Lapis Corpse to loot here. This is a large uh, cavern here. I might struggle a bit to find the corpse. Never mind. Looks like somebody fell off the edge. Unfortunate. So mine the gemstones, you say, Luther. Okay. Well, so far I haven't gotten a scrap, which is a bit unfortunate. I've broken a lot of blocks, a lot more than I usually break in these tunnels. Where's RNG radius? I don't know, man. How much want to bet if I start breaking the glaze side, I'll drop a, <laughs> a scrap. Just because the game is being difficult for no reason. It would appear the YouTube stream, we, we might hit an inflection point soon. Oh no, both streams kind of died a little bit in viewership. Makes sense. Not the most exciting topic. I was about to say the Twitch and the YouTube streams might hit the same amount of viewership, but nope. It 
Is Yogg with max kills good for farming commissions up the heart of the mountain six with Pico Nimbus? Uh, I mean, you can, but like, that sounds like you probably wouldn't have fun with it. I don't know. Do you not get Yogg with max kills? 30 did it for title, just don't do it. I mean, yeah. I mean, it's not the worst if you find a spot where they spawn frequently. It's not that terrible. And you do need to max your Yogg Beast area at some point, but it is 5,000 kills, which is a bit steep. Thirty did it also because it's thirty. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I'll take credit where it's like, ah, yes, it was a part of his master plan with content. But really, sometimes I just don't think. I just do things. <laughs> like there was no logical reason for me to like get. I don't know the ridiculously high level of attributes that I have on my equipment for slayers. If I just went and did blaze slayer without worrying about attributes at all, I'd probably be a blaze nine by now. <laughs> but now I have a goaded set of equipment that I can use anytime they add a new slayer to the game. So maybe not the worst thing. Yeah, better stuff than Fearless. Yeah, I think that's a sign that I went a little far. Huh. <laughs> Not to mention my entire equipment set is also 10 starred Vanquished Recommed. Like, I went way too hard on that equipment. <laughs> if I put the same amount of effort into a piece of armor, then, or into a set of armor, then I might have even been like close to Infernal. Ooh. Not to mention you talked about going 10-10 in guild chat. I did because uh, Glowstone Gauntlet is not a grind. That's just waiting on the minion. Also, I'm about to freeze to death. Can he survive? 98. Ah, 99. I survived. Haha. <laughs> I lived. Mm -mm -mm. Pair dot. Do you read YouTube chat? Yes. I have a feed for all chats. Hey, can we make this like one of those um, things that people just reply with? Like there's, for example, when people ask about the texture pack, someone usually is able to use the Nightbot command and link them. Can people just like, whenever people question like what chats I'm reading slash ignoring, can someone just tell them like, hey, he's reading all of them. Can titanium spawn in the tunnel veins? Yes. There actually is a titanium uh, mine shaft. I have some footage of one. I saw it uh, yesterday off stream. All right, let's actually try to break blocks here. There we go. Well, can you read my last message? Cause it's important. Now, don't take this the wrong way, but I have a guess as to what it is. And if it's what I'm guessing it is, I'm not going to be able to help you. Hold on. Calling it now. Oh, I, I some guy took all my items. How do I report to admin? No, I'm, let me see. 
Uh, let's go back. My little chat preview thing can't scroll, which is a, a bit of an L. So I have to look at the other thing. Hold on. You're gonna have to say the message again. It, it's it's lost. You know, uh, I'll just copy paste it again. Oh, okay, there it is. Hey, thirty. You know how the efficiency ten pick name was changed? Oh, for the video? Yeah, yeah. I was the one to say that. I hope you got a good laugh out of it. Oh, okay. I did. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you for that because you're the reason that the title's accurate. <laughs> I saw that uh, Discord ticket, I, and like I said, no offense for the assumption, because most people when they say they have something important to tell me, it's to report that they got hacked or something and then it's inevitably the same answer every time it's like well i'm not staff i can't help you i'm sorry and even then yeah another mine shaft hello well, that's kind of rng right there hmm And there's three lapis corpses. Ooh. There's three dead bodies to loot. <laughs> to desecrate. To steal their stuff. Does that make me a grave robber? No, because there's no grave. They just died. It's a technicality. Well, we looted all three. Well, in the last mine shaft, I only did gemstones. In this one, we're gonna do only glacite, and let's see. Let's see if I get a scrap. Gemstones 30. It didn't work last time. Yes, but it would be two, three, or four. <sighs> Just watch. It's going to be a whole lot of nothing again. <laughs> I'm trying to join botnet, but YouTube won't let me. Rip. How rare are the scraps? They're decently rare. After probably at this point, like 20 hours of gameplay, I've only gotten like 25, 27, somewhere in that range. Does 30 read kick chat as well? Yes. Although there's like no one there, so it's very rare to see a kick message. My entire screen is an even mix of YouTube and Twitch chatters right now. There we go. Hey, Luda, you're right. I got two. GG. Well, at least that proves to me personally. I was, I don't know. 
for a bit there, I was questioning whether or not they drop it all from gemstones, but that, that proved it for me right there. I was right, you were wrong. Well, it's not that I was wrong. I was just... <sighs> I was, I don't know, speculative because I had been burned before by this update and it's weird, um, rumors. I'm not sure what's real. Aquamarine is this way. I think I'm gonna take today as a tolerance day when it comes to the gummies. It's gonna have nothing. Although, <laughs> that's gonna mess with the sleep schedule because I guarantee you that's gonna make it hard to pass out. But hey, it is what it is. I'm from YouTube chat because you said that there were no messages from Kick. Hello. I wanted you to feel better. Oh, it doesn't matter. It's fine. Uh, Kick is the alt stream, if anything. It's where people go if they don't want ads, essentially. It's a QOL thing for the viewers. That said, I should probably get alerts working in case someone does decide to sub on Kick because that's currently not working. So for all I know, someone subbed like two hours ago and I have no idea. <laughs> Let me make sure that didn't happen, actually. Okay, not a single person has ever subbed on there yet. I wonder if Streamlabs has support for it already. Probably. <sighs> What's the kick? No, no, not that kick. No, no, not the, not the app. Not the messaging app. The streaming app. Spelled like kick, as in like kickball. The sport. That kind of kick. <laughs> Have you played kickball before? What kind of question is that? Might as well ask, have you ever gone to high school in the United States? <laughs> like... <laughs> I feel like it'd be weirder to find someone that's never played kickball than to find someone that, that has. Then again, I have a very United States centric view of the world. So maybe it's not as popular in other parts of the world. Who knows? Not me. <sighs> Check. Hatem XP. I'm gonna guess I still need 270k. Nope, more than that. 285k. Is kickball softball, but you kick it. Pretty much, yeah. It's very fun, especially when you are genetically gifted in the leg strength department like I am. I had an unfair advantage. I, I'm never gonna forget the last day of high school. We played kickball in the gym with a volleyball 
And when I kicked that thing, it sounded like a gunshot. Everyone ducked. It slammed into the wall. Home run. Into the back wall, the upper half, which is considered a home run. <sighs> Why am I yawning so much all of a sudden? Oh, wait. Perhaps because I literally said 30 minutes ago that I just hit 18 hours of being awake. Huh. No wonder I'm tired. Maybe because my body thinks it's the end of the day. <laughs> when it is not. I am thinking, actually, it might be a good idea to just straight up <laughs> end stream soon. And then just kind of... Put on a movie or a YouTube video or something because I might not have the energy to stream another like six hours. <laughs> I don't know. At what point will you not need to wake up in the middle of the night for a fiesta? I mean, once I hit a billion gold collection, which is roughly another seven to eight days straight, not 24 hour days, 16 hour, 12 to 16 hour days. Uh, it would take roughly about a week of those. And then I would have a billion gold collection and an additional, since I'm at like 600 mil, 1.6 billion? That doesn't sound right. Each gold sells for four coins. And if I need 400K, then yeah, 1.6 billion. Yes, 1.6 billion I would make from doing that, I guess. On top of the 1.9 billion I have, plus another 500 mil that's probably gonna come from Garden. Because I'll max out Composter and Visitors long, well, not long before Milestones, but long enough that it's like, at least like 40 hours of gameplay. So like a casual 500 mil. Read me last message. And what was that, Luther? Would you be so kind to upgrade the scrap perk that gives you more chance of scrap? Yeah, I probably should do that. Although I like Surveyor as well. What movie are you thinking about watching? I don't know. There's a... I have a list I maintain now. It Finally, I have a list of all the movies that are, like, really well-received or really popular or, like, classics ingrained in the culture that I haven't seen. I have a list. And I think I'm going to pick from that list tonight. I'm trying to think. I started the stream halfway through tier nine. So maybe if I put a movie on while doing this off camera, I can get it to like maybe 300K tonight and then we can finish Heart of the Mountain 10 tomorrow, yeah? Someone just partied and warped me into housing for a Discord ratting scam. Didn't fall for it. Housing needs to be removed. How does that work? Do they have like a link on a sign or something like? That's a bot. That's not a person. What? What are you? What are you talking about? They warp you and then auto paste some message. Yeah, but do you still have to click on it? You trying to slide that list of the movies? Oh, I think I know what happen what people do. So what they'll do is they'll send a message in chat and because of certain commands or whatever, you can insert color codes and make it look like an official high pixel like plugin message. And then oh 
So they would, so what they would do is warp you in and then immediately paste a message that looks something like, oh, you need to verify your iPixel account. People suck, bro. Like genuinely. I think we need a special punishment for scammers. I don't know what the hell it would be. It would have to be like some ironic punishment. Jail would be too easy. What's a humorous and also fitting punishment? <laughs> For those kind of people. Legally speaking. How do we punish them? Just have the word scammer like tattooed on their forehead. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yo, thank you for that botnet membership. I don't know why I said that. Thank you for joining <laughs> Pro Fox Dude 90. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I think tattooing the word scammer on someone's forehead would be considered cruel and unusual punishment, but man, would it be satisfying. Imagine if you could just look at someone and know right away if they're a piece of crap. <laughs> like, that'd be kind of nice. You just look at them and you're like, oh, I don't want to associate with you. You have scammer tattooed on your forehead. My bits? Oh, sorry, Jaden. Thank you for the 100 bits. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> How do I keep missing these, man? You know what's funny? I, I could technically, if I wanted, code a mod that hooks into, like, the Streamlabs API and then show one of those banner things on screen saying stream don't know. <laughs> that would be a bit overkill. But that sounds like something I would do, doesn't it? I would be the type of person to spend hours coding a system to solve a problem that really only costs me a few minutes each time it happens. Not even each time it happens. You need a poke machine? <laughs> I've yet to hear that term before. You didn't even check Discord? What? Your Skyblock level 367 and don't have a 655. Why, why do you make this difficult for yourself, Jaden? It's not that much effort to do compared to the benefit you get. It is a very good thing to do for your profile. I came from YouTube, went to kick, now I'm at Twitch. <laughs> You're trying out all the platforms, see which one you like the most. Yeah, so far, at least by the numbers, YouTube is winning. That's not a surprise. But Twitch has a surprisingly strong second place. Like, I don't know. With those numbers, even if I had no other income from any other sources, I could probably make Twitch streaming work with that viewer count and maintain my lifestyle. That's crazy, dude. Have I mentioned that I'm appreciative of the fact that you guys care about my opinions on this game or care to watch me play this game at all <laughs> just the fact that you even know i exist at all <laughs> despite being in some cases thousands of miles away it's cool it's the power of the internet
you used to live in the same country as me? Oh, county. I was about to say country. I haven't ever lived outside of the U.S. Like, wait a minute. I think I worship your words a little too much. Yeah, don't do that. I'm trying to think of some of the worst takes I've had that I've changed my mind on over the years. Hmm. It's been a good number of them. I'd like to think though that I try not nowadays. I try not to speak too much on topics I don't know anything about to prevent me from just saying bad takes. Like I'd rather do some research on a topic before I speak with any sort of authority on it. And because of that, I tend to be right more often than I'm wrong. Just because if I would be wrong, I just don't say anything. <laughs> the first armor tier list incident. Which one? What are they doing? The first armor tier list. Can you moderate your chat real quick? What? Um, oh, we have a spammer. Goodbye. Yeah, if I don't read your message, it's not because I'm ignoring you. It's because I missed it. But if you spam that message and I don't read it, then yes, I'm ignoring you because you are breaking the chat rules. <laughs> Real talk 30 ops on homework. I don't know what that means. <laughs> uh... Opinions. Oh. Yeah, homework as a concept sucks, actually. I kind of blame, in part, my mental health struggles on homework. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> like, I don't know. The anxiety, the feeling like I never have time for myself, feeling like I could never truly turn off. I'm always thinking about what I could be doing to be productive 24 hours a day. And it started with homework. And I hate it for that. I genuinely cannot currently be in the moment. Unless <laughs> I rely on substances to do so, which is obviously not a good thing. And it really sucks, you know? I can't just be at a party and exist. I have to be at that party and in my head be like, oh, the video is a 10 out of 10. I got to redo the title and thumbnail. Oh, if I switch it to this, will that help? Oh, in this video that's coming up, I got to do about 60 hours of grinding before I come up with it. Oh, yeah. What should the title for that video be? Like, it just never stops, bro. It never stops. It's all the time, all day, every day. I can't. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know how to fix it. Sometimes I wish that it was a nine to five where once I clock out, that's it. I don't have to think about it until I clock back in, you know? Yeah, it's, uh, it's definitely, that's the mental health struggle that I'm currently dealing with. I need to learn to be more in the moment and be okay with not being productive. Like I need to stare in the face a day that I spent absolutely nothing doing that day and then be like, that was fun. I enjoyed that. And then not feel guilty. Like that would be progress. Mm -hmm. 
I've been getting better in the past few weeks, mainly because I, the mental health kind of bottomed out. It hit a point where it was pretty bad. Probably induced by 16 hours a day of farming for two weeks. <laughs> That'll do it. Therapy works for a lot of people. Mm. I'm one of those people that thinks that therapy can't fix me. I'm too introspective as it is. I feel like there's nothing they could say that I haven't already thought about, you know? I'm here at long last. I found the right kick. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Farming isn't that bad, though. Say that after you've spent a thousand hours on the garden, then get back to me. <laughs> And then tell me all about how great farming is. Eleven whole kick viewers? Hell yeah, brother. You know the silver lining with kick? I'm not sure if there's a minimum viewer count for their, quote, salary that they're going to offer. It might just be hours spent streaming per month. If that's the case, then I might get a salary on top of everything else. Just for streaming on kick. Should be kind of cool. I'm fighting my demons right now, trying not to end stream and then just vegetate in my chair. Somewhere over here. Has he ever fallen asleep on stream? It has yet to happen. Someday, perhaps, it will. But I have yet to fall asleep on stream. Didn't feel this fall asleep while doing Cata 50. I think I vaguely remember that. I'm not sure if it was fearless though. I do recall somebody fell asleep mid run and had to, it might've been Yappy. I feel like that was Yappy. <laughs> Someone has a clip of it. I don't remember who it was, but it was 15 H. <laughs> oh yeah, it was. It was 15 H. Dude just passes out mid run. <laughs> That's intense. That's wild. I can't even imagine, bro. In the middle of a dungeon run, like what? Oh my God. Dude, I would have that clip like pinned on my Twitter if it was me that had that happen. That's so funny. Oh my God. You know, I hope someday I do pass out by accident on stream just so I have the clip because that sounds absolutely hilarious. How would people wake me up though? <laughs> the loudest thing available would be TTS. I don't think Brian, if I'm able to pass out in my chair, I don't think Brian's waking me up. I'm gonna be honest because like I'm the type of person where it takes a lot of effort to get to <laughs> get me to sleep. So if it's that bad where I'll fall asleep on stream, I'm probably out. Lobby snipe and bongo staff. 
it wouldn't it would barely make any noise because my volume is so low in game especially with the discord or the background music too i almost said discord because i read the word discord in chat you ever do that where you're talking and then you just randomly speak out loud a word that you saw by accident that just happened Imagine your, your next viewer peak is you sleeping. That's not possible, like straight up. I don't think I'm ever hitting 16k viewers again. I'm gonna be honest. Maybe if I tell works out, maybe I'll have 16k. That's a lot of pressure. Imagine 16,000 people just watching you sleep in your chair at the same time. No, you took it all. How dare you? How long is your cookie buff for? <laughs> I love how people are commenting on that now. I'm pretty sure at one point it was nearly two years. But a year passed. Wow. Umber and just Umber, okay. Mm. What's your goal for this stream? Well, I am planning on... <sighs> I don't know if I have a goal for this stream. I kind of already beat the goal for this stream, which was Heart of the Mountain 9. I guess the goal in general is just Heart of the Mountain 10, grinding enough powder so that I can get a good amount of scrap, get enough scrap so that I can get all the pets, upgrade my Heart of the Mountain enough so that once I spend all the scrap, I get a high value back. So we got a good bit to do here. It's probably going to be another stream or two of these commissions. Then hopefully we can move on to something else. Like farming. I'll do that off screen. Off screen. I'll do all the rest of farming off camera. Except for like the last hour of it. You know what? I mean, a seven hour stream is still a really good effort. Not gonna lie. Oh, Samuel the Muso. They give it the 200 bits. Hey, good to see you again, Mr. Virus. Glad the devs have thrown, have thrown you a bone. Honestly, holy crap. They threw us a bone and now we're getting minimum two videos out of it. Minimum. Um, I might send Fezzy the clips from this stream as well to make the video a bit better. I'm not sure. It depends how many clips there are and it depends how long the video already is. I just missed looting five. Oh, that hurts. Ah, yeah, that, mmm my condolences i would be quite angry did i just say angry in 2024 what is wrong with me let's forget that ever happened <laughs> mr power seven yeah i dropped like literally four of those Clipped. Uh huh. Great. <laughs> Do you ever get scared you'll lose your job if Skyblock dies? I think about that every day. I have been thinking about that every day 
since July 1st, 3rd? What day is Canada Day? <laughs> I know this sounds really out of context. <laughs> what day is Canada Day? Whatever that day was in 2021 was the day that they announced that Hytale was getting delayed again. And that's when the content drought finally set in for real in Skyblock. Ever since that day, I've been like, well, technically even earlier than that. I'm pretty sure when I dropped out in the video where I announced I was dropping out of college, the concern of content drought was brought up. That's insane. Chat, you know that was like four years ago? <laughs> four years ago, I was like, yeah, I don't know long term if this YouTube thing is going to work out with the content, but we're going to try it anyway. Oof. Well, it worked, mostly. At the cost of my mental health, but hey, it worked. Ish. No, I can't even say that. It did. It definitely worked. You guys have brought me the best opportunity of my entire life. Like, literally with this. So, like, I can't complain. That said, I can't complain about the anxiety, though. <laughs> Don't you have coding if Skyblock fails? That is true. But what also is true is the fact that GPT-5 is probably coming out sometime in the next six months. I'm just saying. <laughs> what power stone best for damage? Beating heart or forceful? Of those two? Well, it depends what you're trying to do. If you're in dungeons... I mean... The thing is, Bloody has a good combo of... It is a nice, healthy balance of strength and crit damage, right? But Forceful overall gives better stats. Unless you're doing something that also requires mana, in which case I would just go with Bloody. But if not, maybe Forceful? I'm being such a fish brain right now. Peridot. It's this way. It's somewhere. It's one of these. Nope. I'm a complete noob. What do you do with Ruby to make money? You sell it to NPC. So, for example, there's 22 fine Ruby gemstones. I have cookie buffs, so I could just directly sell it here. Imagine the catastrophe that would happen. This was a third of a video from like three years ago. Imagine what would happen if they just straight up got rid of selling to NPC. For coin. Like if that entire mechanic was just yeeted. give them ideas I have an interesting question to ask of chat if you already know my age, you can't answer this question. If you don't know my age, guess. <laughs> Based on my appearance, I guess, or other factors you can think of. <laughs> I'm curious. 69. 
I literally asked you last stream. I know, that's why I'm asking only the people that don't know, <laughs> that weren't there yesterday. I know your age, but 33. Uh-huh. <laughs> Chris, 30 virus. The answer's 26. <laughs> Man, there's a lot more answers that are above the age of 26 than below the age of 26. You look early 20s? Oh, good. <laughs> That's good, at least. Now, perhaps I should probably pay attention to a game. So that I can get stuff. It's the beard. Oh, dude. God, if I didn't, if I shaved the beard, it's not, well, first of all, it's not really a beard. It's just kind of a, what even is this? Is this a goatee, but it's a goatee, but with more on the side. Like if I got rid of this, then it's just a goatee, but there's like more. I don't know what to call this. I don't know what to call this style. I just. It just looks good, so that's how I do it. I, I just don't know what it's called if it has a name. <laughs> Stubble. But it's been shaped this way. It's not like that's just how it happens to be. <laughs> Goatee plus plus. <laughs> Goatee version 2. You know what's a bit funny? I forgot. No, um... <laughs> you know what's funny is that, um... When I started to grow facial hair, I remember my dad told me, it was like, yeah, you're gonna have to start shaving now. Time to pick your... the style you're gonna use. And little did I know that that afternoon... I would just randomly be like, hmm, which parts of my facial hair are the healthiest looking with the least patches? Let's focus on that. So I got rid of, I got rid of like everything above this line. I, I get rid of this and, and the, the unibrow <laughs> and under the chin. I, I cut it so that it lines up with the jawline to exaggerate it. Not that it needs to be exaggerated, but it helps, I guess. Might as well play to my strengths, am I right? Yeah, I'd say in that way, probably my best quality visually is my face. Otherwise, I feel... It's probably body dysmorphia, but I don't feel great about my body. I just feel awkward about it. I don't know. It's weird. Bro is seven hours in. In my 27 years, I don't think I've been able to play a game for three hours straight, let alone seven. Oh God, what was my longest play session? Hey chat, does anyone remember a particularly insane play session? I still think to this day, the most extreme session I have. Have you ever thought of doing other games or different servers on Minecraft oh for God. content droughts? And have you ever played or wanted to play D&D? There was no warning whatsoever. There was no notification, just Brian. Oh, God. Thank you for the, that hooligan, you just sent $20, man. Thank you for that. Hey, thank you, hooligan. Have I thought about other games? 
for content? I mean, I've thought about it, yes, but man, every time I've tried, it just doesn't work. <laughs> oh man, if I, uh, if I wanted to play D and D, I've been offered by multiple people to get into D and D. I don't know. I feel like I'd have to really be in an agreeable state of mind, if you know what I mean. I just feel like me, my personality, I, I don't know. I'm pretty slow to adopting new games. I'm pretty open to change in a lot of aspects of my life, but entertainment is not one of them. I am very slow to adopt new, new games. 3D doesn't like roleplay. Well, that's the other thing, right? Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. It's basically a make it up as you go adventure. Well, it's not really. My roommate does D and D campaigns. Uh, from based on what I understand, there's like an overarching story, but the specifics are determined by the people. But also, the core mechanic, right, is that it's turn based, and then when it comes time for your turn. You announce your intentions and then roll the 20 sided die and then according to where it lands is how well the thing you set out to do went so to speak right so let's say th this is my guess as someone who's never played so let's say the scenario is that there's a dragon protecting gold and you gotta slay it and it's your turn so you decide all right i'm gonna try and run up to the dragon and slice it in the throat with my sword and then you roll the dice and if you roll a one you just get eaten alive dead if you roll a 20 then you trip over a rock throw the sword on accident hits it in the eye stabs it in the brain instant kill <laughs> yes no Not quite. <laughs> eh, maybe someday. I'm not going to say never with D&D, uh, &D, but I have a feeling I'd have to... Again, I'd have to be in a different state of mind, if you know what I mean. In that case, I'd probably enjoy it. It's a little too far on both ends. Hmm. Why did I run away from the tungsten without getting the commission? It's stupid. That's essentially how it works. Yeah, it, so yeah. But when it comes to other games, I mean, I've been gunning for Hytale for a long time. It's like, <laughs> well, I'm not gunning for it because Nothing I do is going to make the game come out sooner. I've been hoping for Hytale, is what I'll say. Because the key is, to make content for a different game, you need to find something that has overlap with your current audience. I need to find something that has a near-perfect overlap with Hypixel Skyblock, and I just don't think there is such a thing other than Hytale. And even then, it's not everybody. Nowadays, most people probably don't even know what Hytale is in this community. Is Peridot more rare or why is it so much more expensive? I think it's because it is the highest demand out of any of the new gemstones because people are lazy and like to farm for money. And uh, Peridot gives farming fortune. <laughs> So I don't think it's at all how easy it is to get. It's how high the demand is. What better thing than another game roped in a Hypixel? You say that like it's a bad thing, but like Hypixel's the only reason I still play Minecraft. And that's been the case since 2017. I don't know. I have high praise for Hypixel because like they could be like every other company and just crap out an update like just 
for the sake of the schedule. But I don't know. Hypixel tends to take their time, and once they release something, it makes a, a big splash in the community. Oh, I meant that to be a good thing? Oh, good. <laughs> But no, Hypixel makes good stuff. Except for the garden. But we all make mistakes. Oh, hello. Hi. Do you want to see a Heidi stream? Hello. No, you don't get to do that. Yeah. You don't get to get my attention then run away. There he is. Hey, hey, hey. Why are you trying to push away? Look over the camera. Look. See you. There you go. He looks grumpy. He thought he could, he thought he could check in on me and then yell at me and run away. But I got him before he could do that. Hello. He's doing that, that angry tail wag. Like it's not an excited or a curious tail wag. It's a, I'm looking for my escape and I'm a little angry tail wag. Hello. Do you want to leave? And there he goes. <laughs> Yo, Jaden, thank you for the 100 bits. Ha, this time I saw it right away. Bro, ding dong ditched. Yeah, he tried to, but it wasn't going to happen. Does your cat go outside? No, neither of them do. I have two cats. Indoor cats only. You think I want to deal with them getting hit by cars and getting in fights with other cats and getting fleas? No thanks. Having to give them baths constantly because they keep getting dirty because they go outside where the dirt is. <laughs> nah. So much easier to just have house cats. Alligators? Oh, yeah, they did. They'd... I feel like these two wouldn't last a month. We're still at like 250k collection of each of the two new materials that aren't gems. Cat gang violence is wild in Florida. <laughs> Cat gang violence. Interesting. Honestly, that can go either way. Maybe it's a joke message. Maybe it's serious. I, I honestly can't tell. There was a tiger on the loose in Jacksonville. What? I mean, surely it's because it got loose from like a circus or something, right? <laughs> I'm being for real? God. Cat gang signs. Not gonna lie, I'm hoping to see the jump scare in 30 Vars out of context. 
Hey, if you want something in 30 virus out of context, someone's got to clip it and put it in the Discord. Because that's how the videos are made. That's how we find the clips. And sometimes we go a year or two before a new entry in the series. So it's really important to get clips whenever something out of context does actually happen. We got to put together a squad of people that like clip every potential content moment. <laughs> They, you know what Twitch needs to do? I mean, there's a lot of things Twitch needs to do, but you know one thing that annoys me that they should do? They should make it so that clips require you to give them a custom name. N none of this default, the title of the stream BS. Force the person making the clip to name it so that you know what the hell happened in the clip. Because... I will try to look through the clips to find the good ones, and it's just an ocean of a whole bunch of clips that are just the name of the stream, and nothing happens. It's like they click the button by accident or something. It's so annoying. I figured out you would have mods to do it. I mean, I don't really like to burden people. So having like a massive staff team that's like volunteer, I don't know. There's some people on staff, obviously, like moderators, but like it's very rare that they'll be in stream. Just because they're from so long ago, they didn't even watch Skyblock a lot of the staff. They were like Subiocraft players or survival island viewers modded minecraft viewers legacy 30 virus before skyblock happened i wonder what percentage of my viewers now are from that time i'd say probably like one percent two percent I might make a little compilation of you saying weird words in your first stream for mining v3. Go for it. Where is this lapis guy? Oh, I'm sure. Oh, hey, a corpse is going to be in there. <laughs> there he is. Get some sleep, please. Well, here's the reality. I can't go to sleep if I wanted to until at least like 10 p.m. Otherwise, I'm not going to make any progress with fixing my sleep schedule. You know, it's funny. <laughs> Cole's probably going to get elected like two mares from now and I'm going to wreck it again. Just watch. Mm-hmm. Are the Glacier Tunnels just Crystal Hollows, but more late game? Ah, uh, yes and no. It's mining. There's glass. <laughs> How many scraps so far? I think like 29? 31. I guess the goal is 400 of them, because statistically that's how long it's going to take to get... Um, Paleontologist 5, if our math familiar in the stream is correct. I miss old, sometimes cringy 30, 
Dude, you know what I absolutely hate about my old content? To this day, I still don't know why. I have theories as to why. But like in old videos, like from 2016 and before, I had this awful tendency to just randomly talk in like a baby voice. Like as if I'm talking to a baby. I don't know why the hell that was just one of my things I randomly just did subconsciously. I'm so glad that that's not a thing I do anymore. It was so cringe. No, not the actual wording, just the like, I'd say a normal sentence, but like as if I was talking to like a child, if that makes sense. Like that mannerism, tone of voice. And no, I'm not going to give you an example. You can go and find that on your own. Nope. I'm sure there's plenty of Survival Island episodes where I did that. Also, to be fair, I wasn't that great at articulating myself in general. So maybe it wasn't... Well, I don't think it was intentional, but maybe it just sounded that way when it wasn't meant to be that way. Who knows? It's been a long, long time since Survival Island. This is what came up, LMAO. <laughs> I remember that video. Apparently, Jade, apparently Jaden tried to find it. Oh my God. Do you wanna know a, an actual video on my channel chat? And it's a good video. <laughs> oh my God. This was, that was one of the 48 commentary videos I recorded during my 156 solo Bedwars wins binge that I recorded in one day. That was one of them. It was all commentary videos, like stories about my past. Hello, Mr. Myers. Glad to finally catch you live again, like the good old days. Hello, hello. Like what good old days? A lot of people have different good old days. <laughs> this community's getting quite old, and a lot of people are dropping off and coming back at different times, and it's confusing. <laughs> I started watching you every day during the No Contraband series and you're still pretty much the only Skyblock YouTuber I watch. Oh, hell yeah. You swore in that description, did I? Did I? What the hell I did? <laughs> I actually did, wow. That's wild. That is odd. <sighs> the fact that that Bed Wars win streak, or not win streak, that Bed Wars wins in a day thing was over five years ago is depressing. Oh my god. This is a lifetime ago, it feels like. Can you explain how to actually do 1.8 PvP? Me and my friend are literally clueless. You know the funny part? <laughs> it's so simple, bro. There's little tricks you can do like W tapping or whatever, but honestly, 90% of it is just make sure you're always sprinting at your enemy. I would suggest setting the run button to R and just spam R throughout the entire fight and then click that left mouse button as fast as you can. And that's really, that's really uh, most of it. That's 90% of it. Then of course you can try and time your clicks. You can try and W tap, which basically means you walk forward, you hit them and then walk backwards again so that you reduce the chance of them hitting you back because you're just barely out of their range and all that stuff. Toggle sprint exists, not legal on Hypixel though. Not legal on Hypixel? When did that change? It was legal on Hypixel forever, and as far as I know, it still is. Unless something changed. It 
It's definitely illegal. Hmm. Yeah, I was about to say, it's a very commonly used mod. I'd be surprised if they finally stamped it down. He's got another one? Okay. Sure. I'm getting so many of these now. Wow. <laughs> Lucky. Yeah, I was just in one of these. Hmm. Okay. You didn't see that. And there is one Lapis Corpse here. Oh my god, guys, it's the Howling Cave! Sorry. I feel like there should be a corpse here, but whatever. Perhaps it drowned. Nope. Nope. Oh, this is a staircase. I knew that. <clears throat> Here it is. Getting tired, man. This isn't good. <laughs> that was one of my favorite moments from the Out of Context 3. Liars, cheaters, stealers. <laughs> it was just too perfect. Every now and again, I say something funny. I think after this mine shaft, we're gonna call it. Yeah. Just because I, again, I woke up at midnight and it's 7 p.m., almost 8 p.m. So I've been awake now for how long? 20 hours? Wait, there's no way I've been up for 20 hours. Well, hey, considering that, I look a lot more lively than I did last stream. Might as well make it an even 24. If I did that, that'd be too late. What's the new best mining pet? I don't think there is a new best mining pet. It's still Skada for out, not in magma fields, Bal for in magma fields. Crazy to think there's a real person when 500,000 people could totally feel like they know him personally because of all the storytelling. It is a bit insane that like, there are probably millions of people that know who I am. That's a weird thought. 
Not probably. Definitely. The channel has over 200 million views. Yeah, that's a weird thought. I don't know if you saw earlier, but I mentioned I got the desk mat for my birthday recently and it's great and I love it. Oh, hell yeah, it did. I, I told you guys it was high quality desk mats. It is too bad that it had to be a limited time run. If I had a say in it, it would have been available perpetually, but you know, it is what it is. You know what though? At least I got the PNG out of it. So now I can keep that image as a background, a desktop background. So there is that. Paying for that turkey sandwich. Yeah, let's go. Like 30, I imagine you probably don't wake up every day going, wow, I can't believe I'm in the presence of 30 bears. If you are, can you say I'm in the presence of and then reference yourself? I've yet to hear someone do that. You just think, yes, it's me, Brandon. I mean, I mean, I don't think, yes, it's me, Brandon. I just go on with my day. But yes, essentially what you just said. <laughs> Bad enough. I don't consider myself famous. Definitely not. And I died. Oh no. Big say. All right. I think we're going to call it there. And honestly, I might just farm for the rest of the night because I am. My attention span struggling. Not going to lie. So we made it to. Heart of the Mountain tier 9 with 150k XP. Not bad. Safe to say, tomorrow we're hitting Heart of the Mountain 10. Easily. And then we're going to redo our Heart of the Mountain tree. And I wonder... We're getting close to enough glacite powder for me to get peak eight, which would probably be stupid. So perhaps not. Has anyone ever bought? Oh, I'm sure someone has. What What's peak of the mountain nine and 10? Does anyone know? Has anyone bought eight so they can see what the upgrade for nine is? Cause the wiki is not updated. But yeah, there is skyblock XP involved. 10% more chance for mine shafts, two more tokens. That's pretty good. Those two tokens, that's pretty nice. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty nice. Do you prefer a bad line over forge? Yeah, it's easier. Uh, well, anyways, chat, I think we're gonna call the stream there. If you're watching on YouTube, follow the Twitch. If you're on the Twitch, follow on the YouTube. <laughs> Both of you follow the kick if you don't want ads. Um, but anyways, let's find a let's find a person to raid on Twitch. Oh, I should probably end the stream on um, the other platforms first. So I hope you guys like the stream. I'm gonna be hopefully doing another one tomorrow, but no promises. Maybe next day. Uh, but for now, I guess that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys later.